So yeah, like I said, guys, I played this a million times just like you guys did when I was a kid. A million times. I didn't know about this, the Hadouken secret until way later, though, when I was reading, like, Game Pro or some shit. Dude, 2105. My cache is small. Needs Pascal chip. Broad range eye camera. Energy amplifier. Yes, we need that stabilization system in the legs. We needed that in Kid Chameleon badly. Disastrous. Oh, the story is so good. And Dr. Light will not live to see the day. That's so cool. I love that concept. And that he doesn't actually get to meet Dr. Light. I think that's so sick. Dude, imagine <laughs> playing Mega Man for the NES all your life and then this game comes out for the Super Nintendo. Imagine how fucking devastating that would be. Playing this game for the first time. You would be like, how does gaming get better than this? We've reached the pinnacle. You know? Yo, Qua, remember when you told me X means he has infinite possibilities? That was fucking spoilers, bro. Uh, there's nothing we can change, right? Just controls. Yeah, there's no difficulty or anything like that. X is a variable. Calm down, Qua. You need to chill out, Qua. Yeah, but what about Zero? Why is his name Zero then, Qua? Explain that. Change dash to R? I like it as A, even though it's awkward. All begins with zero. Calm down, Qua. Need to calm down. I'll play the, the controls I used as a kid, which was the default. Oh, fuck. This OST is devastating. Oh yeah, I don't have my dash yet, hey. I get it first. Dude, the fact that they had, like, the intro stage, genius. Genius. This was peak Capcom, man. Peak. Uh, how's the volume, guys? Good? Cool, are you gonna help me find all the items and shit? Dude, this stage is too hard for a kid. 
blocks fallen already and shit? Too tough. Too much already. Ouch. Jerk. No, I need that health. What's this clown's name again, guys? I'm pretty sure he's gonna tell me what his name is. Oh, there we go. That's cheap! Vile, yeah, yeah, vile. You worthless piece of scrap metal. Did you really think you could defeat me? <gasps> That's cheap. Why do you run away? I guess I'm not powerful enough to defeat him. Manage your expectations, X. It's not mecha anime. <laughs> oh shit. Such a great intro. The password system. I never actually use this, I always play this game in one sitting. That's a great theme. <clears throat> so the story was, was... How did they start the whole Maverick thing in the first place? Basically, the Reploids became hostile, right? And then they made Maverick Hunters. And then Sigma used to be a good guy, right? And then he became uh, a Maverick himself. Isn't Zero a Maverick as well? He got corrupted, right? Holy shit, he's 7 foot 8? Jesus. Oh man, Chill Penguin's a manly. Spoilers, bro. Alright, where are we going first, uh, Sandman? Zero was the cause of the Maverick virus. Yo, spoilers, bro. Yo, chill. I always, as a kid, I always did Storm Falcon first, not Chill Pink. But it's okay. Oh, fucking rabbits, man. I hate rabbits. They live underneath my steps.
Wait, what about Tom Cruise? Why are we talking about Tom Cruise? Why did they make a movie out of this game, man? I don't know who they'd cast as Mega Man, though. It'd be dangerous. Dangerous casting choice. Boost your speed. This is great because, uh, not only now do you get weapon power-ups, but you get a bunch of different power-ups to your character itself as well. It's awesome. Oh yeah, you can dash with forward forward as well, I forgot. This is where the hard piece is, right? Spaghetti? That's not keto friendly, bro. Okay, I remember this boss like sliding on the floor. in the ass. Yo, what's up, Taylor? Oh, we didn't use the pause glitch for Mega Man 1. That's for wusses. You gotta fight boys to men legit. Shotgun. Ice. 
<laughs> Shot me in the ass. Shot me in the ass. Oh man. All right, where to, guys? Going to Spark already? You guys sure? Hey, Sandman is saying to go Eagle. You have a conflict of interest here. Uh, we get the helmet at Eagle, right? Well, everyone's saying Eagle except for you. Oh, I love this theme. It's fucking godlike. Ah, shit. Uh, there's a heart piece in the stage somewhere. I'm just trying to remember where it was. I don't know, just let me know if I get close to it or whatever. Oh shit, slow down. Uh. Uh, it's a huge jump to the left of the start of the level. From here? I'll try. From here? I kinda remember that, but not not completely. I knew it was like on top of a tower, I just don't know where. Nice. Oh, shit. Oh. Uh there's only one heart piece per level? I'm pretty sure there's another one in this level too. Ah, it's a tank, that's what it is, right. One, one hard piece, one tank. Right. Go back, no! Respawn there. Helmet. I'm playing Persona 4. The characters say level up all the time. I remember you right away. <laughs> dude, just watch out. Watch out for Eternal Sonata, dude. It'll melt your brain. 
That level level up shit man it ruined me for months. You think that helmet looks ugly with the rest of the gear? I don't know, I think it looks badass. the same ship that uh, Vile was riding when he came after us, guys? Yeah? What was he weak to? Was it to electricity? I forgot. It's been so long. <laughs> oh, cool. Where'd you get a race, Miqua? <laughs> Now, Spark? Okay. Uh, it's this guy, right? Wait, some people are saying Mammoth now? Okay. You can get an upgrade at Mammoth. So where are we, which way are we going here? We're going to Flame Mammoth first then? Am I playing Battletoads for Super Nintendo? Of course. Uh, Kual, I finished the... Hey, hold on a second, everyone's telling me two different things. Okay, we're gonna get an upgrade. Um... I was gonna say... Yeah, Kual, I finished the, the co-op list. Or the 93 list in general, it's fucking devastating. We got a lot of co-op games to play, man, a lot. But you said, uh, you played Dungeons & Dragons before, Qua, on the arcade? I've never played it before, I've always seen it in CC. But you said it's long? You know how many players it is, Qua? Oh, we can get the heart piece here too, since everything's, uh... That's another cool thing about this game, is the stages change depending on the order you played. So since we defeated Chill Penguin, the lava freezes in the stage. It just gives us access to different things, or makes the stage easier. Uh, sick. It's really, really cool. There's a lot of cool things introduced in this game. 
It's four players? Okay, I'll ask I'll ask Mir if he wants to play with that with us, Qua. If we can get a crew going. Maybe I'll ask Austin too. Uh you're down to play Secret of Man with me though, right, Qua? I need someone dedicated. Alright, how do we get this? Thanks for the invite. Well, I need someone dedicated who can play long hours, Axe. I don't know, are you that person? This guy is like always saying that shit, but I don't know. Like, guilt trips me. I remember as a kid doing it this way. I don't know if I'm doing it right though, guys, but... Tell me if I'm doing it wrong. Oh, fuck it, dude. That's a hard jump. Nice. Got the gun upgrade early. Uh, I'll, I'll take a- I'll make sure we get the right version, Claw. But you wanna play- that game's good though, right? It's made from- it's made by Capcom, right? Dungeons and Dragons? I think Capcom did that game. I'll, I'll show you the rest of the list call later. It's fucking awesome. 93, this is gonna be such a good fucking month, man. We're gonna play so many good games this month. Like, ser like seriously, there is literally almost no trash games. It's all, like, godlike games we're gonna be playing. The only trash games, I think, are, like, those two fucking Zelda CDI games. <laughs> That's it. I didn't miss it, Zach. I took a look at that game. It didn't look that good, but if you say it's good, we can check it out. Top left for tank. Okay, gotcha, guys. These enemies are so annoying in the NES versions. Nice. Oh, two lives. Okay. I can switch my weapons on the fly in this game, can't I? Oh yeah, I can. That's so sick. Is Cool Spawn on my list? It is. I did put Cool Spawn on the list. Uh, Lost Vikings uh, is 92, but I'm planning to play that with my cousin, so we didn't miss it. It's there. Just saving it when I'm playing Cloak against my cousin. He wants to play, uh, what's it called? Um, Lost Vikings with me and uh, Zombie, Ace Zombie Ate My Neighbors. And then I'm saving uh, Sonic games for Sonic, obviously. We all have our different games. Quaz playing a bunch of the beat em up games with me. I have everyone for different games. Okay, so I have no weapons for this guy? Or does Ice hurt him? We're not playing. I fucking watch King's Quest Claw. Use Tornado.
Mocking me on my ass. Try aim. Uh, I put Act Razor or not Act Razor. Uh, Act Razor Two is on the list, and uh, Raiden Two as well to play Qua. One shmup game. Yo, where's uh, where's Slack at, dude? You know, you notice that Slack only appears when we're playing like a Sega game, but whenever we're playing like a AAA godlike Super Nintendo game, he's just nowhere to be found. You know what I'm saying? Go back to Penguin for the heart. Imagine playing this game. And then your buddy is stuck playing Echo the Dolphin. I would fuck up your childhood, man. I can't imagine. <laughs> Fantasy Star 4. Apex Legends has been taking up too much of my time, and I gotta get back on my JRPGs. I gotta play Final Fantasy 2 here. Alright, I might play the Game Boy games first, actually. Final Fantasy Adventure and uh, the first Secret of Mana game, what the fuck it was called. Legend of Final Fantasy or some shit, I don't know. Wait, where's the E-Tank in this level? Did we get the E-Tank? Are we good? There is none? Okay. How do we exit the level? Oh, I think I saw it. Okay. Alright, where are two guys? Now spark? Ah, <laughs> oh, we ran out of Kino games and got into the trash ones. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> Oops. Alright. My bad. I was distracted by the chat. My bad, my bad. Wrong one, this. <laughs> it's not cheating, guys. It's a second chance. Fuck. Dude, that guy was just going ham on the guitar on this level. Going ham. Ouch.
Ooh, that will have all the shit. That's cheap. Holy shit. You can charge the tornado? The fuck? Did I know that? I don't know if I knew that as a kid. It's cheap anyways. You don't cheat, bro. Uh, is the charge only if you have the, the purple buster? Shut up, Koa. <laughs> Taking Sandman's place right now. Or not Sandman, uh, Slack's place. Wait, can I get this? Nice. Should refill my health all the way. If you're good. <laughs> After playing like so many NES games, including the NES Mega Man, it's like you can tell the games have gone so much easier now. Ah! Fucked up my charge. Ah! Yo, did you guys see that video of Daigo feeling himself over Street Fighter Alpha? Saying the game didn't have a V-ism, it'd be a fucking masterpiece. I don't know how I feel about that, guys. What weapon? Wait, who are we fighting? Spark? Oh, what the fuck's Rocket Punch? Oh, this boss is tough. I like that animation. I'm not hating on Daigo, I'm just- I'm asking your guys' opinion, Jesus Christ. He was popping off because of, uh... He was talking about, like, how good the guard crush system is. Do you guys like the guard crush system? He loves it. Like, he loves it. Best you're supposed to experiment with the web. Experiment these nuts, bro. Alright, I played this game a billion fucking times. Guard Crush is good at done, right? Tell give me an example of when it's done poorly. Armadillo? Okay. Specific guard strings breaks liking. KOF 13 is bad. Is that because of the, of the, what's it called? Like the chain canceling, or not chain canceling, but you know, the, when you activate and you do custom combos, you just break everyone's fucking guard, you know? Uh, I remember there's a hard piece in the slow that's tough. I gotta, I remember I gotta go one, I gotta go left side of the screen on one of them. I do not remember the other one though. I think this one we have to jump at the very end. We have to jump to the top. I don't know. You guys will remind me. It'll come back to me once I get there. 
I just remember there's like something that chases us. Let me get to the left side. I think right here, actually. Check. That's the E tank. And where's the heart piece in this one? I remember at the end of the stage, we gotta jump way up. Way the fuck up. Hey, <laughs> Juggernaut. Yeah, it does remind me of the Juggernaut. The other one, we have to go ahead of the machine. Okay, so the next one, we have to go super fast. I don't want to get the Hadouken anyways. We can get it after if you guys want. Just to see what it looks like. I can I can pop a, a save right before. You can destroy it with the flamethrower. This stage is crazy. Okay, so right here is where we want to get, go ahead of it, right? What? Wait. Wait, do we go in front of it? Nice. Fuck off, guys. I don't remember this. Okay, I saw that coming a mile away. You can just kill it, just destroy it, okay. Thanks for the heads up, assholes. You guys made it sound like I had to fucking get in front of it. You guys fucking baited me. Well done, Vesper. <laughs> it's a speedrun strat? I bet it is. This is where the hidden pot is, right? Yeah, you have to explain to me the fireball thing later. I remember seeing that in a magazine, and I thought it was a fucking, uh... What's it called? Um... Like, April Fool's joke. You know? Yo, they copied this boss from Wampum. these iframes, man. Oh. It's like those April Fool's jokes, remember? That shit was like everywhere, man. The Shenlong and... Even with Mortal Kombat 2, you guys remember when people were saying like there was like... Nudality and shit? This shit was cancer, man. I don't know what to believe anymore. Launch Octopus. Yeah, Noob Saibot. There was Reptile in Mortal Kombat 1 as well. Oh, 
Uh, who was the secret fight in Mortal Kombat 2? Was it Smoke? Jade? Smoke and Jade. I still can't get over how godlike that uh, Mortal Kombat 1 speedrun was, though. That was like the coolest speedrun I've seen for a fighting game. Dude, Mortal Kombat is, is sick. Okay, that's cheap. Now we're getting destroyed on this level. Holy fuck. No, oh, don't eat me. Dude, I was watching those, uh, like, Senate hearings and stuff on Night Trap. Like, I was watching documentaries on it and shit. And, uh, holy fuck, the, set, the shit they said about that game was, like, ridiculous. They said whoever made that game should be ashamed of themselves and shit. Holy fuck, I almost died there. And then they're like, they're like interviewing like the senators and stuff. They're like, have you actually played this game before? And they said, I don't have to. What the fuck kind of response is that? Is crazy. Oh, it refills it on that. Okay, nice. That's crazy. Man. As they viewed it as like this game of like just murdering women and shit, like it's fucked up. And that scene we saw the the kid who dies or whatever, that wasn't in any of the console versions. They censored that shit. Shut the fuck up, Claw. I'm not using fucking turbo. I, I mean, obviously, I agree that there should be an ESRB. For sure. But, like, if you watch that video, I mean, I'll show you guys some, some parts of it sometime. But the shit they were saying, like, was, like, ridiculous. It was literally just the, the bathroom scene that triggered them, too. Getting jacked on health. Like Doom, I can understand. Fuck. Doom is when it started getting crazy, right? And Mortal Kombat, too. But, like, Hasbro, they made a lot of, like, things that they had to work around. Like, they wanted those. Well, first, they wanted those. 
uh, augurs to be actual ninjas. And then somehow they changed the vampires, but they didn't want them to have fangs, so they had to be toothless vampires, and it was just it was just fucked, dude. But I don't know, I thought when like when they had those machines, those drill things, I thought that was, shit was violent for some reason, you know? Like holy shit, that shit's crazy. That shit looked way scarier than actual vampires, I don't know. Yo, those active frames. Yeah, toothless vampires. Did he just give me the thumbs down, bro? Oh, this was like the hardest boss, man. Like, how am I supposed to dodge that shit? Yeah, you gave me the thumbs down, bro. I don't like that shit. That was lippy. Yeah, because it was like the the thing is is that it it's it was different because like the video games were just targeted directly towards they thought it was directed towards kids, right? So it was just fucked up. It was the 90s, bro. And that we gotta remember, during that time, the, the the image was so fucking pixelated. Cause this was back in 92, you guys saw the Sega CD version of Night Trap. How the image is like 180p or some shit. Or not even P. The interlace, it's like pixelated as fuck. Going to the cutter, dude? Yeah, 12 FPS. Boomer? Boomer? What's this enemy's problem, man? Yeah, that was a cheap placement. What's up, Azurity? How's it going, man? You're just starting 1993 with a bang. We're gonna play, be playing godlike games for the rest of the month. Back to back, bro. It's gonna be a good month. We'll probably play some Falk tomorrow. I was watching some of uh, Phil's stream, and I was fucking writing down all of his tech. I was telling him while he was streaming. Stealing all your fucking tech, bro. A lot of uh, good optimizations, especially on stun and shit. I'm gonna test that out tomorrow. Okay, what is this cheap shit? Yep. Yeah. I'm using v skill too.
Which V skill is better on Conley? Depends on the matchup. You know, projectile character, you want to use V skill 1 for some of them. I gotta check what they buff with their V skill 1. I know they changed something. I know it actually gives V gauge now. What a joke. Yo, guys, where's my heart piece at? Oh, what the fuck? Can, is it actually a wall jump? This looks like this takes mad skill. Oh, you need boomerang? Do icicles? Icicle. Holy shit, you guys are cheaters. You guys are fucking cheaters, man. Speedrunner! <laughs> Fuck champ. Speedrun. Prophecy was true. He is a speedrunner. Dude, I'm still watching, uh... When I'm like aim training and stuff, I'm still watching like Resident Evil 2 speedruns and shit. Maybe in another life, guys. Maybe another life. Was it meant to be? Ouch. Night Trap speed run? Night Trap 100% Encore run? Cheap. Yo, this guy's fucking Akuma. Yeah, it looks tough without the missiles, man. Okay, back to Spark. Where is this? One? I don't remember where it is. Climb down? I go from a different angle. Try aim. Shut the fuck up, Paul. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I was wondering why I wasn't going the other way. Jump higher. Gotcha. All right, now Kid Chameleon. <laughs> uh, armor and heart before cave section. I kind of remember this stage. Kind of remember where it is. I have to see it. Look, guys, it's me, the lumberjack. Oh, 
You don't have legs? I have like literally me, like what are you doing? Uh, I think we go up here. Oh, that's cheap! Oh my god, he hit me a lot. Oh. Damn it! Uh-oh. Taking mad deeps here. Tornado? Man, Tornado's like for everything, Jesus. Whoops. Is he gonna jump? Oh, he doesn't do much. Where's the aim skill at? Tornado guys. Boomerang works too. He's smoking. He's smoking up. Why is the time to kill so high? I don't know, man. Bad game design, bro. So did Light leave that boss there because he knew only X could defeat it and therefore open up this capsule? Is that how it works? Maybe. There we go. Now Mega Man looks a lot better, right? We've got the shoulder pads. Okay, can I, do I dash jump this? Not dash. There. Oh fuck! Fifty percent damage my ass. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> fuck. I'm Claw's gonna say something fucking annoying now. How many lives do I have? Uh, seven. Yeah, a rush submarine would be nice. Can I use the chill penguin thing? Wouldn't that be good here? You guys, no problem. No problem. Wasn't even scared. Oh, fuck, I forgot what this shit. I 
That's cheap. Oh yeah, break this with my helmet. I'm too powerful. Fuck you, raw. Oh guys, I finished watching the The Witcher Netflix series. It was worse than I imagined. <laughs> but it did accomplish its goal. It does make me want to play The Witcher. <laughs> Not because the show was good though. <laughs> because I want redemption. Maybe that was what their plan was all along. It was to make it so bad that it would make people want to play the game instead. <laughs> It wasn't awful, but it wasn't great. I... Like, the production stuff is good, but like... The timeline order and... The writing and the dialogue was fucking terrible. The actors seemed fine with what they were given, though. I mean, I shouldn't have too much expectations since it was Netflix, but... Yeah, the, the timeline was terrible. I don't know what they were trying to accomplish. They thought they were Christopher Nolan or some shit, you know? The footsies. Dude, somebody left- remember that, uh, fucking Gilmore Ryu? The best silver Ryu in the world? What's it called? Uh, somebody left a comment on the YouTube video. He said, He wasn't playing footsies, he was making fun of your footsies. And I'm like, What? What the fuck are you talking about? That's cheap. Where'd he go? I can't see him. Okay, this boss is cheap. But I got a craving to play some Devil May Cry as well. Too bad we'll never make it to PlayStation. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Never? I don't know, we'll see. Not jackpot, we'll see. Maybe if we're lucky, Capcom will go out of business. And completely cancel everything, we'll see. Oh shit! Finally! We found his fortress. You know what shit I had to do? Zero did nothing, guys. He did nothing. I had to do all the work. I had to destroy everything. Let's go in and put an end to his war against the humans. Zero did everything? All he did was recon. That's it. Holy shit, Sigma looks mean. Alright, is there any E tanks or hard tanks that we're missing? Or we got everything? Are we good to go? I'm good, I'm Gucci, so we can we can head down. The big boy. Unless you want Hadoken. Well, okay, what I'll do is I'll I'll make us a, a safe state here. So we can go back and get the Hadoken later after we beat the game. You can do it any time? Okay. Let's split up. Wait, what do you mean, let's split up? I 
I don't know, why don't we just both go in at once? I don't like this plan. Dude, I'll work so long, scrub. <laughs> yeah? Broken Zero was in, in Marvel 3. I guess he's pretty broken in Marvel Infinite too as well. That fucking pizza cutter, I'm telling you. The zoop 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 zoop. Oh shit, I almost died there. Oh fuck! I didn't get my dash jump there for some reason. These fuckers bugger off. Oh, you piece of shit! Okay, what's a good weapon to deal with those idiots? Homing missile, maybe? The armadillo shield? Is this speedrun strats, guys? Oh shit, oh shit. Oh yeah, speedruns would skip the gun, exactly. They'd wait until the... The vile fight? Sure. Ouch. Oh shit. Stay back, X. I'll take him on. But I'm powerful enough now. <laughs> Main character. <laughs> what was that sound? Shit. Or he's history hostage situation. Don't listen to him, X. Blast him. Dream on, Jiro. My armored carry is more than a match for his ancient weapons. What weapons good against this guy? Ouch. Nothing. Boss is so cheap. Why am I not strong enough? <laughs> oh, he's did the laughter. Oh shit! Maybe, but I'm not through yet. Dude, Zero's got a Raging Demon? Zero, no! What a worthless gesture. Oh, shit. Oh, 
go get my health back? Okay, good. Nani? Where did that energy come from? Where is Ryu? Ah, that moves cheap. Nice aim skill. Look, he's walking away from the explosion. It's a trope. No! Jiro! Where's his legs? Oh, fuck. Auto repair systems can't handle it. Oh my god, the feels. I can't feel my legs! <laughs> so was Zero retcon because he was so fucking popular? More popular than Mega Man? Why am I a monster? What did I do? Zero was popular, but like when they gave him the lightsaber, that's when people lost their shit. Once they saw the lightsaber, that was GG. Okay, this guy's impossible. Oh, he's a tornado. What? What's this respawning shit? It's cheap. Uh... Gotta use all our resources for this. Oops. Jesus. Oh, charge shot the shield, right. Forgot that move was really good. Well, I don't remember fighting these guys separately. I thought we have a boss rush room. I guess that's Dr. Wily Styles. Oh. Floor is lava, man. Floor is lava. As good as Mega Man X is, like, I remember Mega Man X2 being, like, godlike. I remember loving that game, but... I didn't play Mega Man X2 until way later. Like, I didn't have it as a kid when I was playing on Super Nintendo. It must have came out late in the console's life. I remember X2 being really good. Oh, this is that spider boss, right?
spiders, guys. Remember how Capcom won't put spiders in uh, in the new Resident Evil games? It would be too scary and it would lower sales. <laughs> That's why there's no spiders in Resident Evil 2 or 3. It's true, though! The RE engine would fucking give people a heart attack with arachnophobia. It'd give them a fucking heart attack. I'm serious, they do it on purpose. I don't know why they won't put the... The crows back, though. I don't know what's, so what's wrong about crows. But fucking spiders, they said they won't put them back in the game. Because the RE engine would make it way too fucking scary. And no one would buy it. Arachnophobia is a real thing, man. I thought Remake had spiders. It had something similar to spiders, but they not weren't quite spiders. I'm talking full-blown, like... Remember the old Resident Evil games? I'm talking about full-blown, eight-legged, like, tons of eyes, hairy, giant-ass spiders. If you can imagine that in a fucking RE engine. If you even have a little bit of fuck- yeah, like a tarantula, exactly. Big ass fucking spider. People would shit their pants. It's close, but yeah. Close, but it'd be fucking scary. Do I remember the movie Arachnophobia? I do, and you know what? I keep trying to remind myself to to watch that again. I really want to watch this again. Yeah, I remember I watched that a lot when I was a kid. I love that movie. I just gotta... I just gotta remind myself to watch it. Now that I'm done with Witcher... I think I'm gonna watch... Like, the next TV show I'm watching is the Westworld Season 3. I think it's next on my list to finish. <coughs> yeah, that, that's I think it's next on my list, Zach. There's a bunch of things I gotta do. It's fucking Apex is taking up too much of my time right now. <coughs> I'm so done with Apex, I'll free up so much time. So where's Rush in this series? And Roll? They don't exist? Dead? So who do I use? What do I use against Captain Falcon?
Sting Shot. It's hard to shoot him and dodge him at the same time. Yeah, I heard that too, Bunky. We were just playing Cyclops last week. Okay, the Mega Man, like this series, it takes place in the same world as the normal Mega Man, right? This is just a different model of Mega Man, like they're both the same... ...floor? This is just the future? Yeah. Gotcha. So what happened to the other Mega Man? Did he just die? Dead. That's fucked up, guys. It's messed up. And the timeline seems weird. What the fuck? I don't remember this boss. Remember this boss at all? Jesus, taking too much damage here. Oh, got it. Whoa, Jesus. A little too much damage. And in fact, if I didn't have that 50% armor, I'd be dead. But I haven't used the E tanks yet either. Hello, oh, Vesper, I see you're playing Robotech. Great game. The controls are kind of tricky. Anyway, since you mentioned having seen the Witcher series. Oh no. Why did I talk about The Witcher? I was wondering what you might think of a modern Netflix-made Street Fighter animated series. Similar to the Castlevania show, but instead of Alucard... <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna say Ed, just Ed! Could be Ken, Ryu, and Ed, what do you think? Uh, Alucard, Sypha, and Belmont. Oh, fuck. I mean, any more Street Fighter anime would be sick, for sure. Especially if it was done by Manga Studio, but I don't know. I don't know, man. Netflix is really hit or miss. Maybe an Ed side story, Ed Adventures. With him, Falka, the straw man hat guy, and the gorilla. I think that'd be sick. <clears throat> yeah, more Street Fighter anime sounds good to me. Yeah, Adventures with Ed. Do you guys rem remember that uh, Street Fighter 4, like, cheap anime that came with the game or whatever? With Seth? Oh, it was fucking horrible. And, like, Viper was fighting Cammy or some shit? Oh, man. There was two of them? I remember there being two of them. <clears throat> I 
I can come up with a huge story on how the timeline connections. Well, I'm sure a lot of people have. Mega Man Zero. Oh, fuck. So many Mega Man games, dude. It's insane. I really want to play that Mega Man uh, Legends game. I never played that game before. That RPG one? I think that would be sick to play. Too bad we'll never get to that year. That was bad, man. Okay, how do I get this? Oh, the boomerang can grab it too, right, good call. I did it the more complicated way. Ah, oh, shit, I missed. Cheap. Got in the loop. Did I watch Looper? Of course. Yeah, I watched Looper. Uh... What do I use on this? I think the armadillo thing. Okay. Wait, what is this jungle gym shit? No, it's not this. Oh, what the fuck was it again? Oh, it's ice. Shit. You gotta watch out if he does tap. Scared of the path. Hey, that's cheap. Best way, did you see Tenet? Yeah, I saw it last week. I did. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. But you gotta you gotta make sure you pay attention or you'll end up like my friend. And be like, what the fuck is going on 10 minutes in the movie? And then being completely confused and not understanding anything. Like, you need full attention. The pacing on that movie is, is, is non-stop. It doesn't stop for a second. Not even a second. So if you ever, if you ever fall behind, you're fucked. <laughs> well, the sound mixing is really bad. There's like a lot of bass and shit and can't understand what the fuck people are saying half the time. It's like Bane mask on crack. Ah, shit. Yeah, if you're not good at reading lips, you're fucked. And if you're like me, someone like me who needs subtitles, <laughs> it's gonna be a hard ride. You can get lost in the first 10 minutes, yes. As Zach, no exaggeration. The, the, it, I mean, I, I don't want to spoil anything, but like, it gives you a big explanation at the very beginning of the movie, and it, it doesn't repeat. Like, <laughs> you either heard it or you don't, or you're fucked. There's like hilarious reviews on that movie too. This be like, I've watched this movie twice and I still don't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> Funny. It's one of those movies that you have to watch many, many times, you know? Like three, four viewings, I think, would be good for that movie. It's one of those movies. 
You know when you watch like Memento for your first time and you need to watch it again? You know what I'm saying? It's like that kind of shit. Uh, what do we need against this guy? The tornado? Use the boomerang on him? Why are you guys saying use boomerang? Is it Easter egg? Oh, I remember that cutting the trunk off. I remember that. You guys want to see that? I remember that, doing that by accident, I think, when I was a kid. Wait, he didn't cut his trunk off. That's weird. Yeah, I actually do remember that, though. I know you guys aren't lying about that. You may have to hit him a couple more times. Oh, I run this boss. Boss is annoying as shit. That's cheap. I'm not jumping good. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm lit. I'm dead. Couldn't dodge that fireball gun. Maybe I'll start at the top and then fall down to dodge it. No, E tanks are for noobs, Michael. E tanks are for noobs. Oh no, I got one more shot left. Nice. <laughs> but safe states are for news? No, they're not. They're for completionists. <clears throat> they're for adventurers, conquerors. Yo, Qua, you ready for 1994, bro? Joe Mac, too. Fuck yeah. <clears throat> oh, we should. This is this is the last time we can get the, the Hadouken, right? Well, let's we'll beat the game here and then uh. And then, uh, we'll get the Hodoken after. Prepare to meet your doom. I remember this boss being tough. I remember this boss being, uh... Are we maxed down on everything? Yeah, we're maxed down on everything, so we don't even need to grind. What is a weapon order? I know the armadillo things for the last form. I remember that. Hey, good morning, Mir. Welcome. I see you managed to get here by yourself. Very impressive. I could destroy you, but I'll not rob my pet of that pleasure. What an asshole. 
Why am I a betrayer? Well, I guess because I'm going against my own kind. I guess that makes sense. Don't disappoint me, X. Oh, shit. Headshot. Free! I see why Jiro counted on you. Yeah, that's cheap. Oh, that's cheap! Ah! <laughs> oh, dude! That dash attack is so fucking cheap! Let's, uh... Okay, we're good. I just wanted to make sure I had enough ice. Basically, that helped me, though. Okay, let's get full health, at least. Brought a sword to a gunfight. And they're like, let's give this to Zero instead, this would be amazing. Fuck! Tried to mix me up. Uh, yep, should be Mir. I'll message him after this. Okay, he. Okay. 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 Okay, good. Easy pattern. Easy pattern. Charge it? Okay, hold on. As long as you're not coming right at me with that fucking slash, dude. Good, good, good. This is cheap. He's fucking cheap. He's got a fucking sword, Austin. And you use Colleen. What the fuck do you know about cheap? The ultimate fight. What? How am I supposed to fucking dodge that? Oh, fuck.
How are you supposed to dodge that fire blast? Dash through it? The fuck? How are you supposed to do that if you don't have a 240 hertz monitor? That's like putting your hand like between like raindrops. How much? Yeah, we still need more. Full power here. Ice. Good enough. Charge the shield and jump over. Oh, to to grind it. Actually, that's a good idea. I'll remember that for next time, if there is a next time. But there won't be. This is it. This is the run. Okay, that's cheap. We have so many fighting games to play for 93. There's like seven of them or some shit. So many. Fuck! Got greedy. Greedy again! Good guys, not good. Not good. What? Shit. No. 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 Okay, good. Hey, fuck it! Oh, you're right, you can dash through it. What? Hello, hands! What the fuck? We got this. We got this. Ah! 
Come! Arm! Come to me! There we go. See, I could've did that shit without E-Tanks, guys. It's not possible! I'm a Reploid. Why have you done this to us? Holy shit, the feels. We're the bad guys. My Reploid brothers could have ushered in a new age. Holy shit, they copied this from Castlevania. The war has ended. For now. And peace has been restored. Dude, the war starts every fucking year, man. There's a Mega Man game every fucking year. <laughs> X gazes at the destruction he helped cause. And wonders why he chose to fight. Was there another way? Man, this game is so fucking deep. Was there another way, guys? No, never. He'll fight the Marks again before he finds his answer. Violence is always answer. If you want peace, prepare for war. <laughs> Shut up, Mir. I knew you'd say something. <laughs> so, guys, do I really have to ask this? Was it Kino? Too bad Slack wasn't here, though. I wanted to make fun of him. Couldn't pet the dog. This game was a fucking masterpiece, dude. Definitely one of the best Super Nintendo games. So good for so many reasons. The controls, godlike. Absolutely godlike. Even has a dash, wall climbing, jumping. Everything feels airtight, responsive. You were good. Music you fought well. on another level. On another fucking level. Level design, great. Bosses, great. Path choosing, got everything. Story. It's too good, man. Yo, B, thanks for that gift sub to Azerani, man. Appreciate it. Series overall, of Kino. Yeah, it is. Zion. And you as Mega Man X. Who got like man? Another fucking screen?
<laughs> What's going on? What spoilers? No, oh no? It's just Inafune up the ass, man. I think Ono was like art director for a bunch of shit. Yo, what's up, Eclipse? You just finished Mega Man X, man. Beat it without using E-Tanks, too. I'm fucking godlike. Presented by Capcom. So many Capcom games too on the list right now for 93. A fucking shit ton of Capcom games. It's like the golden era for Capcom right now. Okay, is that it? Yeah, so much Mega Man, dude. We have Mega Man 6, the last NES Mega Man as well on the list. Wait, what? Holy shit. My spirit remains intact? That makes no sense. He's a fucking robot. What spirit? He's literally in Bison. I'll see you soon, X. Very soon. In fact, next spring. On, on shelves next spring. Robots have feelings, too. Okay, is that the ending? That was a scary ending. I'm pressing all the buttons, nothing's changing. So I guess that's it. Alright, do you guys want to get that fucking Hadouken power-up? What's that? Oh, that's cheating, guys! That's invincibility. Oh shit, we did it! You guys weren't trolling me. Holy shit, he looks like Ryu! I give you a special present. Enter the capsule, please. Dr. Light, why are you wearing a full, full-on gi with a headband? What's going on? Dr. Light made this when he was drunk. Did that recording. Okay, so how do you do the Hadouken? What's the true mo- Don't tell me it's Core Circle 4, because it's not. What's the motion for it? It is? No, it, it can't be, guys. Oh fuck, it is. Never mind. 2, 3, 6. <laughs> guys, I know how to throw a fireball, okay? Please. You have to have full health to use it? That's cheap! Get good? I'm gonna dodge him first, just in case. <laughs> no, this is free. Yo, this is fucking free, bro. 
Season 5 buffs, man. No! Oh, I missed it! Oh, fuck! What?! Can I jump in the air and do it? Last form is tricky. Okay, that's cheap. That's cheap. Oh, I won't. You gotta be at. Oh, that's like the perfect height. Now we have those sub tanks! Fuck! The RNG has to be perfect. Has to be the perfect height. No! Ah, oh, fuck! There was one time where he was like per the, the perfect height. That's cheap. Ah, getting hit by everything now. I want to kill him with the fireball. That's cheap. What's going on here? I'm getting trolled. Guys! Oh, son of a bitch. I right, fuck this shit, dude. Capcom. Oh, there's a story. Okay. Her beauty radiates throughout the city. It gives the citizens hope? Power. Oh no. Why didn't they just put all the text on the screen at once? Oh, he wants. Okay. I can't believe I've actually fallen in love. She will be my. Holy shit, misogyny! She's a human being! She's not a toy! Nani? I don't know how the volume is, guys, but it's too loud. Oh, guys in this game? Interesting. Okay, so what's really weird is that Final Fight came out in 1989 on arcade. And then we just saw no, like, Final Fight games. All the way to 93, it's just ridiculous. To be fair, though, they did make a Super Nintendo version of, of, of Final Fight, but it was fucking terrible. It was censored to hell. You couldn't play, like, certain... I think Guy wasn't in the game. They had to make a separate version just to play Guy. And then you lost another character in that game for having Guy. It was really weird. We got Cody, a tough street fighter who is skilled with knives and pipes. Guy, descended from Ninja. He possesses incredible agility. And Hager, the hot-tempered wrestler and mayor of Metro City. Let's play Cody, just because I want to see if he gets that fireball. 
Ooh, there it is, guys. He just did it. Ooh, I like the music already. So what are the controls? Can I dash? Jump, jump attack, board. Oh, V skill. V skill one. Okay. Oh, cool. Oh, oh shit, this game is hard. Jesus. Show you can. Can I throw? Oh yeah. Sick. Does this cost health? I wonder if that costs health. Get to test that. There's an XP bar I see on the screen. We gain levels? Yeah, it does cost health. Shit! Yeah, we gotta use that when we panic then. <gasps> Relental! Oh, he doesn't wait for my turn? That's cheap! That's unrealistic. In a real street fight, people wait for their turn. Oh, that's cheap. Oh, I got a I got a knee drop kick. That's kind of cool. Ooh, combos! How's that for neutral jump? We got jumping resets and shit. Oh, well, you can block. That's cheap. Oh, did I level up? Do I get new moves? Ouch! Yeah, these- it's hard to abuse the Y-axis in this game. Can I go down the slider? Oh, barrels! Oh shit! Can I punch these? Oh, oh, Shank! He's go- No! Why do you throw it? V-meter ran out. I really like the the combat in this game. It's good. <gasps> it's poison. She's dead. That was the end of her story. What the fuck? Eh. Eh. It's Thrasher. Where's Abigail? Bow down before me. What if I hit yes? I am superior. Maybe you're stronger than you look. Why don't you join us? Yes. I don't believe you. You're too much of a mama's boy! What? Okay, what else if I say no? Ugh! Those who offend me must die! Holy shit, it's like a telltale game. My choices don't matter. What the fuck? No! He just mashes jab on wake up. Oh, nice anti air. Nice. 
level up. This game is pretty sick already. I heard there's a two-player mod for this game, man. That sounds awesome. Plays with Sonic sometimes. Does anyone know what I get for leveling up, though? Does someone help me with that? Oh shit, Rashid's in this game? Oh shit, he's got a knife! So you can... You get a new move when your level's high enough. You try and be right each time you level, it has a wave of copy that. Be right? What a jank input. Be right. So, so jump right then? Berlento again, I thought I killed him. Level up! I wanna play the other characters too. Oh shit. And one of the- in Double Dragon 3, you can like throw loop them. You like hit them twice and then you unthrow and then throw them again. I was just seeing that that was in this game too. You can abuse that shit. But we do have uh, Final Fight 2 in 1993 as well, so they had two Final Fight games. Capcom started making them again. Like I said, it's just, it was just a weird how such a huge gap between Final Fight 1 and 2. And if Final Fight 2 wasn't even released in arcade, it's also weird, you know? It's poison, guys. Oh, did you guys see that? That was her Visco. I played Double Dragon 3? Yeah, I played it I played it twice. I played the arcade and I played the NES version, bro. Why she you wanted to play it with me? Should have told me, bro. Shit. Oh what? What was that Oki? Oh my god, I got fucked up. I don't even know how many lives I have. Okay, what is this cheap move? Oh, I couldn't dodge that. This game needs like a a roll or a, or a run or something. Damn, I guy took off so much damage from me. Yes. I don't know what that is. Ah! Got one too. That's scary. Do, do, do. She tried to slap me. Holy shit! <laughs> okay, she slapped. Look guys, it's the Abigail stage! Oh shit! It's on him! You're too fat and lazy to oppose- That makes no fucking sense! Cody's shredded as fuck! 
<laughs> You're no samurai. Are you done flapping those lips of yours? I'm gonna chop you down to size. Take out this weeb. Whoa! What the fuck? <laughs> okay, I don't even know how to hit him. <laughs> Use our V skill. Oh, he just got anti airs. Oh, come on. You got to basically hit him out of recovery when he does that blade move. Holy shit! What?! Oh, I don't know what to do! Okay, we have to, we have to jump at him or something. I don't know what the trick is. You have to jump at him, I guess. I guess it's the key. I thought he had anti airs though. Okay, you got you can't do the, the knee drop. It has to be the actual kick. Oh, I tried to jump there. My bad, my bad. Oh fuck! I'm too early. Man, this dude like does like no damage. Okay, one more hit should do it. No, I fuck! Ah! Fuck! bad bonus stage yeah I choked I choked bad at the end what oh my god come back here one of these has to have items in it come on Okay, I can't hit that fucking bro. I have to V-skill this barrel. Oh, I can't do V-skill. Oh my god, I'm getting combo. At least I don't do damage to me. Oh, you get, the, you get the bonus after the stage. Oh, hit. You know what that means. I try and be right, I'm trying it. That's yeah, not working. It's not working. Oh! I just did it by accident! Oh fuck! You piece of shit. How do I do it? Uh, B on the NES is the jump button, though. I don't know how I did it. Scary. 
No, I might fall down. Oh my god. I almost killed myself. Try pressing the direction after me. Oh, I did it again by accident. Come on. It's like after I land from the jump, it comes out. It's weird. We gotta take care of this knife guy. This guy's fucking insane. No, 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 no. Okay, I got it, got it now. It's, it's, it's not B, it's A. Unless, I'm, once again, I'm wrong and the A button is the jump button. It's fucking slow though. Not good against the knife guy, he's got better zoning. Yeah, that's the projectile, he has it. Any other moves, guys? It's really slow, like you have to do it on a pokey. Oh, I'm doing good. Gamer, thanks for asking. Played some Street Fighter today. Then the game died, and now we're playing some Final Fight. Your life bar looks big in this game, but it's not. Like, you get hit a couple of times and you're fucked. this. Oh shit. Oh, it's Abigail, guys! The toughest fighter in the Mad Gear. You've been lucky so far. But your luck has just run out. Okay, don't worry, we got fireballs against Abigail. He's really insulting us. I'm gonna shove those words down your throat. <laughs> no! Oh fuck! Ah, he's kissing us! What the fuck? What? <laughs> okay, they changed that grab. They changed that from Street Fighter V. He does the grab, but he doesn't kiss you. They censored that shit. Okay, let's try Guy now. Whoa! Holy shit! Guy's crazy!
That's my special, is this move? This is a fighting game, not a blocking game, bro. Oh, you throw him way further, guy. Does Guy have this, like, rapid punching thing? I don't remember him having that. Sort of? Nice, nice, nice. His special move doesn't seem too powerful, though. Okay, got rid of that guy. What's up? What's going on, Poison? No! I knew that was gonna happen. We need as many lives as we can afford here. Oh my god, it feels bad, man. We could play it safe and just play it up here so we don't fall anymore. You can like combo into it, it seems. Like into his special. Yeah, you can combo into it. Okay, that's pretty strong then. That's mad deeps. It's mad deeps. Look at that. Oh, and it, it nullifies projectiles. It's pretty cool. I like what I'm seeing, guy. Uh, the life consume one is the spin kick. Seems to have a little bit more range than Cody's. Him do that left punch, that's when I do the special. You, it, the game wants you to combo into it. Pretty cool. But the fact that, that Cody can zone though is pretty crazy too though. I don't know what I'm gonna do against Abigail with this shit. Shit. What's the name of this game? It's called Mighty Final Fight. For the NES. Came out in 1993. That's where uh, Cody got his projectile from. <laughs> I don't think that'll work, Shigan. Ooh, he did the chop. He's doing the chop. Oh, he gets throwing stars, I think they are? Hey, guy doesn't have this in Street Fighter. That's cheap. Shurikens. Ah, it's cheap. Gotta get rid of this guy. This guy is a problem. Shit. Abigail, here we go. Yes. 
three lives for this guy. Gotta watch for that command grab, it's devastating. Okay, when we see him do that face, I think it means run. Yeah, that is literally his running EX punch. That is Street Fighter V shit. Oh, what was that meaty? But Rolento's medium kick is insane. That's where you ever played the original Final Fight? Yeah, I played on arcade. 1989. Yeah, we played Final Fight already. I played it with uh, Sonic Soul. Shit, we're getting lit. Lit up. Damn, I'm trying to grab him for invincibility. smart for any NES game, they're like, they're always trying to pincer you. Oh, that's cheap! Oh, come on! Oh. I'm in trouble. No, dude! I'm getting ganged up on so bad. Finally. Come on! Oh, I knocked him off just from spawning. That's crazy. so much for that health. Shit, 
damage. That's good. Holy shit. Guys, like, boxing me out like that crazy boxing character in Tekken. Steve, yeah, Steve Fox, that's his name. Fox. That character. Is that character good, by the way? I've never seen being used in tournaments. He was pretty top tier before Lero was released, really. He's been top tier in every Tekken game? Oh shit, really? Is he hard to use? He looks hard to use, because I see him do like these... Like he like rears his head back and shit. Looks crazy. Oh fuck. Saw him. He upgraded his armor. Have some water. Oh no. Should we take this water? I feel refreshed and strengthened. What? What the fuck? If you say yes, then he fills your health? What the fuck? Wanted a good fight? Yeah, because he did. I think there's a very high chance Sodom will be in Street Fighter 6, actually. Very, very high chance. Oh, he lost his, uh... Whoa, what? What the fuck is going on? Uh... Okay? Close enough. I got this, I won't choke, I won't choke. One more, one more, one more, one more. Nice, nice. Let's clutch. It didn't matter, yeah, because he had fucking turned into a Kuma there for some reason. Oh, he hits those bouncy barrels way easier than Cody. Probably because his multi punch uh, has so many active frames. Oh, yeah, we're getting the mad deeps. Oh, dude, guy fucks up the bonus stages, dude. What's this? Oh, two lives? Oh, that's crazy. That's huge.
what? Oh, yeah, when this guy gets going, you gotta stop him immediately. You gotta smother this guy up. Shit. The punch guy is super aggressive. Shit. Oh, I just died just like that, eh? Holy yeah, this game is tough if you let the enemies gain up on you. You can't fuck around with this game. These big dudes have absolute priority. If you let them go free and they do their shoulder charge, you're fucked. Fuck, walk back into it. Shit. Oh, still have one more life. Nice. Oh, it's Abigail. He didn't refill my hall, he didn't offer me a drink or anything. Crouching fierce! Fuck. Sign, but oh, it refilled our health. We filled our health when we punched it. What the fuck? It's an homage. Choke. Oh, choke, please. 
Oh, I punched the knife off screen. Shit, I'm gonna finish that combo. One in max deeps. Oh! Again?! Your journey ends here. Fuck, dude. Again. No, I still don't know how to fight him properly on the first form. Shit. Damn. All right, let's try Hanger now. Let's see how Hanger is. Okay, he's definitely slower. He is definitely slower. Oh, it's his move? Oh! Interesting. Oh! Fucking Kamang! <laughs> That's insane. Oh, dude. Dude, Hanger is fucking crazy in this game. <laughs> That's beast mode, dude. He has that MEC, MEC3 moves. Try jumping after the grab, sure. Oh, for the dolphin? Yeah. Oh, he has it, dude, yeah. He has it. Good call. Yo, this is an NES game, dude. This is fucking insane. Yo, spinning lariat, though. That does so much damage, too. Mad deeps. Shit. They did lay it there. The Hager looks angry in this game. Try doing the grab in the B direction move. Okay, I gotta do it when there's like one character left on the screen. This is too tough. Doesn't seem to be. I'll try it again. Doesn't seem like it though. Oh shit. No, I, I dashed into him. I couldn't move. No, it doesn't seem to be to move much better. Shit, he's so slow I can barely dodge the fucking punch. Oh, hold on, hold on. After I do the chop, that's when the combo ends. And then I'll go for the grab. Oops, didn't do dolphin. What's up? No, no, no. Oh, I need to get that health. Uh... No! What the fuck? Whack. 
Oh my god, dude. You're so slow! You're so fucking slow. Can't grab him. Can't fucking grab him. Oh, maybe I can get it. I don't know how I did it last time. I swear I gained health going on this time. Oh, so cheap. No! He's too, he's too slow to dodge the knife. Come on. Maybe I can get the bear grab on him. Holy fuck, it's so slow startup though. Uh, I don't stun him long enough, it seems. I still don't understand how to beat Sonic's first form. It's the hardest one. After it's so much easier. Yeah, you can't grab him. Fuck, I can grab him fast enough. I don't think I can grab him. Actually. Oh, come on, man. I don't think I can grab him. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, you can't grab him out of this. Oh, nice. Who the fuck is this? I finally found you. Release my- Oh, that's Hagar speaking. You worthless ball of pot. What? Jessica's my special guest. She's in the next room. Oh shit. Scheduled to be married tomorrow. <laughs> Let us begin our final fight. Holy shit. What the fuck? Final victory. Will be mine. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, it's a schmuck. What the fuck? Okay, this is cheap as fuck. How am I supposed to do this with Hagar? He's fucking zoning the shit out of us. Oh, what a noob! <laughs> what the fuck do we do? Get over here, asshole! No!
Ah. What were you thinking, Capcom? Use V skill one. I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose any health though. Come on. Oh, it's so fucking cheap. What is this garbage ass boss? Go get to the top part of the screen, I guess. Or not. Oh my god. This is too slow for Hagar. Oh, he anti airs you on Wake Up too. That was beyond the fucking wackest boss fight ever. Oh man. Alright, let's try Cody again. That was by far the wackest boss fight ever. Oh, I feel so much faster now, holy shit. Give me so much trouble, man. Ah, oh, okay, we gotta restart. Let's try Guy. Guy seems to be what's working for us. The active frames on this attack are really good. the fastest character too. No. But he, I think he's got the lowest health though. You can tell. I like how all the enemies have different, like, statistics on them, you know? Like, they all have their own, like, stats. Like, that one boxer guy, he's, like, insanely fast and he pokes you. I don't know what the fuck Poison does. He just stands there with their hands on her hips and judges you. There's not too many enemies in this game, but it's cool that they're different. They're not just different sprites. I do my special to maybe save me there. Oh, fuck. The hardest part of the level is literally the beginning. Where am I going? 
scary. Gotta separate these two guys as much as possible. Oh, oh what? What? She just anti aired me. Oh! Fucking close. No, I'm hitting him off screen though, that's the only problem. I might do it that way. That's scary. No, 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 no! 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 This fucking knife! I should have kept on attacking. The, the attack and the knife works too. Oh, magic pixel. Magic pixel. No, no, no. Fucking Relento now. Relento blocks. I'm hitting by a thread. <laughs> Shit, I shouldn't have did the special. There was a gap in between, I guess. Oh, there's Abigail. What? Did you see how much damage that did to me? What I think I like about Hagar is how much damage he does. But fuck, is he too slow for that last boss? Come on, Abby. One more combo should get him. Fuck. Tracking me. Oh. Oh. Got him! Get that apple. Come on, look look at that did all, all the damage that I just gained back. <laughs> Fuck, dude, the RNG on these enemies. And they're like hyper aggressive for no reason, and you get fucked up. Feels bad, man. Ah, uh, feels bad. These enemies are harder than bosses. Let's see if I can grab that health. I think I can. Really weird, I swear I grabbed some health though. What was? This guy. Combo his ass. Oh, cheap. Let's 
This is like Street Fighter to me, of course. Same universe. Said it. it does a good job of uh, knowing that you're trying to cheese it. Alright, so you can reduce damage here. Fucking hard fight. Crazy damage against this, it's just raw hit combo. Good. And it's free. Oh, with magic pixel? Hey. Alright. So we deal with this extra speed now. It only lets you damage him a little bit before he goes all dumb final form on you. Oh shit. Yeah, it's so much easier to catch up to him now since we're so much faster. Oh, we actually punched him a bit there too. Oh yeah, we're fucking him up now. Oh, we can kind of loop him there. Shit. Shit, I tried to delay it, but... Looks like Catcom's got that anti thing. Try to cheat it. Timing has to be perfect. The cheese. I have to see a speed run with Hager, man. I guess see how Hager does this fight. boss. Oh, there's Hager. Oh, there's Jessica.
that it's about time you got here. Wait, I'm the one that saved her, not Hagar. I need to take out the trash. Let go of me, guy. Without my help, she would be. Control yourself. <laughs> Guys, keeping an eye on Cody. Think of someone else. <laughs> That's cool. Look, guys, it's Mega Man on the billboard. That was a very interesting game. And there was a lot of cool moves in that game, too. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> so, guys, was the Kino? That was a pretty good game. For an NES game, that'd be awesome. If it had two players, it'd be out of control. If it had two players, it'd be unbelievable. Good variety of the three characters. They were pretty different from each other. Good variety on the enemies. Even though there weren't too many enemies, they were all kind of distinct. Solomon was annoying as shit. But if you play Street Fighter, there's a lot of cool Easter eggs in here. What about three players? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now you're getting crazy. Yeah, I know that they basically made more Game Gear games because, again, Sonic was getting extremely popular. So they were trying to turn out as much as possible regarding uh, Sonic games. Ooh. And this is, another, this is another title here. Um, like, I'm so confused, Sonic, because, like, we went from Sonic... One and two, they made ports of it for the Master System slash Game Gear. Yes. Right? And then 1993 hits, and from what I read, Sega was trying their hardest to get Sonic 3 out by 93 before uh, holiday season. And they, yeah. they fucked up and they couldn't do it. So they're like, okay, we need to get a game out, you know, at least to get some sales for Christmas. So they made that and Sonic pinball game. And they also were making Game Gear games. And this was right. one of the... Yep. So, so now we have chaos just randomly. Yes. So do you know any differences between this game and the first and second one? This game actually has uh, a lot of special items that you don't really see in many of the other Sonic games moving forward. Uh -huh. Like you, you have things like uh, rocket shoes. Uh, rocket shoes. I, yeah. So you, <laughs> this game actually has rocket shoes where you literally like blast off and fly in the air. It attaches to your to your regular shoes. Uh, it's a power up. There's other things too, like there's, there's uh, boxes that have springs in them, so then you get you basically become like a kangaroo and just jump off the spring over and over multiple times. So mm. there's there's multiple uh, power ups that are like either exclusive. To this oh, game. you can play Tails in this game. And yes, that's another thing too. Oh. You can play as Tails in the, in the game Gear version of the game. Now. Remember Sonic Two, he was just like the, the yeah, game he was just a was a prequel. Yeah, he was a pre. It was a prequel before the original Sonic Two oh. on Genesis. So that's why now it's like, okay, everybody wants to play Tails, we're gonna let people play Tails. Right. The game, the game For sure. Yo, uh, yo, chat, how's the volume on Sonic's mic and the game volume? Make sure it's good, then we'll get started. Let me know how the volume is for everything, please. How's it look on the on the stream? Is it good? You guys can see the whole video? Is the chat not overlapping? I can't really see. It's a little low for me since I'm a little far away from my mic. I'll turn down the speakers. Everything's good? Everyone says the volumes are fine? Okay. My mic a little closer. Yep. I just want to see what it looks like on my screen. Uh, look on my laptop here. I want to make sure they can see the whole video. Yep. See. Yo, the yeah, tracks. Looks, they just. Looks, are you guys okay with this? Is the is the chat not annoying on the screen? Are you guys okay with the overlay? Because if you guys are okay with it, we can get started. Yo, this the is the only tracks. way I can really capture the whole screen for for some reason so, uh, Sonic with the Sega games Master System mm. and CD and all that it, like it's not exactly four by three it's really fucked up I don't know why oh it's some weird ratio right yeah it's some strange ratio it doesn't capture the whole thing but I got it now mm. all right I will, okay, I'm gonna get I will started. say the the tracks in this game were also bangers like they're oh like really they always are for Sonic games they're bangers mm -hmm. <laughs> they always <laughs> oh dude who are we gonna play. Like, I almost feel like we have to play Tails because he's new, right? Do you know what the yeah, difference never... is? Well, obviously, this, if you remember Sonic 2, you know, he has the same ability where he can fly. So right, true. It, it, it's, main, it's the main difference between uh, Sonic and Tails. But you want to play Sonic. Like, mm -hmm. you want to play Sonic in this version because of the power-ups. 
Oh, you can only collect the power-ups of Sonic. Mm-hmm. Shit, okay, well, we'll play Sonic and then we'll try out Tails for a little bit after then, for sure. Yeah, as much as Tails, like, in this game he could fly and stuff, like, most of the game is tied still with Sonic. Gotcha. He's just there because of... Oh, we got the spin move in this game? Nice. Yup, the spin dash and everything. It's crazy. They imported a lot of things after 2. They just were like, yo, we want to make sure that the Game Gear experience is still good too. And yeah. And the Master Chief experience is still good. Like, uh, oh, there's a lot of slowdown in this game. The whole shit. Oh, the rock. Oh, the rocket shoot. Whoa, 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 what's going on? Where am I going, Sonic? Ah! <laughs> Where am I going? What the fuck is going on? Why am I flying? Oh, the rocket shoot. Oh, dude, we just skipped the entire level. Yup, that's Holy the first shit. power up. Yo, Sonic, gotta go back. Dude, remember it was it was when we started on the on the master systems, it was a platformer. You yes. know what I'm saying? It was a platformer. Now we're going fast I, again. I will say it's still a platformer in some areas, but they definitely increased the emphasis on speed here. Right. Yo, we got a do we have any like collectible mission in this game or anything like that? I believe there's special stages, if I'm correct. But I don't. Again, I, I I just played the game as a kid, so I never. I don't know how to get to the special stages per se. I think they're. I think you need like at least a certain amount of rings before you pass the goal. That man says hundred rings. Like, like what are we? Yeah, what's yeah, the yeah, mission yeah. here? For do we? If you get like, we want to see uh, you know, butterflies and shit. Well, I actually don't know the ending for this game. I don't know the ending for this game. Okay, okay. Well, Sandman, only five special stages in this game. Okay, what am I what am I doing? What's the mission? We really don't get anything. Oh, okay, so we don't have to worry about it. Gotcha. Nice. I can just concentrate on the damn game. Mm-hmm. Good shit. That's what I that's what I want to hear. <laughs> Luke, play the game. <laughs> yeah. I still remember when we played Sonic 1. And they're like, you get flowers. And that's it. <laughs> that's what we're really, like, and that's it. Look, you got rid of the like flowers and pollution. You, you and were Captain it. Planet. You were <laughs> Captain Planet before Captain Planet. <laughs> But yeah, I would say, like, even though you might not get much for the ending of the game, as Sandman said, it's still good to do the special stages to see what they are. True, true. So I, all I gotta do is collect 100 rings by the end of the level? Yes. Copy. Um... Yeah, this game would be wild to have on a Game Gear. You know what I'm saying? Like, it'd be wild. Especially if you've played the other Sonic games and then moved on to this one. It was like... Like, this is insane. Like, mm -hmm. the amount of just add-ons, additions, to mechanics, just yeah. everything just feels so much better. The abilities you know? and all that shit? Yeah. Mm -hmm. For sure. And, and like, we're part... seeing the, the Game Boy versions of Mario Land and stuff, and they're pretty impressive too. But I like the scale of the, the levels in Sonic games. The scale of the levels, there's a lot. They're big. Like, the Sonic levels are big. Well, you know remember that in, in all the Sonic games, the, the same formula is like, you want to stay on the top half, then you just go extremely fast. It incentivizes you to keep going fast and stay on the topper level of the stages. But right, the right. bottom part of the stages is usually where it's slower and there's more things to find, right? Some things are at the top of the stage too, some collectibles and stuff, mm -hmm. but it most Sonic games incentivize you to stay at the top half if you're trying to go fast. Mm -hmm. And if you're trying to look for everything, you have to explore the whole level. And so that's why, even though the levels are big and, and, and so expensive, it's for that purpose. So. Oh shit, I can't go back? Bang. Oh, Pack it up. <laughs> Save the time! No sense of time to shit, huh? We gotta find those hundred rings. Oh, I can't Seven follow more. Where are the rings at, man? There's no way I go- Oh no! <laughs> no! Pack it up. Yeah, pack it up. I can't even find any rings. No bonus. Tells me how fast I go, too. That's yeah, insanely that's fast, the, the by the way. Extremely fast. That's ex insanely fast. <laughs> it didn't even look like I was going that fast. 495 kilometers. Dude, I I know I'm going faster than the speed of sound, but like I should be going back in time at that speed, man. In the same pace. Which I Sonic is this? It's Sonic Chaos. Sonic Chaos. Chaos. 
I think every third act is a, a boss? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh shit, you're right. What's this? Dude, I, again, I haven't played this game since Sonic Adventure DX. Oh yeah? You get it. Yeah, so... Sonic Adventure DX, you could get most of the Game Gear games, actually, by collecting the emblems and completing town missions for uh, so the first Sonic Adventure, the director's cut version. So, that's my experience with the game. Oh, free? Free? Man, I'm supposed to hit him in his butt? The ladybug. I can't tell if I'm actually hurting him. It should usually- it, it's oh, normally man. 8 hit. Yeah, that boss was hit. beyond free. Beyond. Definitely on free. That was beyond Definitely free. yawn. Sleeper. That was free. Free. <laughs> ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, so like I said, I- I- we had a bunch of Sonic games for 93. And I basically skipped all the arcade ones. I took a, a a good look at them, and they just looked very. They look like cash grabs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Pretty much. They look like cash Brandy. grabs. Branded cash grabs. I don't. I don't know if the one I'm thinking of is, is before '93 or during '93. I don't know if it's uh the one with the trackball is the one I remember most. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that was '93 or not. It's the one with uh the flying squirrel and mighty the armadillo. No, I think that's '94. I didn't see 94. that. '94. Okay. Pretty you. sure. Yeah, that, that, that arcade game and then another one later down the road and the two that I think are kind of worth playing a little bit. Yeah, Sega Sonic and uh, Sonic the Fighters later on. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, Sega Sonic is 1993. Whoa! What, uh, yeah, it's 1993. Yo. Yeah, that, those are the first appearances for Ray and Mighty. Ray, like, that was his only appearance for such a long time, too. So... I mean, if you ever plan to play that in the future, you know, the, the trackball game is pretty sick. Okay. You know, they they were gonna put that game in Sonic Gems Collection, which uh -huh. was supposed to be a collection of all the Japanese Sonic games, including arcade releases. But they couldn't put Sega Sonic in uh, Gem, Gems Collection only because the trackball was hard to implement for uh, the GameCube and... I think it was a PS2 as well. I think it was just GameCube, just for the control. Mm -hmm. It's hard to implement the style of the game for that. Interesting. Scary. That being that being said though, Sonic Chaos. <laughs> the game we're talking about right now. This game, as far as I know, like it it's it definitely again it has the power-ups that are kind of like exclusive to this game. I haven't seen any of the power up to the things that they implemented in other games. I, some of the people in chat are Whoa, it that. warps right away? Warps to the special stage immediately? I thought it was oh, the shit. Stage. It's not even the end of the oh, stage. Oh, oh, of course. How could I forget this? This is the rocket boot stage. What the I fuck? love this one. Oh, huge rings. <laughs> it's it's Sega. <laughs> Sega. Yo. Subliminal messaging. Racking up live? Holy shit. So this explains how Slack's mind melted chat and he became a Sega fanboy because of these messaging here. You, did, you saw it, but you here. didn't see it, you know what I'm saying? Oh, and of course, it wouldn't be a Game Gear Sonic game if your rings didn't go back to zero after mm -hmm. the one. Oh, I got a gem? I got a gem? Chaos. Emerald. What? <laughs> What was that for? Chaos. Guys, what is that for? I have to do this five times? Is there only five emeralds? I, I don't know, Simon said five times. There's five emeralds? Wow. One more time. And you, and, and you get game. nothing for it, Simon? You say you get nothing for it? This game... There's... Oh, there's six. There's six. Spoilers. Oh, uh, oh yeah, okay, so the trackball game you're talking about is called Sega Sonic. Yes, that's the one I'm talking about. The okay, game. okay, I saw that one, and I skipped it, but uh, I can take a look at it again. I have it, but the... The ROM I have doesn't work, it like crashes, so I have to do some investigation on it. Well, if you can get it to work, that's cool. I mean, you I don't get the need title the... screen, but once I started it, it crashes. I gotta take a look. 
part of it, it could be the controls, right? Because again, it's a Yeah, it probably ball. is, actually. So it's probably the hardest part of trying to implement it is the trackball. Okay. That's the same, that's the same reason they tried to, again, put it for se se Sonic Jumps Collection, mm -hmm. but they couldn't do it. So, I, I really wonder how they would be able to port that game nowadays. We should have the technology to be able to redo, redo everything. Mm -hmm. well, we'll see. Oh! If that was Sonic 1, you would have been dead. The spike glitch would have oh, been Oh yeah, the like spike that. glitch, right, right. Yeah. They definitely made improvements, though, for sure. Especially... I mean... We all know that you didn't need 16-bit to go fast. So... <laughs> Wait, it's not a wall. Looks like a wall. There we go. Oh yeah, rings for days. Holy oh, shit, for me. Yeah, I, I feel like... I don't know, why did I beat this game? This game really wants you to have rings. Yeah, rings, lives, continue. Once you oh, get to the special shit. stage mad easy. Yeah. I don't know yeah, you don't even have to make it to the end, it's crazy. Nah, that, that surprised me. I thought you had to make it to the end. That's cool that you're getting a refresher course, too. Yeah. Again, most of the Game Gear games, I didn't play, like, extensively. Yeah, I, I can played imagine. The Genesis game. Yeah, you want to play the full-blown. Of course. I want the true experience. Oh yeah, there's a time ring scanner here. If I get these Remember. extra rings, though, like, literally every one of these rings count. Okay. Well, you can go back, there's a loop there. I don't know what that loop needs to do. Yeah, that should be good enough. I'm sure I can find that screen. I'll go to that loop you're talking about here. Oh, there we go. There we go. Level up! Oh, word? Platform in time? Vesper, you ever compete at EVIL? Yeah, I did, actually. I, I attended EVIL. I got disqualified. Uh, they called my name, but I was at a buffet. I love food, all right? <laughs> I, I, if I had to choose between fighting games and food every major, I would just go <laughs> That's just a fact. Uh... You got 32 seconds, by the way. Yeah, like, my first match was against some girl, and it's like, her boyfriend went up to me, and he's like, yeah, yeah, man, it's just, like, don't worry, she's not that good. I'm like, oh, okay, okay. And I got, like, a double perfect or some shit. And then, mm. uh, then my next match got dq Bomber. Bomber. Yeah, that was a long but time ago. But okay. yeah. it's okay. It's okay. The major life is important because, again, without... Even if you don't play the game, you can still eat food with your friends. Oh, I'll still, I still enjoy you like crazy. I like... I, uh... Hell yeah. Wait, did I run out of time? You, yeah, you only have a minute. Okay, let me, let me sans that shit. I, I was gonna say, uh... <laughs> I, uh... I still enjoyed like just sitting in the front row and just watching all the matches like live. You know? Of course, the, there, the spectacle of Evo was, was amazing. You yeah, know, I met a lot of people. Yeah, that's when I first met Daigo actually, and uh, yeah. learned the truth. You know what I'm saying? Or Things about, changed about what fighting means. Yeah. About mashing, crouching, heavy Ooh, kick now. I don't care. <laughs> oh, what's this? What's this? Spring. Oh, springs. But you don't get to, you don't have to jump off of it. You can stay on them too. Oh, okay. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, there it is. Oh, shit. Remember, you can stay on this. Oh fuck. Hey, I didn't uh -oh. think of jumping that high. Like. What are the big rings for? They oh no. They give they give you way more rings. Oh, fuck. Yeah, remember you don't have to jump off the spring. You can stay on it. It's like those type of uh, devices. You can just keep bouncing on them. Okay. Oh my god. Sonic is so fast. I'm not used to the speed. Look, Bro, have you ever played this I game called Kid Chameleon, man? Oh, Kid Chameleon? I've heard of Kid Chameleon, I've never played it. Bro. The worst game ever. It's the why, why is it what why is it that? It's got the worst platforming I've ever seen in a platforming game. The controls are more. horrendous. Worse than Cheetah Man? Worse than what? Cheetah Man? What the fuck is that? 
<laughs> Action 52? What the fuck is that, bro? You don't know Action 52? That's no, bro. Crazy. Educate me. What is that? Action 52 is a list of 52 games, uh, including like Cheetah Man, um, which is like it's 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 a bad game. I don't I don't okay. even want to talk about it's it. A bad game. <laughs> it's a really bad. It's a bad game. game. Shout out to Angry Video Game Nerd. That yeah. it's such a bad game. Oh, I think I'm supposed to go on this. Okay, oh, I get it. Yeah, I get, you I can get stay it. on it. You can stay I get on it. mechanics. Mechanics. Mm -hmm. Did I get it? Or did I run out of time? I think you ran out of time. No way. <laughs> I was, I was like, oh. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Are you serious? This game is so hard. Wait, wait, it says what? I missed a gem? Did I miss a gem, guys? No, you didn't. You, you it's got spaced out. One. That's like my OCD is going off right now. You, you got it. You got oh, it. Oh, good. I'm good. You got it. Gigaopolis? Gigaopolis. What? Gigalopolis? It's had an L in this, bro. Yo, I'm dyslexic, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what do I hold when I hit these things? Uh, no, you hold right. I feel like I, I hold moment. I lose my mon momentum if I hit right. I swear. Remember, you also have. I think if you do up and uh, A, I think the like how you do the spin dash, you just do up and A. You have something new as well too. I think. Okay. And this gets. I think this mechanic gets later introduced in. Uh, the next game we're gonna play. Mm -hmm. Like if you did up and uh, ah, eight, like fudge. how you Oh you're trying to get up there, you're trying to platform. Yeah, I'm trying to platform right now. Oh my god, if you're slipping though. Dude, we got a 50 going seconds, fast, baby. Bro. Oh wait, the timer's going up. Why is the timer going up? Because you you have a 10 minute time limit, but like obviously it's a regular stage. You were in a special stage. Okay. Oh. Yo, Chad, explain me. What was that even about? I don't even know what that was about. What the fuck? I guess you could go no, wait, maybe you could have gone the other way. Oh, it's a oh, boss, boss stage. stage. Okay, wait, that was wait. cheap. Magic. Wait, wait a minute, though. So you finished you finish the second... Wow, so you finished the second act if you get 100 rings. Yeah, so getting the 100 rings is like crazy. And this guy's picking my ass. So not only do you get the ammo, do you finish the act. No! I need that ring! Oh, fuck! Hey, at least it gives me rings for the bosses. Yes. In the other games? Oh, it was hell. Damn. Yeah, dude, I'll never forget that fucking song, too, Last Boss, man. Holy shit, dude. It, it, that was it, insane. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be a boss fight in a Sonic game if you had to do it with... Right. Oh, fuck. Yo, crits with the huge fucking gift subs. Holy shit! Twenty. Jesus one? Christ! That's, That's actually ridiculous. Crits fucking out of control right now. Holy shit! You're good. You fought well. Jesus Christ! That's wild. Oh my god, dude. Thank you. Holy we gift, shit. yo, we we gift in those crits. We actually, we don't just read those crits. We gift those crits. That's dude. <laughs> Dude, dude, this fucking Sonic game night is fucking always lit. Every time, man. Every fucking time. Yo, man, Holy Sonic, shit, the dude. blue blur. Bro, I appreciate it. Thank you. Holy shit, dude. It's wild. You were good. This boss is fucking wild, too, by the way. I need help. I can't beat this guy. You gotta focus. You gotta focus. I think I just don't jump and then wait. Because if I jump, yeah, it makes it harder, but he kind of yep. tracks me, you know? They were good. Yeah, it's kind of cheap because well. the moment you hit him, he tosses the balls out. Right, 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 right. I have to like see if it's gonna be a bouncing one or one that's going straight at me. You know? Yup. Well, we, we blasted they through that. No, no problem. You fought well. Oh, uh, I don't. Is there any like fighting games you would like to watch me play too? By the way, because uh, I noticed this year is the first uh, Samurai Showdown game. I don't know if you wanted to educate me. Well, I'm not. Again, my, my only uh, experience with Samurai well. Showdown is actually five special. Mm -hmm. I do know about like Sam Show 4 and Sam Show 2. Yeah. Uh, but I've, again, like, all I really know is five special, like, mechanically. Oh, okay. okay. Really yeah. 
I do know about some of the lore in terms of the story with Sancho, but that's about it. Okay, well, like I said, I I have like literally eight fighting games to play for 93, like eight. So if there's any fighting they? game that you think I'm getting close you to that you well. want to be around for, I mean, just make sure you let me know. Oh, I got you know what I'm saying? I do know later down the line, they, again, this is like the fighting game, game, so they release a ton of fighting games. Like 3D fighting games later on too is also a big good. thing. Like, it, it, it definitely blows up, like. Okay. By the way, this like jumping spring thing is wild. It is wild. Again, I, I don't think I've seen this or the rocket shoes ever employed in another Sonic. Really? This is the only, I think this, this is the only game that had this type of stuff. Oh shit. Like, the later games didn't have this stuff, if, I was, if I'm correct. Mm -hmm. Which is what makes this, like, good. this Game Gear game so unique. Because, well. mm -hmm. like, it has very, like, specific mechanics that you don't really even see. So. Now, I, I wonder, do you, I wonder if you have the peel-out move. Which is, good. It's the same as you doing the spin well. dash, but you just do up instead of down. You do. What okay. is this? This is the super peel-out, so this is... This is actually a move that later returns in the next game we're gonna play. What the so fuck? This is the, so, he doesn't spin into a ball. Instead, he'll immediately go at top speed uh, using the super speed out. Mm -hmm. Super speed out, basically. So, he basically reaches max speed immediately. Good. It's cool. I mean, but it's I, so it's it's for speed, but it's dangerous because I'm vulnerable. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're not in a ball. Gotcha. But but the, the way you fix that is remember you could just do the super peel out and then press down. You were good. Oh, okay, right. Yeah. Well. Oh, dude, so many so many mechanics now. Getting close to that ring. Getting Which fighting that. games do you care about in your childhood? I mean, the first games that I played, uh, Pepsi. Epsi Pepsi? Is that saying your name right? Uh, Epsi well. Epsi actually? Epsi, I, I hope I got it right. Epsi Pepsi? The first games that I remember playing as a child in terms of fighting games were like Street Fighter 2 Turbo, uh, Alpha 2 for a little bit, Marvel 2, a lot of Capcom titles. So, there are other games that I remember playing that I just recently looked, had to look back up, but they didn't hit me as much as most Capcom fighters at the time. Boom! You were Got good. It. You nice. fought well. Oh. Oh shit. It, it's, it, we're back at Sonic 2. No, huh? no, none of this again, please. <laughs> the tubes. The tubes were good. so fucking confusing you last time. Well. Whatever, I'm down. As long as there's no water levels, I'm cool, man. No more. I water mean, levels, the water levels should be easier now because now you just get 100 rings. True. Getting are, mad. are we getting loot? Mad deja vu. What the fuck is going on here? Are we getting loot? Oh, there it is. Oh no, we're not oh, getting loot. We missed it. We missed it. Oh, you have to, oh, yeah, oh, you have to shit. choose where you want to go. Oh, it's sending you all the way back. Oh, oh, bro. Wait, where are we going? What is happening? Bruh. Ten Why seconds. do we? Oh, my God. You had to hold right. It's doing yeah, the same thing as Sonic 2. Right. Definitely has to hold right. <laughs> Dude, You got fucking five seconds. It's a wash, bro. It's a wash. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You're not, it, holding right doesn't work. Holding right doesn't work. What? Ha what is happening? I don't know. It wouldn't let me go through that too. You gotta press something else. It's not. It's not right. I have to like mash a button or something. Uh, I respect that name. That's the best you got. It. Uh huh. Maybe there's a way. Like I can experiment here if I just go down. Yeah. I don't know. I don't. I don't know how to like manipulate which tube I go through. I don't think. I actually don't think you can. Really? If you can't manipulate it, I wouldn't think you can. I mean, I'm holding going right. Right. I'm holding down. Yeah. So I don't, I don't think there's a way. I'm holding up. I just held up there. Oh, it didn't. It didn't even detect it. Oh no. And before you have to actually hold the direction before you even see it. It's crazy. Okay, I'm holding right. Yeah, I just held right. Nothing happened. Nothing. That's so gotta be a way. Weird. I wonder if you have to press like A to confirm to mash maybe mash right time time to just mash button. yeah maybe you don't hold it you press it I mashed it nothing happened written 
Yeah, I thought this was like Sonic, the, the Sonic 2 Game Gear version where you just press the button. I have to hold up? Yeah, I'll hold up. Let's see. Am I dizzy yet? <laughs> no. Like too many FPS games get dizzy. Yo, this invincibility track right now, though. Only not, bro. I just held there up. There you go. It worked. Nice. Three. Two more. Yeah, these better be separated. Better see the third one separated. Okay, good. OCD back intact. Hmm. <clears throat> good. Look at them continues. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, look at that timer. The score is just going crazy right now. That continues. This game is giving you everything. That's it crazy. Is, it is. Sleeping egg. I, I actually never knew that if you got a hundred rings, it finished the level for you. That is wild to me. But yeah, meanwhile in 93, Sega has been doing a lot of crazy shit, because uh, this is the year that Daytona comes out. Yes. And Virtual Daytona Fighter. Daytona USA. And it's like... And, yep, and that's the boom of the 3D games, too. Yeah, it is. It really is, because their engine is wild. It's so mm -hmm. good, the engine they had. So Sega's doing good both in arcade and on uh, console at this time, you know? Yeah, they were definitely towering. Like, remember, they were fighting with Nintendo yeah. a lot. And then obviously Capcom came out and they were really like pushing the fighting game scene in the beginning, right? Like right. so now it's like to see some to see Sega at an absolute high like this, like it's insane, you know? Mm -hmm. So it, it really makes me think though, oh you gotta really run fast by the way down there. You're gonna have to run fast. Yup. Oh. Okay. But yeah, it really makes you think, you know, like what happened? You know, what happened to Sega? And I mean, we'll probably get to that at some point with the game, because it kind of like articulates what happens with them. Right. And, you know, later on in the 90s into the early 2000s, but like, it's sad, you know? It's sad. I mean, yeah, it is sad, but like, you got yeah. uh, like, to look at the other platforms too. There's platforms that got way more fucked up, like Atari. That's true. Atari fucked up so many times, by the way. Atari fucks up like every Yo, fucking like the year. Jaguar? The Jaguar? Dude, Atari fucks up like every year on everything. Guys. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, they single-handedly crashed the gaming market twice, and it's a bunch of other shit. Man, the amount of wild. bad business decisions is unreal with Atari. Okay, and like I said, Sega's they were doing fine. When like, competing with Nintendo, they got that the early 16-bit console out and all that shit. You know, I don't know what this bonus stage is about, but we're probably gonna get fine. Right, keep going forward, man. And there, there's a bunch of other shit, and it's like. A lot of other platforms got ahead of Nintendo and Sega in terms of power, like the Jaguar and all that, but with the lack of third-party support, does this kind of remind you guys of a platform? The oh, lack man, of third-party support. The Jaguar and the 3D, oh. They were, they were really hard to design games for, the Jaguar and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, they ran into that problem. Like, it... Like I said, there's a there's a really old like video of an interview of talking to uh, one of Nintendo's reps on in regards to uh, what do they think about Sega having their 16-bit console earlier and shit. And mm -hmm. the Nintendo rep is like, well, at the end of the day, it comes down to the games. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just it doesn't matter about the power. It just comes down to the game. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's a sick saying because it's still it's still to this day that still you know echoes on. I mean, that's the truth, though. You know, you can have as much graphics as you want, but the game is whack. You know, it doesn't matter. All right. Sure. Yeah, how do we get but up yeah. here, bro? There you go. Momentum, baby. Physics. Remember, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what Sonic game you play. It's about physics. I think this level's, like, really long. You know, like, you need to, like... Travel. You gotta speed run this shit, you know? Oh, of course. I mean, most of those again, are re remember, remember that Sonic was designed off of the fact that, you know, the creator wanted to speed run Mario, like the first level. So. Speed. 
Those rocket shoes shoes are mad cool. Yeah, they're really yeah, cool. Get the kind of makes sense to give Sonic this too, because Tails can fly. Can Tails can Tails fly forever? Like, can he like keep going? No, he gets tired. He gets tired. I wish he could fly forever. I'm sure everybody does. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be broken. <laughs> yeah, it would be broken. Oh, there it oh, is! No, no! Oh, it's way at the oh, top. Wait, how do you I get it? The rocket, you need the rocket shoes. But I, I, I felt like my rocket, rocket shoes ran out, you know? Oh, it's mad far. It's mad far. Gotta go fast, baby. Yeah, gotta go fast for sure. The arcades is what killed Sega and bad console decisions regarding design. The Dreamcast is what the Saturn should have been. I do, I do agree with that, bad juju. The the Saturn, remember that they were gonna develop a mainline Sonic game for the Saturn, Sonic Extreme, but it was canceled uh, due to other, I mean, due to a lot of things. But the point is, like, the, if they didn't, I feel like if they didn't cancel that, and they kind of just worked on the Sat the Dreamcast, like, or they or they worked on the Dreamcast first instead of the Saturn, they would have probably gotten somewhere. So mm -hmm. it, it was just it, and. And it's also miscommunication too, right? Because remember, you have two different studios as well. So it's, it's just a lot that kind of like played into that. And also, you know, the PS2 and the GameCube were coming out. I mean, keep yeah. keep in mind too, guys, that Nintendo wasn't like making the right decisions either. Nintendo wasn't doing kick-ass either. They let no. Sony swept the rug under everybody. Sony, Sony fucked Sony everybody up. Sony so hard. Yeah, Sony fucked everyone up. Shit. I think yeah. that was the one. Though. I think I got the idea. Though. That was the one, right? Like, no, you, you, you didn't miss Sonic CD, Danny. Uh, soccer. No, we're starting with Chaos first. Mm -hmm. And at the rate that this game is going, we might be finished really fast. With this game. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's really easy this one. Yeah. Hey, grab this one now. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I think it wants me to jump over these guys, but there's one yeah, here. This is the one you need. This is the one I think you need. Going way up. Oh, I just oh, missed it. I, I don't know. There's gotta be one back here. There has to be. Yeah, right oh, here. Oh, there right is. Right here, right here. Oh my god, man, there's six seconds. Fuck. I'm fucking going Four, in. I'm going in. Three. Two, Ooh! Ah. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> now we got four. Yeah. Uno mas. Uno mas. Dude, that was going at light go. speed there. Six continues. Mm -hmm. Yo, we, we're just never gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> we're never gonna die. <laughs> 12 lives? Oh my god. Yeah, dude, crazy. But yeah, like I said, it's just, you know. Nintendo made some bad decisions too, and Sony swept the rug at everybody, and then even Microsoft yeah. was going in, and it's just like... Sega was just at the end of the line, basically. Someone's gotta be in last place, you know? That shit's interesting, man. I like to hear the... Well, Atari went in last place, let's be real. <laughs> Atari was of last course. place. Those guys got I don't think fucked you can... up, dude. I don't think you can come back from the devastation that was just Atari, dude. Atari's fuck-ups created Activision. Saying like <laughs> that's how bad they fucked up, bro. They created Activision. By the way, you notice that Eggman has yet to fight you yet, right? Yeah, it's this weird. All, all his robots. Oh, free? Oh shit! He's getting like a little free? There. That was a pro gamer. Oh dude, that was speed run. <laughs> this guy's got aim skill. Nice. When is, this, when is this guy gonna get added to Apex? <laughs> I think the... You know, the gaming market is... It's really hard to forecast a lot of things. Like, it's a, it's a hard business to get into, I think. You really don't know what's gonna pop off. And the trends change so quickly. 
I mean, even look at Capcom, the bad decisions they did, right? And they're slowly coming back now. It's like, it just, I don't know, man. Yeah, you have to it changes play to like the, the wind, man. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, you have to play to the fame, essentially. To, to right. What people want, and it's fleeting to play that way, too. Because you, to try and do that game where you're just trying to figure out what the people want, it's hard, you know? Because you also have the things that your company wants to do. How do, how do we get on top of this? Sorry. Speed, bro. Got any speed? You need speed. Nice. Oh, this guy is gatekeeping. No, you, you, you can spin dash. You know that. Okay, I'm gonna spin dash this guy. Oh, fuck. There oh, you go. That actually worked out, though. That actually worked out. <laughs> Didn't even need to get on time. Oh, yo. What happened? Lost <laughs> some shoes. You want this is a close cool thing. This jump and spring thing. This is sick. Yeah, I like it, too. Yeah, the answer in every Sonic game is speed, speed momentum, yeah. physics, violence. I don't know about Shadow the Hedgehog. But... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I always. I don't know why they change Shadow so much. I'm not even. When, when we eventually, maybe one day. I mean, if we. Oh! Get, get, Oh. Oh. Feels man. Getting... Oh. Dang, you are losing all these. Oh rings. no. Oh. Ah. Oh. It's all bad, bro. <laughs> it's all bad. Oh my god. I still don't know the proper way I'm supposed to like. Go on this platform and get these ring. I'll try. I'll try the up one. You can do the super. You can do the no. super. Yeah, you can do the super peel out. There you go. But I like. Yeah, you don't get the rings there. You're gonna have to jump. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like temporary. And we're good. You fought well. Yo, Joker. Thanks for the six months, bro. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Sonic Adventures when? Yeah, we were talking about Sonic Adventure earlier just now, but mm -hmm. I, again, I, I hope we get there soon. Uh, I hope you know, so too, man. I don't know. I, I always try to keep the yeah. chat in check. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because they're always saying these games that are like so, so long from where we are. Because I don't understand. I, I, There's so many good games now. Yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of scared for you, Vesper. You got to think about games like down the line like Shenmue. Mm -hmm. You know? Oh, boy. Bro, I played Shenmue, and I was like stuck in like the house for like a week. <laughs> Just like looking at every little thing, I'm like, what the fuck is this game? Bro. Oh, fudge. No! Oh, the same way! Dude, this stage is too hard, man. Yo, it I gotta is go fast in this stage. I can't, I can't explore in this stage. You gotta go fast. Yeah, you gotta go fast in this stage. You can't, you can't mess around. Yes, uh, oh. Big the Cat, this is definitely Sonic Chaos. I'm trying to do the thing. To the peel out? Mm hmm. But it's like sliding me down the hill. Oh, you just walk in the guys? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yo, hey, anime, we dodge those bombs. I definitely want to stay on the top. Yeah, the safest place usually in Sonic games is also the top, because that's how you get to go faster. Ah! Did I get. Oh, good, it takes a hit for me. It takes a hit. Mm -hmm. nice. That item is amazing, man. Yeah, the, the chat is saying Shenmue 3 was cheats? I, I never got a chance to play it. Yeah, I've only I've only played the first one. I didn't even beat it. Yeah, I, I, I hope never one day we get to it, but I don't know. Manage your expectations. Get it managed. No! Oh my god. Okay, the spring was there to save you. I wouldn't. I wouldn't even risk it, Vesper. I wouldn't have even risked it. I, I held left. I held left, guys. I wouldn't have even risked it. You wanted those rings. You were. Greedy. I do. I was so greedy, man. Oh I was holding left God. the whole time, bro. I would have just went forward, bro. All right, all right, all right. Maybe, maybe, maybe this stage is a wash. Maybe it's a different stage. Here. Remember, you got three X. So true, true. Well, well, two technically. I th what do I get for getting all the emeralds again, guys? I mean. It's, Sandman says you don't get much. I think it's another another ending. 
But I mean, it's like the, they're so easy to get in this game. What it looks like. True. True. It's like, why not get it? Right. But the thing is, this is the one thing I didn't like about the Game Gear games too, right? Like, I could understand like Sonic One, right? It's supposed to be a, a, a port, or rather a kind of oh new game, God. a new game to Sonic One, right? But Sonic Two came out, right? And mm -hmm. we're get, we're collecting emeralds still. Why can't we be Super Sonic in the Game Gear games? It's too much power, right? You know? So that's why I, I never really liked the Game Gear games. Either. This is like. Yeah, but I can just play the, the original games. Mm -hmm. And get more for it. Like, you get a lot for getting the emeralds in the second, in the second game all the way. So. Dude, that's the end of level, too, man. That's crazy! That's There's the no end of way level. I would've got 100 right now. There's no way. Oh my god. You would have to, have, you would have to go out of your way. Yeah, you really have to, like, like, backtrack and shit. If it's five emeralds, this, this game must mm -hmm. be short, then. If it's just five emeralds. Mecha Green Hill Zone. You honestly see the downfall of arcades a mile away, the cost of arcade hardware because oh. console hardware was way cheaper. They realized it too late, the Dreamcast was basically the Naomi board. If they were able to create the Naomi hardware in 95, Sega would still be around. I mean, Sega is still around, but. They the are, but. Not I, I, I mean, I don't know, like. I don't know if that's true, because, like, once again. You guys gotta think about the, the gaming market right now, how insanely, insanely cutthroat it is right now. Look at the deals that Sony's making on exclusives. It's fucking crazy, okay? Microsoft's only able to keep up because they literally have unlimited money. Yep. Like, they have unlimited money. Like, any any other company in Microsoft's shoes would be going under right now. You know what I'm saying? But they be making them OS's. So, it's like, for Sega to hang with those guys? I don't know. Fuck the same. Uh, Epsi Pepsi. Uh, I kind of agree. I think Sonic 06, if you look at Sonic Boom versus Sonic 06, I think Sonic Boom is quite worse. So, in my, in, in my opinion, I think it's worse. I don't think... I don't think anything tops how bad the Sonic Boom games were. Completely unrelated, just was an answering the question. Yo, Microsoft. Microsoft. <laughs> the kings. The, the, the kings without a, the big without M, a crown. <laughs> the Microsoft. kings without a crown. No! Oh, no! Fuck, dude. Oh, look at all the rings here, too, man. Yeah, I don't like this act. <laughs> no! The zone? You oh don't like the God. zone? Yeah, the zone, I mean. I mean, you've been able to skip all the other zones with the true, special True, true. So we gotta make it hard sometimes. And complain. I just want that last emerald. I know. Uh oh. Oh my <laughs> god. It's a wash. It's a wash. It's a wash. It's a wash. This level's a wash. We gotta wait I for really the next song. I hope this is not the last level. Oh, that sucked if it was. That'd be insane. Okay, oh. I'm, I'm ripped. Definitely get to the top <laughs> of the level. This stage is mad hard. It looks like it's hard. The game's like, yeah, you know, you could play some Sonic or you could die now. Yeah, the train wheels are off. I think what? Oh, wow, that's actually old. Oh, they, they did you dirty. I just got trolled. I just got fucking trolled. Can I get uh, yeah, yeah. Can you I get the jump? Yeah, let's see if I can jump up there. Save me from hits though. Don't save me from spikes. That's for damn sure. No, 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 no. Oh. Bro. Uh, bro. I don't even think there's enough rings. Even if you collect them all. Yeah, I think this is like. It'll be like 70 or something. I don't know, we'll see. As long as I don't touch that spike on the left. Do not touch that spike. 80, maybe. Yeah, maybe 80. No, no, no! Oh my god! 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 Oh my god!
my god. I knew it, dude. As soon as I veered left like that, I knew it was over. I knew it, bro. And it's the end of the level? And oh it's the level. Oh my end of the level. god. Bro. Come on. Bro. Come on. Bro. Yo, 93. Oh, fuck, man. <laughs> Yo. Hey, artificial difficulty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Okay, boss time. Man, there's no way you can get 80 rings here, so... I mean, 100 rings, so... It should be, bo it should be b boss. And Lol. I'm fucking dead. And that's the end of my story. <laughs> this stage is so unforgiving. <laughs> I was scared you weren't gonna get any rings. <laughs> No, 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 jump! Oh my okay, god. oh my god, Bruh. dude. Oh, there's some spikes there. Ooh, what's this? Oh, this is free. Oh, shit. No, it can't be that easy. It's that easy. It can't be that easy. That I refuse easy. to believe it's that easy. It's that easy. I refuse it's to that, believe it's that It's actually that easy. I refuse. No, this can't be real. can't be real. This can't be real. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck was that? That was free. That was beyond free. Yo, the pro gamer moves. Oh. Aqua Planet. Uh oh. You used to go to your neighbor's place to play this game? That's cool, man. Hey, do you like Aqua? Do you like H2O? Why? <laughs> do you oh. like H2O? No, no, I don't. Do you like H2O? I mean, I like the band Aqua. But I don't I like know about this. I like the band Aqua too. Oh, but... oh shit! But do you like do you like water? N I'm more of a Coke Zero kind of guy. You would swim in Coke Zero? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. I have to think about that. You you have to what? <laughs> <laughs> You're like so confused. Swimming in Coke Zero. I don't know, man. Oh, whoa, 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 Oh, you're all you're already out of time at the start. Yo, puzzles. Oh fuck. That's crazy. What the oh fuck? My God. Oh, it freezes the timer, by the way. That's oh, it freezes it, it. it. It freezes the timer. Oh uh, fuck. Where do you go, huh? Where the fuck do I go? Oh, dude, I went backwards. I went oh, backwards, no. bro. <laughs> bro, I went backwards. Can't make this shit up. Bro. 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 What's up? Chad, help! Chad! I Chad! Can't help oh, bro. Fuck am I going? Oh no! Oh no! All no! Oh, oh, what the fuck? Wait a minute! <laughs> Wait a minute! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, oh, okay. I'm oh, ah! Fuck! That's kind of OD. This is this kind of OD. I'd be confused. Dude, Sam saying hold down here. Like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? Okay. Where am I going? Okay. Oh! Oh! No! Oh! oh what God. the fuck? Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here we go again. Here we go again. Ah! <laughs> Yo, got it. Okay. Hold. Jump. Oh, dude. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Jesus Christ! The bonus stages are hard in the game. So, why is that one not blue? Dude, I got music. What does that mean? What just happened? All the emeralds though. That's what it means. 
My man got like ten Sonic heads. <laughs> Sonic heads for days. Now what? <laughs> now what? You just play the game now. All right. Cool. cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could still try to get a hundred rings though, but I don't know if it'll do anything. Bro, you try to get the hundred rings with a C? What happens? Dude, look how many fucking rings I have, man. I just started the stage, so. That's crazy. This is crazy. This game's really giving you, like, everything. There's just fucking rings everywhere. Three lives. Continues. Like, Sonic. They should have called this game Sonic Rings. Sonic Rings, bro. We're gonna get the hundred right here. Yeah, you got all. You got all. Go pack it up. Time, time to actually play the game. Though. Yeah, playing the game now. Shit. Oh my god! Look how many rings there are. Oh my god! This is insane. What's the top spot? Oh, Ooh, we got Ooh. another life. Ooh, we got nine. Ooh, nice. 766 nice. kilometers per hour. What happens if you get another continue? Oh. <laughs> Just clip off screen. Oh, we're playing. Boss Two, time. Three. No water. I wonder if they chose not to have water anymore. I think that's a good choice, Sonic. Down. I think that's a good choice. Invincibility for the boss? Yo, why? This game? Oh, you just ran out of it. Oh, just ran out. Oh, shit. Oh, and it reset the boss music to the stage music. No, this is free! <laughs> This is free! What is this game? This is so free! Bro, it's, like, I, I, I just make I went, it look free, Sonic. I went, it just I looks went to free. Red Lobster, bro. So it's hard. It's, I got you, it's hard. It's, <laughs> it's, it's not like we went. It's not like we oh, went fuck! I shouldn't have talked shit. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, I was talking too much. I was feeling myself, bro. Fuck! Oh. <laughs> fuck, dude. I'm not gonna lie, I definitely thought- Dude, I was thought dead. he was dead! I thought he was dead, bro. That's crazy. Why could- So, so, Vesper, I would say- well, So, at least up until this boss, I would say most of the bosses so far have been Red Lobster, Cheesy Biscuits, and Water Free. Yeah? Yeah, it's been pretty- it's been pretty free so far. This is like the one boss I see is giving you a challenge now. Oh no. Hidden missiles. Hidden missiles. Yeah, hidden missiles, bro. Oh! Got some homing on it. Okay, remember, off screen, off screen. Off screen, bro. Bro, 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 bro. Chill, chill. Hidden missiles. Oh, 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 oh. Go so come down, come down, I wanna talk to you. I, I think you have to hit him while he's doing that. While he's Word? Going okay, alright, I'll try, I'll try. Maybe. Oh, oh yeah. fuck. Mastermind. Look, we're we're Giga Brain, okay? We're Giga Brain. Mastermind. What is gonna happen if you get another continue? The game's gonna freeze and we're screwed. <laughs> it's gonna probably the game's reset gonna you to... fucking crash. <laughs> it's probably gonna reset you to one continue. <laughs> no, dude, don't say that. Oh, oh what? Egg. Obstacles. This feels, this feels like the final level. I think so. It's got the final level vibe. I mean, electric egg. Oh so... shit. Oh, Bro. if you didn't get the- if you didn't get the emeralds before- Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. No shit, hey? If you didn't get the emeralds. 
Holy shit. I mean, even if you got 100, I think since you have all the emeralds, you can't really... You, you can't skip this. I guess the strat would be you would just do the special stages later. What? No. She. You would just do the special stages later. Holy fuck, Amnesia. So you would never have to go through the hell that you're probably gonna have to go through now. Just gonna run up that, that pit. Yo, this, this track though, it's going hard. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Whoa, what's going on? I'm in a cart. I'm dead. <laughs> You gotta Bro, react what was to that about? What was the point of that? What was the point of that? It's a set. Yo, it's a set piece. It's a set piece. A set piece. <laughs> Look, Sonic games are known for their set pieces. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> oh, it's actually. I think it actually reminds me of Sonic Advance Two Chrono Dragon. Whoa. At least from the way it looks aesthetic. Yeah, techno beats. Oh, okay. Oh, man, you're you're getting. I gotta stay on that platform. Way. I gotta stay on that platform, and then I gotta. I don't know. Go to the right or something. Whoa, this guy's tracking me. Oh no, we got no I think you could jump into that pipe too if you want it. Yeah, that's one way to get around the enemies, I guess. Bro, the slowdown. Yeah, slowdown is crazy. That's okay. insane. But it's okay, because it's jam packed with features. Push to its absolute limit. Why? It just trolled me! But wait up. There Where you go. Going? Oh god! Holy fuck, trial by fire. Lives, man. You got a lot of lives. Yeah. They gave it to you, so now you're a lot of lives. Sounds a lot of to put in work. Mad work. Okay. Ah! Can I get a ring at least? Nice. Okay. Chill, chill. Okay, I'm holding right, or was it up? Should be right. Oh, it's hot. Oh, fuck. oh are, you, are you talking about the next one? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, what? Oh, free. Nice. Wait, why did I get the bird if I was going 890, bro? I was almost max speed there. Look, I don't know, but I don't know. Oh, the speed will give you points. That's what it gives you. Mm. The speed gives you points at the end of the level. How fast you pass the signpost. Signpost. Ah, words. <laughs> Wait, where the fuck am I going, bro? Oh, shit. Oh, no. Back to Sonic 2 oh, on the no. Game Gear. Oh, no. Oh, no. You know, I haven't watched the Sonic the Hedgehog movie still. Oh, you haven't seen it yet? I still haven't seen it. Alright, it's nice. I need to see it too, for sure. I mean, is it worth risking your life for, though? You know what I'm saying? I mean, there's there's YouTube. It has it on there now. Oh yeah. Yeah, YouTube has it. Uh, like officially? Right? Yeah, officially. Oh cool. You rented or buy it. It's been that long. When did it release? When did when did the song movie even release? It's, it's really been yeah, that long. Back. I think it was earlier this year. It hey, don't troll me. Don't troll me, game. It tried to troll me, bro. It literally tried to troll me. Valentine's Day. That's crazy. You take you take your special honey out to go to see to Sonic. Movie, to go see Sonic. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> kind of OD. I mean, if you want to go on an adventure, yeah, I guess. I guess it makes sense. Yo, Valentine's Day. I didn't even. I I forgot that they released it at that. I like I said. I went to the theater actually last week, and uh, I don't know. The theaters are so much better now. It's so nice and quiet. And Oh, you can actually watch chill. movies still now? I mean, I mean, at least in my city, the theaters are open again. But, like, the scene plan is wild. It's like, 
it's like three or four seats empty in every direction around you. I see. So it's like very small number of people in the theater, and it's nice and quiet, you know. Yeah, I actually don't know if they're open here in New York. I just know that in some areas, like they're they're closed so bad. The last movie was the Sonic movie before everything closed. Hmm. Okay, what we got here? What we got. Oh, it's him! Oh, Eggman. He, it's he's time. here, bro. Bro. Bro, and he's really hard. Oh, fuck! Yeah, he's mad hard. <laughs> <laughs> he's extremely hard. I was getting mad deeps there, but I don't know. I got fucked up. Oh, yo, get some oh there we go. Okay, 30 rings is better than zero. Okay. It's definitely final boss territory. Go, final boss music too? No, what the hell? At least in this in this game gear game you could pick up the rings you lost. True, true. But you couldn't do that in the other one. Oh my god, you got rich. Oh, I lost my iframes. Oh! I tried to get like the ring back, noon. bro. I tried. Eggman's like, it's high noon. Just ricochet the bullet. Oh, dude, yeah. No, that's a. Uh, fucking John Wick, Wick in this game. Well, yeah, he's John Wick. John Wick definitely is better. He's, he's John got Wick the whole boat. That's another movie. I Shit, actually I have did not it again. Watched. That's another movie I actually haven't watched with John Wick. I just know the meme. Oh, okay, okay. The dog. First one will just get you up to speed. Just need to see the first one. I see. Dude, I went on my way to dodge and I still get hit. The ricochet no, is unreal. Bro. Bro, the set play. Bro. The set play. The, oh, yo, he is set playing you. Dude. This is some Falk shit going on right now. This is a V trigger 1 in my face. Eggman's a Falk player? Dude, I'm hanging onto this ring for dear life. Dude, he's got mad health too. I'd want mad health too if I was getting jumped in on. True, true. Oh, played Bro. myself. Yeah. Dude, oh man, we're spawning this time. Oh, is nice. that it though? Is that it? Oh, oh it's of not course not. Of course not. Bro, it's not. What's going on? <laughs> Aerial we warfare. Have Fuck. Have phases. He just runs into me. Good luck, Vesper. Shit, dude. This is not like fair. the game has been easy so far. Yo, difficulty spike. The difficulty spike. Okay, I will not accidentally go into the tube. Man, really trying to go with these Star Wars vibes. Punch. Oh, he's got me trapped in the corner, Sonic. He is, he is oh, he just playing. stomped on me. No, I need that this? ring, bro. No. Yo, Eggman just straight set played me. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> I was trapped in the corner, five. man. No V reversal, nothing. He's Street Fighter I had five, nothing, dude. dude. That's crazy. Nothing. Yo, he mean, he means business this time around. Mm -hmm. I have not seen. I mean, I've seen Sonic bosses go ham, but like not like this. Oh shit! No! Oh, oh dude, no. it's rip. It's rip. It's rip. It's not rip. Oh, it's rip. No, you could have got that ring. I tried, bro. I tried. Ah, oh, dude. Without the rings, you're boned. You're screwed. You missed the ring. You jumped back way too far. Not oh, the one on the right. It's hard. There's so much slowdown. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's mad slowdown in this game. 
help, right? Corner life, like SF5 poison? I don't know. I don't, I don't feel like- Dude, I'm there's not too many poison, poison players being used, man. What well, happened? Have you, have you been watching the CPT? There's not too much poison, bro. In, in, in the US? Or just in general? Just in general. I figured there'd what be a lot more poison Everybody? players, man. Everyone was saying that there were gonna be, like, more poison players because it's A tier. Like, what? Like, near S tier? What happened? I don't know. Is, is she just that hard to play? I don't think she's hard to play. In my I don't opinion, know, man. Fo it's just Fudo and Idom, bro. Oh, like, a lot of the Japanese players are liking Seth, right? Like, they're like, they're really liking Seth. Does that mean I have to play Street Fighter V more again? I don't know, man. It's fucking I play weird right now. I play the meta is I'm weird. Dude, I, it's gonna I get weirder, because we don't know when CPT Finals is gonna happen next year, and I think the balance patch is gonna be out before CPT Finals, bro. That's so true. everything's gonna go, go to shit. Just don't know Poison, please. Please. No one's playing her. She's trash. That's the thing, right? Maybe she won't get nerfed. Let's see. Oh, if no, if no gonna one's get playing nerfed, her, though. Yurian's Yo, if game. no one is playing her just because they want to avoid the cheat, that's crazy. Dude, Yurian's gonna get nerfed, and we're gonna see a lot of Yurian players complain. <laughs> he's gonna like, he, he's got no movement speed. You have to dash. You have to be Nemo to play this character. You have to be Nemo. All he has is V trigger. Oh wait a minute! No, His no, no! Fireball I'm be quiet sucks. Right now. I'm gonna, uh, nah, I'm gonna be quiet right now because you need to beat this boss. All right, this, all right. Is, this, this is the second part. Gotcha. I don't, I don't, I don't want you to die. Yeah, like, I, just gotta, I gotta dodge him first. Yeah, he sports it up. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. He's going straight kamikaze. Ooh, one oh, shot. Wait a minute. Yo, he's one, one shot. shot. Oh. Yeah, run after him. Classic, classic robot. I don't know why he's faster than the Sonic, but he is. I don't know why Robotic can run 1,000 kilometers per hour. Wait, what? <laughs> That's it? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Yo, Tails is part of the cast. Wait. Why am I what? trapped in the Emerald? And what did I get for collecting on the Emerald? Yo, what's going on? Can I move? No, I can't move. Can't move. Yo, chat, was it Kino? Wait, so if you- Wait, 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 Was wait, this wait, game wait. Kino? Wait, Super- Supersonic Sandman, if you get all the emeralds, all that happens is that Sonic is inside the emerald? Like, what? what is it without- if he doesn't collect the emeralds, what does it look like? It's just Sonic running in, in thin air? Yo, that's Kino, bro. Oh my god. That's key. That's wor that's worse than all the other endings. Dude, we didn't even free the animals, man. We didn't even free There's the no animals, bro. No animals freed? Nothing. Nothing. Wild. I thought Sonic endings were like, man, this is... I would have been tight. I would have been tight if I had this game yeah. at the end. <laughs> all, that, all that work? I mean, well, the game was pretty much was fairly easy overall, though. Mm -hmm. The game was fairly easy overall. I mean, there's a lot of Sonic in '93, bro. You got Sonic Spinball, you had Chaos, and you had uh, CD. So you had something, no matter what platform you were on, you know. And they were That's supposed true. to have Sonic Three out by now. It would have been wild, you know. Hit, man. Well, I feel like they didn't, they weren't able to finish Sonic 3 around this time only because, remember, they they were trying to develop everything. Like, they were trying to develop the whole game and it was going to be a large game. Which they going to spread themselves too thin, maybe? That's what I think, because remember, mm. they had the lock on technology was only for that game. Right, right. So. They are was like, milking these credits. Milking it. Okay, Yo, K Dash. Yo, K Dash. Did you see my boy K Dash from KOF trying to help out with a Sonic game? <laughs> what? Yeah, he was in the credits just now. K Dash. Oh, that's fucking sick. Oh, and us. 
Us. Us. And you. Nice. Does he burst through it now? That's crazy. That's it? That's it, bro. That's a wrap. Oh my god. That's a wrap. That's a wrap, bro. Just let me see Tails for a second. I want to see what Tails is like. So, Supersonic Sandman actually said that you you can't get the emeralds as Tails. You can't? Which, which makes sense because- Oh, because you can get the rings so free? Not just the rings, it's the power-ups. You can't use them, I think. Oh, right, so the stage is going to make sense. Yeah. But he can fly, though. I'm sure he can access this. Oh. So, can I fly once I jump, or no? You should be able to fly once you jump. Or do you- Oh, you have to actually hold up? Yeah, I have to do the up thing, just like Sonic does. Is that a limitation because of the- No way. That's- Yo, why? Yeah, I can't- that, If, I if can't that's fly. the case, then the special stage would be impossible. Because I thought you could jump and then fly. No, you have to be up and then fly? But no, it's impossible. Though. This game's got a lot of stuff. But other things suffer because of it. Yeah, for sure. And they made it way too easy. Way too easy. This game is definitely easy. Three. Definitely the easiest Sonic game I've played so far. I mean, the last one we played, dude, I was dying because I was slightly off screen. There was like invisible pits and shit. It was fucked up. You know, are you talking about Sonic 2? For the game Remember when the screen's scrolling up, auto scrolling up, and I fucking. Oh, yeah, that was Sonic 1 for the game. Bro. Yeah, dude, that shit was insanely hard. Insanely you hard. Got, you got 100 rings, but you still uh, finished, had to finish the level. Right, so right. Yeah, you literally lose out on the majority of the game if you don't play as Sonic. Right. Alright. Alright. So, we know that we've been waiting for Sonic 3 and Knuckles, right? For a long time. So, in the meantime, they gave us something, especially for their next, like, extension to the Genesis. Because while other systems, like, while other companies were releasing new consoles, so, like, the SNES, you know... You had Atari trying to do their thing. You, you had a ton of people trying to do their thing. But Sega wanted to keep the Genesis as, like, the main console you get. And so they decided to put all these add-ons to it, like the Sega CD. And we've been talking about a little bit and hinting about it. Like, the Sega CD had some good games, had some, eh, well, it was mostly eh, games. But Sonic CD was kind of, like, the one game that kind of, like, pushed, like, the Sega CD at least in terms of, like, what what you would look at in terms of like if you thought of Sega CD you probably only really mostly remember Sonic CD right so um now i guess i'll talk about the soundtrack later on uh but i guess the first thing is like obviously look at the Sega CD right here <laughs> this is the, the the english version of the Sega CD boot up but the thing about the CD the Sega CD is that they were able to do a uh, full motion video uh but it had to be like rendered and scrunched up in like this really like weird format. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then you get all this cool stuff because they have they have more memory to work with because of the CD, right? So it's a super sonic flight, but I gotta keep it going. Yo, uh, this is it. This is hype. You're muted, though. You're muted. You're muted. I'm- I'm muted! I'm fucking <laughs> muted! Dude, this is fucking hype! Oh, no, no, you're gonna- Yo! Unmute yourself! What? What? What the- <laughs> <laughs> What is going on?! Are you muted? Still? Yeah, no, I'm not muted. I'm good now. I'm back. Okay. I was getting hype, chat. I was getting hype. I'll let you I was so blown away watch. already. I'll let Bro, you watch it. I'll, it. I'll wait to explain when I'm done. Dude, watch it's it. 1993. 93. Dude, baby. it's 1993 right now. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> this is amazing. Use your mind. Holy shit! I'm watching a fucking anime. Yes. 
This is crazy. Imagine like going to your friend's house and seeing this. You'll be blown away. Ridiculous. This is out of control. Holy fuck. Go <laughs> chat with Slack right all this time and we just didn't know? Okay. Holy shit, dude. Yo, the riff? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Save the planet. <laughs> Holy shit, the size of that chain. Holy shit. I'm so blown away already. This entire game is wild. Well, if you got a Sega CD, this right here is probably what you bought it for. Wow. This that intro bought. screen just already blows me away. The presentation on this game is already it's off the chart. Ridiculous. It's ridiculous, right? Yeah. It's probably this again, is crazy. It's one of the three Sonic games that are arguably the best. One of the three. Because you have Sonic CD, Sonic 3, and Knuckles, Sonic Team. Probably one of the three. Holy shit. So every everyone in chat is going ham about the music. So I'm gonna explain a little bit. Part of it is because of I would say part of it is because of copyright. But that's not really the main reason. It's also marketing, right? Because the way that they want, the way that they wanted to market the game, they felt as though um, they wanted to have two different like philosophies and approaches to how the game is in terms of atmosphere. Okay, we, don't, we don't have full screen on this shit. Let's get full screen. Yeah, word, word, word. But they wanted to have like something in terms of like atmosphere and everything. Uh, the U.S. version, they wanted to kind of like. They wanted to base it around like what future you were in, like if you were in a bad future or a good future and whatnot. But the way that they kind of like did it, it wasn't really, it wasn't really too great. Like in my in my opinion, it's mostly subjective, right? In terms of like some taste, but most people will tell you like they like the Japanese soundtrack because of the zones individually. Whereas obviously you have probably one of the most iconic tracks ever for Sonic from the English version of the game, which is Sonic Boom, right? So, I mean, obviously the English version of the game did its job in marketing because clearly everyone remembers Sonic Boom. And there are some good aspects of the, the soundtrack for the Yo, where's Tails, game. man? Well, this is also before Sonic, uh, I think it's lore-wise before Sonic 2, if I'm oh, correct. Oh, I got that move. Right. Oh, look at the animation. Yeah, the super peel out change. And it, it is right out of Sonic Chaos. Spin dash is different too. So chat says 50 rings by end of the stage. Yes, just like Sonic 1. So, but there's, there's more to it. So I, I kind of want to tell you this is going to be a long, a longer game. Whoa! Set play, baby. Oh, this is crazy. Set, set, you guys set, see set. that? So, uh, all right. First things first, right? Oh, I, I you know what? I don't even know what to Whoa! say. You're blown away right now. You're blown away right now. Oh shit! What is no, this? You don't want to go to the future though. Not what is yet. This? Not yet. What is that? Good little pass. Pass. Okay. You're, okay. Yo, you gotta do. There's a reason why you have the super speed out, the super feel out in this game. That's why. What is this? 88 miles per hour, baby. <laughs> what is going on? What the fuck? 88 miles per hour, baby. Dude, the so, soundtrack is amazing. This, this, this track right here is used also in the Japanese version. All the past stages all use uh, the, like, the shared OST. So look, just keep, try to get up there. So there's two ways to get like the good ending in this game, which is what you want. Okay. The first way, which is the one we all know, is to get the, the six quote unquote emeralds. In this game, they're called time stones. Time stones, uh, got it. And I'll explain more of the plot later on, uh, but it's one way. The other way is you have to go to the past and you have to find- No! Rip. <laughs> you have to find all of the robot making machines. Uh -huh. So 
Uh, again, you can just keep going forward. Wait, why spin dash not... is different in this game, too. You can't mash for it. You kind of just hold the button down. Oh, you hold it down. Okay. Yeah, you have to hold it down. You can't mash for it. Ah, okay. Got it. Yeah. That most people hey, didn't why like they turn the flowers. Yeah, they turned the flowers instead of animals, uh, which I'll explain again the lore later. Holy shit! Get so much. This game is so much already. Yeah, you're blown away. I can this tell. is I can so tell. much. This is so much, man. It's 1993. This like the soundtrack, everything, the presentation is out of control, dude. I'm telling you, you don't want to go to the future right now. Sick. Dude. Uh, you want to make sure you get up to that particular ledge. Yeah, how do I do that, though? Oh, no, to your right, to your right. It's set to your right. So you oh, can hit right. the spring on the bottom left. Uh-huh. Oh, got it? Alright, you don't want to go to the future. There you go. Go to the future? Don't go to the future. Do not go to the future. Yeah, just keep going up. Sorry, I have so many questions, man. Like, so many questions. Keep going up and to your left. I believe it's to your right now. There's a lot of exploration. So to your fall right. down here? No, to your right. To your right. Keep going right. Keep going right. Oh. Keep going right. Platform. Oh, I wanted to keep going right up there. It's okay, you can get back up there. You can actually use your speed up there. And then you could jump off this ledge here. Like, off the... the... You can use the spring, too. But yeah, you want to jump off that, that ramp onto the top of that loop. Which ramp? The ramp that you go up here, jump here? off of it. Oh. Or you could do that too. Oh, no, 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 no! Okay, that's so scared for me. Okay, keep going right. No! Oh. You wanna go up now. Okay. There's something up there that, that, that. There's, it's two different ways to do it, to play this game, if you wanna do it that way. Uh huh. Alright, you see. You see that machine? Mm hmm In every act, there's those those robot duplicating machines. Mm -hmm. You can destroy those and you make a good future. Uh-huh. Right? So that that's one way to get the good ending, is you have to actually explore each act and find those. So you gotta change the past to fix the future. Change the past to fix the future, yes. Right, got the it. Other, the other way is to collect 50 rings to go to the special stage. It's the easier way to beat the game. You could do both. And I think the game, it, it changes like certain aesthetics of the ending, uh, of the ending video. But other than that, like, you'll make a good future. Okay. You'll make a good future either if you get the time stones or if you do that. So I would normally just get the time stones if I'm just trying to speed through the game. Mm -hmm. But the, the special stages are also extremely hard. So. Okay. Later on. Well, I'm already, like, what we can do, guys, since everyone wants me to play the Japanese version as well, is we could just play the English version tonight. And then next time we can just play the Japanese version you guys want. We just do it differently. Yeah. So then we can see everything about the game if you guys want to do that. If Sonic Sand is just a lot of exploration and shit. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of exploration in the game if you choose to do it the way that I just showed you how to do it. You have to actually explore the levels if you want to get the... If you want to blow up the duplicating machines. But you can just do it the normal way, the classic way, which is get 50 rings. Mm -hmm. There's also the Metal Sonic holograms, uh, but those don't really like affect the ending in terms of like getting the ending at the end of the game. They more or less make the good future that you go to have more animals in them. Basically. Oh, interesting. Because you'll see in, in the level that there's like a hologram in the past of like Metal Sonic, who you'll see later on stepping mm -hmm. on animals. So weird. But we'll, we'll we'll get to who Metal Sonic is as well. The plot of this game is basically like. Eggman, well, you're just chilling and, and you're with Amy. In, in America, they called her Sally because they wanted to relate to the 
Sonic uh, animated series that was in America, but uh-huh. it's actually it's actually Amy Rose. It's her first uh, her first appearance with Joe But you're chilling. You want to actually like check out the planet that you're on now that mm-hmm. only appears. Hey, there's the machine time. again. You have to go to the past to destroy it. You see that? Right. What what would have happened if I didn't destroy? It? What would it look like there? You would it, you would get a bad future basically uh-huh. in the third act. So you have to actually go back to the past to, to destroy it. Gotcha. But essentially, you, you go to Little Planet, which is where you are now. That's where the planet is called. And you find that Dr. Robotnik has literally, like, mechanized the planet. Mm-hmm. And it ended up in a ball, essentially. So your job now is like, okay, well, this planet only appears, like, every 100 years or something like that. Mm-hmm. And so... You want to make sure that the planet's all right. They have flowers and stuff that he uses to kind of like power the robots, more or less. Now he's not even using animals and mm-hmm. it's using like the energy of the planet. So you have to essentially stop him from doing that. And he's going. He's u- he's trying to utilize the power of the the time stones that are only found on this planet, so he could control time. So you have to stop him from doing that. Essentially. So he's chaining up the planet. He's trying to use the flowers to power his robots and then make his Eggman Empire. And you're basically stopping him from doing that, and so that way he doesn't just control Tom. I don't know if Sonic has so much fucking story. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, for an expansive world like this, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you see, you just got through Zone 2, right? I'm so, it, It's funny that you didn't even meet up with uh, Amy yet, either. See you later, Concert. But yeah, concert. You see, this is what happens if you don't get a good future. The third act will always reflect what you did in the first two acts. Mm-hmm. So this is bad? You met Amy in act one. Okay, got you. I thought you met her in act two. My fault. But you'll see her again. It's just because you, you finished the stage in the past, that's why. Mm-hmm. But here, you could get 100 rings. If you wanted to, it says 50 rings. Yeah. But you can't get it for this act. This act is the boss stage. So you oh, had okay. to make a good future in the first two. So you have to make a good future in the first two acts. So that way the third future is a good future. Yeah. Or the third act is the good future. So you could tell, like, they were, like, inspired by, like, films like Back to the Future and stuff like that for this stuff. So. Yeah, just like DBZ at the second one. <laughs> Funny that you mentioned DBZ, by the way. The person that animated the ah! opening, the person that animated the opening for Sonic CD, actually worked on uh, animating Dragon Ball Z. I think Toei Animation. Yup. So got the big wig basically working on the animation for the game too. Oh, this song, by the way, for the boss. This yeah. is US only. This is US only. Why is it so creepy? <laughs> Why this turn to a survival horror? There you go. What do you mean there I go? There you go. That that's the difference between the Japanese and the English version of the soundtrack. <laughs> Different atmosphere. Different mm-hmm. atmosphere, bro. Yeah, we saved the animals. No, you saved the flowers. What? Remember that he's powering his machines using the, the flowers in the planet. And he's also taking the time stones to control time. Jesus. He doesn't need the animals right now. That's insane. Damn, I love the presentation of this game a lot. Yeah. It's great. Who's this? There's, that's Amy. So she makes her first appearance here. She, she's supposed to... You remember how before... Why are there hearts like, all around me? Because she loves you. Oh. That's, she's supposed to be your girlfriend. Oh. What Remember? Oh, what the oh. fuck? Who's that? Metal Sonic. Who the Metal fuck Sonic. is Metal Sonic? You remember? You remember Mecha Sonic in the previous in the previous titles? Yeah. So Eggman's like that robot's trash. He right. never stops Sonic. It's time to make a new one. Mm-hmm. One that's exactly like him. So he makes a new robot called Metal Sonic. Got it. And basically, he's supposed to have the same speed, everything, literally every, everything you. And same girlfriend too, apparently. I don't know about the same girlfriend. 
But the, the point is, however, is he's basically like the invention to stop you. I see. So, he basically kidnaps Amy in the game because you need motivation to actually go and like stop Eggman, right? So, mm -hmm. so just kidnap your wife. I see. Oh yeah, Supersonic Salmon. That that's correct too. He said Amy is a big fan of tarot cards. One of her tarot cards told her that she would find her true love on Little Planet. She went there and found Sonic and was pretty much yeah, pretty Damn. much, pretty much love struck. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, you know, in the later games, like Sonic is like he doesn't really try to like be with Amy like that. It's just like, yo, I don't, I don't, I don't. What's I going on? You went to the past. Remember, you hit a time bolt. Wait, wait, wait. I'm so confused. I have to go... Right whenever the sign is set to is where I go to? So, alright. I'm to, so confused. Let's, let's, let's look at this. Let's look at this. Alright, mechanics. Back to mechanics. When you pass a signpost that says past or future, on the bottom left-hand corner, it's going to say the destination that you want to go to. So if you pass to the future, it's going to say where you're going to go to. The super peel-out, if you do the super peel-out like, right now, you're able to. You have 50 rings. If you do the super peel out right now, it's gonna put you at top speed. Why? Let go. See, see, see how there's blue flashes behind you? Yeah. It puts you at top speed immediately. Well, after a certain point, you're gonna see the future sign like blink back and forth to tell you you're about to teleport to the to the, to the present. Because obviously uh -huh. you're in the past, so you're gonna teleport to the present to use the future sign. <laughs> so basically, you hit top speed after you hit a signpost that says past or future and you keep running until the future until the future sign starts so you go 88 miles per hour you basically go 88 miles per hour yeah i wouldn't do it here though i wouldn't teleport to the future now because okay you destroy those uh machines which is up here right it's up top it should be up top here okay up and to your left got it Oh no. Oh, how, no. How often do you play this game, Sonic? This game is fucking crazy. A lot. Good. I love it. Dude, this game is it's amazing. One my, it's, it's one of my favorite Sonic. Yeah, this game is really good. Because it's not just about... You can go fast. There are later stages that'll be like, yeah, let's go fast. But it's all about exploring, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Amy is annoyingly, like, love struck. Is there something up to the top left here? Uh, there's another machine. Top left? Top left, yeah. Top left here? From here? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you're right. Now, if I die, will it save my progress? Yes, it will save your progress. You don't have to worry about going back to the past and destroying it again. I, I like to just get the time stones more than getting the machines, but the machines, you know, it increases the exploration of the game, too. So it's up to you, however you want to play. The time stones is I have to get 50 rings at the end of the level, right? Yes. Well, both how about we do that like our second playthrough? We'll go for the time stones then. Okay. Like what happens if you do both? Nothing? Uh what changes is just the ending animation of the ending uh of the ending scene. If you do both, both or if you just do one yeah. or the other? If you do both. Oh, okay. If you do if you do one or the other, the same ending, the same good ending occurs. Okay. It's just a change in animation if you do both. Oh okay. honestly. So it's not it's nothing too big. Like gotcha. But you wanna you wanna make a good future in, in this game. Okay. So the 50 rings at the end of the level I gotta do that six times? Uh yes. Six, six times. times. I got it. And then it won't matter if you go to if you get the time stones, it won't matter if you have to go back to the past or not, because it'll automatically say you made a, a good future. Dude, this soundtrack, I feel like I'm playing like a PlayStation game. Yeah, man. It's so nuts, it's like dude. Like, the music was meant to market the game, too, because they wanted people to be like, yo, like... This is Sonic. crazy. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And that's why, again, Sonic Boom is probably the most, like, favorite track of the series. Because it's, it's, it's hype. Like, mm -hmm. a lot of yeah, I Pepsi Pepsi, I agree. I don't know how Sonic CD and Night Trap are on the same console. It's like it's a it's like night and day. Like this was just a great like start for the Sega CD, and then it's just like. All Yo, the did other you play Night Trap, bro? 
I did not like Night Tribe. You did not it, like it? It's bad. What? It's bad. I don't know. I don't know about that. It's bad. <laughs> because it's bad. That's not what us in the chat though. Oh shit. Look at this ring here. Oh damn. <laughs> Save the time. There you go. There you go. Alright, so the first special stage is time. Is this this that that's the thing that appears when I get it? Yes, just like Sonic 1. But the special stages are definitely not like Sonic 1. Hmm. They're so different. Did the sound glitch out? Oh fuck, maybe it fucked up when I rewinded it because it's a CD game. RIP. No, did I fuck it up, guys? Can't stand the time, baby. Yeah, you can't sans it. Oh no. No, I fucked it up, guys. You're trying to, look, this is Little Planet, okay, Vesper? You're yeah. already trying to stop time from being manipulated. That's Why true. Are you trying to manipulate I, time? I tried fucking up a game that involves time. This is true. Exactly, and this is what happens. F. Yeah, F. that's rip. That's rip. F. I fucked it up. I fucked it what's, up, guys. Ah, uh, I good fucked though, it up. Is it should save your progress. Sorry? It should save your progress. Oh, yeah, that's, that's true, too. Mm hmm It should save your progress. Can I... So you should be okay. Is there a quit thing in it? You can't quit. You have to actually turn off the console. I'll just restart it and see. My bad, my bad. Okay, no sense. I can't believe you didn't like Night Trap, bro. No, I didn't like Night Trap. That game is fucking hard, by the way. Oof. Oh, there it is. Continue. Oh, there's a time attack. Dude, if it just had that one track throughout the entire game, I wouldn't complain. You know what I'm saying? I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Huh? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? I was, I was scared there for a minute. No, we good. We good. So yeah, you can't you can't use the sands of time, bro. You gotta do this legit. <laughs> So yeah, you usually, again, you, you want to go to the past, and you want to, or you want to get 50 rings, one or the other. Yeah, let's just focus on that, that past stuff first. Mm -hmm. That'll be the easiest, and then what's, what's, if the ring stuff, like, if conveniently I get 50 rings, we'll do that too. So yeah, hit the you sign. Or... Well, you want past, you don't want future. You already hit the sign too, so. Okay. I'm still a little confused with the whole sign thing, but. So again, to, to make it very simple, there's, there's a past sign and a future sign. When you mm -hmm. pass this one, it'll be notified next to your life counter. Mm -hmm. And you just have to reach top speed and maintain top speed to travel between the past and future. Okay. That's how it works. In terms of actual mechanics, when when the blue stuff, the blue light is behind you when you're at top speed and traveling for uh, past or future, you're mm -hmm. invincible. You're invincible. So, like... Let's say you had the future or you had the past signpost on the bottom left hand corner and you were running at top speed. The blue lights indicate that you're going to travel to another zone, right? Mm -hmm. And those blue lights actually make you invincible. So what they about that machine I, I touched that warps me? Uh, what machine? There's that thing I hit that warps me. Like that platform thing that when you go into no, a wall. No, you, 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 you kept top speed and then you went into a... Oh no. You went, you you got top speed, and then you went into the pinball thing. So I don't want to hit the sign? That's future. You don't, unless you, if you want to go to the future, you can, but it's going to be a bad future. Right. You can't, you can't destroy the, the machine, the robot duplicating machine, without going to the past. Okay. Like, this is the thing I was talking about, by the way, this thing. That's not, that doesn't travel you to time. Oh, it's just a coincidence it, that I touched it? it you were at top speed and then you went into that thing. It's like a pinball machine. Oh. The stage is like a it's pinball mechanic. So you were at top speed and then you went inside that thing. Okay, so I hit pass. So now when I reach top speed. See the blue lights? Yeah, see that? And then you just stay there and you're at top speed. See that? Okay. So to, to travel through time, you have to hit a signpost. And then you have to maintain top speed. 
So I can just hold up and just press B and then just chill? No. That oh, you actually have to move. move. You have to move. Okay. You didn't have to do anything there. It's because you went into the, the, the pinball mechanic. Mm -hmm. That's why. So you kept top speed, technically. Gotcha. Okay, that, that's why I got confused. I was like, you're telling me that to do the speed thing, but I'm like, what, doesn't this machine send me back? So it was just a coincidence. No, it, it was a coincidence. Mechanics. <laughs> mechanics. Yeah, lots of mechanics, man. Holy shit. So you know where the, the, this one is? Uh, top left, you said? Well, you keep going right and then top left. Okay. We'll do. Just be careful. Remember, there was a bad nick up there before. Yeah, and then you want to go left. Go left here? Mm-hmm. Oh, I need to... I, I would recommend, it? like... I would recommend jumping off. Right, like, right before you get to the top. Like that? Like that. Yup. Okay. You can see it's right there. Did I pass right. it? You passed it. It's on the right. There it is. Yeah. Got it. Mechanics, baby. Mechanics. Got it. Yeah, the animation look great. I mean, this is like Sonic 1, kind of? It's like, still work. Sonic 1. Yeah, but the... Still... There's still... I don't know. There's still added things to it, you know? Like, the weird 3D angles on the pipes and the, the music just adds so Remember? much to it. Remember Sonic 2, they were working on a lot of oh. things. Oh, this this machine, right? That yeah. that makes it so that way the good future. You see how the animals are just popping up now, right? Yeah. So that that adds more animals to the stage. It's just nice to do. Okay. But, more content. Mm -hmm. Basically. The main thing is uh that machine, the reason it's so important to destroy it, is it eliminates all the badniks in the level. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. All the enemies get eliminated too. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, when you destroy the machine that makes them, what, what do you think happens? Right. In the, in the future, they can't exist. Mm hmm. No time travel. Alright. I hope I can use now, Sans on, on just stating, but we'll see. You can try. So this you is the try, first but it's risky. Stage. Get mind blown. <laughs> hey, what's going on here? Yo. Probably one of my favorite special stages. Whoa! What is this? <laughs> Yo, 3D, baby! Whoa! It's fucking F Zero! <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, this is Yo. fucking wild, dude. This is wild. It's right? 1993. Bro, it's, bro, it's 1993, man. This is too much. I'll I'll let you chill, and then I'll explain the special stages when we're done. Okay. This is just like... This is so Kino. This is so crazy. This is so crazy, dude. I'm so blown away right now. You want to destroy the UFOs? I'll tell. I'll tell you that. Destroy the UFOs? Okay. Yeah, jump into them. And don't jump in water. Do not jump in water. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. oh, that time is going down, baby. Oh no. Oh. Uh oh. That doesn't yeah, sound back good. Back it up. So. Okay. Let's see if it fucks up the game. You can try to, to redo it. Did it fuck it up? No, it didn't nah, we're okay. good. So, okay, so basically, how you, do, how you do the special stages, there's six UFOs. You have 100 seconds to destroy them. Okay. Right? You do not want to jump in water. If you jump in water, you lose time. You can take hits from rings and whatnot, and it's fine. And you can take hits, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. uh, but you do not want to be in water. It will reduce your time exponentially. So when you destroy the UFOs, they give you items like rings or speed, speed boosts, so you can keep running faster. Mm -hmm. Around 30 seconds left on the timer, there will be a blue UFO that appears in the center of the stage. You can use that to get more time. Okay. And we're trying to get a, we're trying to get an emerald right now, right? You're trying to not an emerald, a time stone. Time stone. So oh. there's no there's no Whoa. emeralds on little planet. There's no emeralds on little planet. There are time stones. Got it. Yeah, they're the same thing. Stone. They're the same thing. <laughs> no, they don't do the same thing. They don't turn Sonic Super Sonic. They True. manipulate time. You're trying True. to prevent Eggman from manipulating time. Got it. So you're just getting all of them, so he can't get them. Oh. Oh, oh shit. 
that blue UFO I was talking about, that's the one that gives you time. But Oh, I'm trying to. Oh, I hit that spike thing though. No! And when does it appear? 30 seconds in. So 30 if you have 30 seconds, seconds if you have 30 seconds left. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't say 30 seconds in, 30 seconds left. If you have 30 seconds left, it'll pop up. Uh, it's 20 seconds? I thought it was 30 seconds. I thought it was 30 seconds. <coughs> Excuse me. Bless you. Oh yeah, and it, th these stages get harder, like for sure. These stages. No, they're already tough for me, man. I'm already trying to get into it. I feel like I'm playing a PlayStation game, man. This is insane. I would say about like the third or fourth. Stage. I'd say the third and the fifth stages. Yeah, third, fifth, and sixth are usually the hardest for me. I would say the the fifth and sixth are the hardest, the, the most hardest. Or the, or the hardest, that's just the hardest. Just hardest. <laughs> there you go. Nice. <laughs> this is so crazy. Dude, out of all the Sega games we've played so far, I'm most blown away by this one, by far. This game blows me away, man. This is nuts. How oh, fucking it, nice this game looks. And the music isn't bad, by the way. It's not, some of the stage music and some of the, the special stage music is mad good. It's just mad good. I feel like we jumped in the oh. future, guys. <laughs> I mean, that's what this game is supposed to make you feel. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally, leap through the future in the game. Like, this is crazy. Like, I wouldn't feel as bad. I wouldn't feel as bad having Echo the Dolphin. You know what I'm saying? Of course. Like, when my friends are playing fucking Mega Man X and Donkey Kong Country, oh, at yeah, least I have Sonic, Sonic CD. At least. What's going on here? <laughs> so this, this is pinball mechanics, baby. Pinball mechanics. You know you gotta at least they're doing it early on. I would think that's I'll probably talk about it in the third in the third zone. I'll probably talk about maybe like the one flaw with the game. Okay. So it's not a, it, it, it's it's like compared to everything else, it's like okay sure. It's not what we expect from other Sonic games, but okay, whatever. It's still a really good game, up, nonetheless. So you could, the way you could get rid of the future signpost, by the way, you could hit top speed, and then right before it flashes, you stop moving. But see, you kept moving. So, with with the signpost, right? Yeah. If you if if you see that it starts to blink on the bottom left, mm -hmm. you can you can immediately stop moving. Like, with, in whichever way you can. You can stop moving, and then you'll not go to the future. Right. So this is the, this is the bad future. Right, so we're looking for a pass sign now? Yeah, you need two pass signs. Got it. One to go back to the present, and then one, one again to go back uh, to the past. Got you it. You need two. So you, own, you, you have to go to top speed, and then go to present, and then get another one, and then go back to the past. That's why you don't want to end up in the future uh, early on. Cause there's nothing to do but finish the stage. Mm -hmm. Like the only thing you can do is get 50 rings. That's it. So, and that's another thing. There's not really much to do in the bad future, which is the problem. Maybe the only thing would be like if you wanted to get like lives and stuff. But you can see the other reason with the bad future. There's just enemies everywhere. Yeah. Like there's enemies. There's enemies everywhere. So right. it makes it much harder to maintain 50 rings. What's that sound? Uh, I think those were spikes. Was it spikes? Could be wrong though. So I can still have bad future and still collect all those rings to still get the good ending. Yes. Because okay. again, all you need is either to explore the levels. You need to either explore the levels and get the and destroy the machines, or you get the three rings mm -hmm. and get six time stones. Got it. And if I miss one of these castle things, that's it, I can't do it that way. What do you mean? Uh yeah. If you miss one of them, you can't you you lose out on the ending. Okay. So I think in this case, because I remember you missed out on the first one in Palm Tree Panic. Oh I in, did. In the, sec in, in the second act you missed one. Yes. Oh I did. Okay. Yeah, because you went to the, the bad future. So I would I would just say just focus on the time stones right now. Like, okay. Focus on the time stones now. If you want to explore in the Japanese version, you can. Yeah, yeah, like I said, I want to play this game again, that's all. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, so I'm focusing yeah. on rings right now. Focus, focus on the rings, because I do remember you missed the. Ah, oh. rip. rip. You missed the. You, you missed the capsule, right? So. Mm-hmm. You can get the time stone. So it's like Sonic 2, or like Sonic 1 even. It's like Sonic 2 where you can get all of the time stones really early on. But you have to be really good, obviously. You yeah. have to be able to do all the stuff. Mm -hmm. Damn, it's so trippy, the roof of the stage. A lot of this stuff also, remember that they oh, made okay. Sonic 2. Remember they made Sonic 2 as well. So... Sonic 2, uh... Remember Aquatic Palace Zone, I believe? You yeah. Remember Aquatic... The, yeah. I think it was the third zone for Sonic 2, if I'm correct. Past Chemical Plant Zone. That used kind of like this... I don't know how to explain it. it, it it's similar to CD, where it kind of had the foreground and background kind of like pop out at you. It's the same way with uh, Sonic CD. So that's what they kind of like improved on with this. And obviously, since CD CDs have a little more space than cartridges, if I'm correct, you know that's what that's what helped it. Hey, Robotics here. You ready to play pinball? <laughs> I don't know. I'm scared. You'll be all right. Both are actually like three. <laughs> I would actually say most of the bosses in Sonic CD are kind of free. There's that music again. So this is yeah, the boss can't... stage, I can't get the 50 rings thing? No. You have to get it in the first two acts. Got it. Oh, I don't so you want to play this like pinball, basically. Just get to the top. Holy shit. These stages are so wild. Woo. <laughs> 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 too fast to hit. This is too fast. This is, this is too fast, bro. Oh. So now, this is the this is the first problem with the game in terms of a flaw. What's you that? like water levels? Mm -hmm. You like water levels? No. You like water levels? <laughs> <laughs> Title Tempest. <laughs> Shit. Stage looks oddly familiar. Oh fuck. Stage looks Stage no! Obvious, obviously very familiar, Can right? Can Sonic breathe underwater? No. Oh, fuck. Here we go again. You gotta get 50 rings, too. Okay. So this is the first- this is kind of like the first flaw with the game. It's not a big one to me, but it's just pacing, right? You just finish playing in like this pinball level that kind of restricts your speed, and then you play in this, and it's like... You just finished playing Palm Tree Panic, right? And you're going mad fast. So, it's like, the pacing is just... You normally would expect this a little later on, right? Like, not earlier. Like, for Labyrinth Zone and Sonic 1, uh, and for Sonic 2, actually, usually by, like, the fourth act, the third or fourth act, you would get, um, the, the pinball and water stages. This is the third act, so it kind of follows a similar formula to Sonic 2, right? Um, especially since the third acts are all boss stages as well. But the pacing is weird uh, overall for Sonic CD. But it's nothing that that's terrible, right? Like, you can still play the game. It's still fun. And the fourth act is still has that whole, well, you just finished playing the water level. Now it's all liberating. So. Mm -hmm. No! Wow. Dude, you're right in spike. Fuck, dude, it's so hard. I get hit by so much off-screen shit. Oh, what's this? Was that a secret? Nice. Oh, get your rings back. Now you just need, uh, 24 more. Yeah, not bad. 
Remember, you can hit down. You can always hit down to uh, get more bubbles to come out. Okay. But, so, like, if you hit, like, down repeatedly, it'll make more bubbles come out. Okay. You can also go back to the past and future to collect more rings, too, by the way. So, like, if you run out of rings and you're close to, like, the end of the level, you can also go back to the past. Gotcha. And you, could act, you can actually access certain areas of the stage you couldn't access in the present. Damn. So, yeah, it sounds like there's a lot yeah. to this game. Yeah, the stage layout changes. Oh, so, you know pretty, how you said, like... Pretty forgiving, forgiving so far on the bubble locations, thank goodness. Yeah. Bruno Moss, please don't be spikes here. You might want to run fast here. Underwater. <laughs> All right, running fast. Oh no! This would be where the machine is. But yeah, you see that? That would oh, yeah, be where I the saw machine. It. Is. I think my memory on where the machines are are pretty good, up until uh, Wacky Workbench. I hated Wacky Workbench. Oh, scary. Careful. Also, you know what? Th those areas where the springs bounce you back and forth like that, they were done intentionally so that way you could maintain top speed to go to the past. And oh, past. I see. Yeah, that makes sense too. Because then now they have they have to put in mechanics where you can do that. It's true. Yep, so you could explore the level more. Right. Re re remember, like, you said that the Sonic stages are so expansive. Mm -hmm. This is, like, even more expansive. Right, it's crazy. Versions. There's so much, like, cool, unique things about this game. Like I said, I'm blown away. Like, this is the best Sega game I've played so far, by far. This game is insane. Yeah, I went over- I don't know what friend's place I went to a long time ago as a kid, guys, when I first saw the Jaguar. I didn't- I not really understand it. I was, must have been really young, but... I remember seeing some weird fighting game, like, kind of a photorealistic fighting game, kind of like similar to Mortal Kombat, and it was Jaguar. Or maybe it was... Or maybe it was, uh... CDI. I, I don't remember now, now that I think about it. It was so long ago. Mm. That's my only experience with those platforms. But, I mean, once we get to those years, we can check it out ourselves and see. Cause I remember, uh, it only had like 30 games or something like that. So. Running out of time, by the way. It's, uh, in the middle? Yeah, Shit. but you, you fell in water again. I fucked up. Uh, I will say, by the way, if you're working, those yellow fans, by the way, you could touch those. It'll mm -hmm. spin you around. They, they won't hurt you. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Yeah, I don't, know what, I don't know what Jaguar fighter you're talking about, actually. Oh, dude, the sand's fucked up now. No! Yeah. You have to do this absolutely. We have to master this game absolutely legit. I mean, if you want, you could uh, you no toss choice. it my way. <laughs> <laughs> Tag team in. Tag team? Nah. We could, we could you have want. you play the Japanese version if you want to do it sometime. If you want to do that on the stream. I don't mind. I don't I mind. I think that would be sick. Let me I don't mind. Let me reset it. Granted, uh, again, <laughs> my, my, knowledge, my knowledge of all the locations for the robot machines are kind of like... It's, it, and once you get to Wacky Workbench, that's where it messes me up. That stage is... It brings back mechanics from the Game Gear games. Mm -hmm. So, like... You know how in Sonic 1 where you had that sky that sky zone and it had like those electric uh fields that like flashed back and forth like mad seizure inducing those yep. get brought back in this game. Like oh, those fuck. Yeah, <laughs> seizure they, inducing. The, the game really takes like it, it really takes everything from like Sonic 1 and 2 and the Game Gear games to kind of work it out. Cuz you see like Sonic Chaos it brings out the super peel out, right? Um it brings a super peel out. Sonic 2, a lot of the aesthetics from that game. Uh, Sonic 1, in terms of, like, I guess, visuals, and, and moreover, in terms of some some mechanics, it's definitely, like, it takes a lot of mechanics with everything that they, like, worked on up mm -hmm. until this point. So that's why it's so expansive. Like, it really refines most of the mechanics. But I just, I, How I, were they able to work on this game and work on Sonic 3 at the same time? I don't even. And know. then chaos, you know what I mean? Like that's like it's so insane. Like what were they doing? You know? Yeah, it re it really looks like they they stretched themselves thin. Mm -hmm. 
It really but does. You, you gotta remember that the demand and expectation for Sonic was so high. Because he was really booming. Mm -hmm. So they were like, we gotta, we gotta do everything we can. And keep in mind, the Sega CD was still made to kind of like keep... It was kind of made to just keep uh, the Sega Genesis alive, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, I still remember what AVGN says about the console is like... <laughs> The young, the young Sega CD and the the Sega 32 X just it looks like the console's on life support. <laughs> oh. yeah, you want to stay on the top of the level if you can. Okay, I'm just trying to find some easy rings to collect. Remember, and remember, you can go to the past and future since you're not aiming. To, to destroy those machines and just get the, the, the rings, mm -hmm. you can always go to the past and future. And more rings will appear, more places you could go to for rings, things like that. Mm -hmm. And okay. utilize the signpost for invincibility too, right? Because when you get to top speed, uh, you become invincible while you have a signpost active. You're invincible? Yes, so when the blue, when the blue lights are behind you as you're running, yeah. right? You're considered invincible until warping to the next. Uh, oh shit! To, to the next time zone. Yeah. So you're you're invincible. How many seconds do you have to be invincible before you get warped, though? I forget actually. What the fuck? I, I didn't grab that bubble. What the fuck, Sonic? You're getting blasted. <laughs> what the fuck? I swear I grabbed that bubble. Well, that you're getting map. blasted away. <laughs> Dude, I was getting fucking blasted. Yeah, we're, we're not trying to destroy the machines in this run because he missed the, the second axe machine. So he didn't make a good future in Palm Tree Pen. Yeah. Oh. Uh, so we're just aiming to get the... We're just aiming to get the rings. I don't think I'll be able to do that either because I, I have to get familiar with the stages too. But I mean, I'll still play them. Let's still take a look at them. I can't well, use the power of sands. Well, remember to, to take it slow, you know? You don't have to blast fast. A lot of these stages incentivize you to explore so you don't have to you can take it slow i mean there is a, a 10 minute time limit so. you don't go too far forward if you don't want to get blessed while trying to pick up the bubble This By the way, no. So no do I tap speed. down or I just hold down? You tap down. Tap down? You just T-bang mm -hmm. it. So I have to hit two signs from the same thing or just whatever the second sign I hit will be? You just hit the sign post. So, so how it works is, right, you're in the present. If you want to go to the future, you just hit one sign post that says future. If you want to go to the past, you hit one sign post that says past. Now, if you're in the past, you have to hit one sign post to go to the present. And then again to go to the future. Oh, I understand now. Okay. Mm -hmm. gotcha. and it's the same way if you're in the in the future. Gotcha. Because it because it gives you an option if you want to go to the present too. Then is what you're saying. Yes. Got it. Okay. Now. Like I there's no sign there's no signpost that says present. It's only past and future. Got but it. You get the op you get the option. Yes. Okay. Okay. That makes a lot of sense now. Got it. Yeah, I, I would say that this is definitely Sonic 1.5, for sure. Granted, it, I think it, this game came out after Sonic 2, though. See, the bubbles come out faster when we tap down. I, don't know, I still don't know if that's possible or not, but... I, as a kid, it worked for me. It, it, I, don't, I, like, I don't know if that's actually a thing, but I mean, it's working. It, it works every complain. time I do it, so... Mm -hmm. <laughs> it works every no time No sands, I do boys, it. no every sands. Time. No fans, good luck. I mean, I, I think saying this is an upgraded version of Sonic 1 is, is like, it's not it, giving it's enough credit, man. It's not giving yeah, enough Yeah, it's credit. definitely, I, I do think it's an updated version of, of 1, but it's, you can't, I don't know if, I really don't know if I can just say that. I like how the resolution changes too on this station. Yeah. <laughs> they like kind of sneak it in, you know? <laughs> yeah, this, this game is like way better than 1. Way better. Like leaps and bounds better. Yeah, it's, you can see this all is the insane. This game is insane. They they literally pulled all their experience from the Game Gear games too, and implemented it into this game. 
Yeah, this game is wild. Nice. Yeah! Four more. There's only six. Yeah, Sonic, if you don't mind, like, it'd be cool if you... Yeah, watch you play for once, sometime. You maybe play oh, the word. Japanese version, you could show me. Huh? That way you're not just oh, sitting sure. here telling me what to do while you see me. Oh, I mean, I don't mind doing this too. Mm -hmm. I think, wait, first of all, for the times, I think there's seven. Isn't there seven time stones or six? I think there's six, isn't there? No, it's seven. I'm always confused. I'm always confused about it. Dude, <laughs> but that game being has said, got fucking timelines, man. It's very confusing. Yes, seven, seven time stones. Okay, got you. Got you. Yeah, I thought there were six or seven or seven. But anyway, yeah, I don't mind playing sometimes. I don't mind playing this game again. I, I like this game a lot. Um, yeah, I can see this game is sick. No wonder that yeah, you got the chat. No wonder you guys were so hyped that I was gonna play this game. Like, holy fuck! It, again, I had it, no it, idea, dude. It's one of, it's one of the best three classic Sonic games. It's it's always this game debatable. Is crazy good. Like people will debate. I mean, Sonic CD is like not as debated as roughly as Sonic 2 and Sonic 3 and Knuckles, but it's still like up there for one of the best like Sonic classics. Mm -hmm. Just because of the amount of things you can do and the the mechanics that you have already. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I'm going to pass me. Oh, you just lost it. Oh, you lost it. Oh, but you got so it back here. Yeah, okay. convenient for the devs to do that. <laughs> So you see how it flashes for a little bit, the pass symbol? Mm -hmm. That that's to tell you you're about to work to the pass. Okay. You can stop. You can stop moving at top speed. But is there a to point to going to the future then? No. Optimally, no. There's no point to go in the future. No point to go into the future. Interesting. Optimally, there's no point to go to the future if you were trying to destroy the machines. Right. If you wanted to get more rings. Then yeah, you would go to the future to reset the stage layouts. Mm -hmm. But other than that, no. There's no real point to go to the future. Okay. As far as I know, there's none. So we're on a because different planet right now, altogether? You are on a smaller planet that comes every uh, 100 years. Um, it's called Little Planet. Got it. Again, the, the lore of the story, I'm not going to go too much in depth because I think I talked about it already. Yeah. Is that Eggman, Eggman basically wants to control time, create his new, like, oops, you know, Eggmanopolis or whatever. <laughs> so he, wa he wants to control time and he knows about Little Planet. And he basically is like, yo, we're going to chain this planet up. I'm going to mechanize this, this stuff and mm -hmm. I'm going to take the time stones and I'm going to manipulate time. Mm -hmm. And I'm also going to destroy Sonic by creating this new and improved robot. Yeah. So that, that's basically... Your story is like, you gotta stop him from chaining up this little planet. Got it. And and Amy is involved because she is pretty much like... Again, she's love-struck for Sonic. Mm -hmm. She's like a new addition to the game. And she essentially... Uh, she hears about the planet and tells you about it through her tarot readings. Got it. As the chat explained before, too. Remember in the, in the first... Uh, Sonic, when I explained how they created the character, and they were trying to give Sonic like a human girlfriend and his own band and everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they ended up giving him, you know, Amy. They just went full furry then. They said fuck it. Pretty up. much. Pretty much. That's crazy. Okay. Which, you know, all things considered for the world that you're in, it makes sense. You Got know? it. Because it's, it's all animals, you're trying to save them, things like that, right? Mm -hmm. so, you know, why why change the world that drastically? But they, right, you know, it's kind of jarring. Even when Mario had like human characters and stuff, it was really jarring. It was really weird. Yeah, because Mario didn't really look like. Yeah, like even Robotnik's really weird, you know? Oh, you want to go back? You want to go back? Yeah, that was it the end? That's the goal. That was the end. You want five more rings. Copy, copy. But yeah, like, uh, yeah, Mario didn't even look like a. I mean, he was human, but he didn't look like a human human, you know? He looked like. Yeah. Weird in comparison. So. Can I get crushed here? You might get crushed, yeah, you have to be careful. We need a ring. Yeah, just one ring. We need a ring. Where is a ring? Oh, dude, I'm gonna get hit by these spikes. No, you won't. Just go fast, bro. Let's 
Here. Perfect. Ten room. Got a tenner. Yeah. Get some... Some Coke Zero, and then let's get up here. Some Coke Zero. I'm done. Don't crush me. Don't crush me. Okay. So Coke Zero is your favorite drink? <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite drink. I mean, uh, you missed, I've been telling, I've confessed to my chat how I have this Coke Zero addiction right now. It's insane. Oh, no. It's been ruining my life, but I am proud to say I, uh, I have, I haven't, like, I finally ran out of Coke Zero, and I promised myself that was the last case I'd buy. So I haven't oh. drank Coke Zero in four days now. Nice. But I've been waking don't up relax. in cold sweats, though, because of it, but don't I don't, don't want to talk about that. <laughs> Alright, this is the third special stage. Right. So it progressively gets harder now. Yeah. From this point forward. Like what was that power up I got? Was like a boost in speed? Yes. That's why you're at top speed right now. Oh. You can tell because you literally see him like you see his feet. So the the no. water significantly drains my timer? It will significantly drain your timer. Like as long as you stand in it, it will drain your timer very fast. Yeah, I haven't had time to like look at it and focus so much on the floor here. Okay, so is that middle balloon there yet? Only at 20 seconds. So at 20 seconds of time left, it'll pop up and you'll hear it. You'll hear the sound. Is there a way I can turn around? Uh, like a U-turn? No. You can't make Shit. it full. Do you hear that sound? That's when the blue UFO came. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta focus on it. Priority. Oh. No! Rip. No! You could have you used the time you had left to go after the last UFO. Was that the last one? Yes, you had oh, one left. Oh, shit. I didn't know. Did it tell how many are remaining on the screen? Yes, on the upper left-hand corner. Fuck, I didn't notice. Feels bad, man. That being said, you still have a couple of acts left, so you still have a lot of time. And it'll be the exact same level? Huh? It'll be the exact same bonus level? Uh, no. You s remember, it's like all the other Sonic games with special stages. You miss one, you have to do all the, r the other ones before you can uh, go back to it. So, you'll go to the fourth one. Oh, what? Oh, because I was in ball form? These boss stages are interesting. They're not uh, not straightforward, you know? Nope. You're gonna like this boss, too. He looks sad. His, his machine's about to blow up. Get back here. You're gonna run out of invincibility. Yeah. What the fuck? Time to eat them bubbles. Interesting. Okay. So I want to destroy these boats. I want to. Yeah, you have to hit them. So you have to just keep eating the air, bro. That was actually really close. How scary. <laughs> oh! I bounced off like a trampoline. I've actually never seen Eggman laugh when you die. That's crazy. <laughs> he normally just has a, a blank face. This game even laughs when you die. That's crazy. Yeah, man. Yeah, I think at the end of the day, the whatever music soundtrack you like is purely preference because it was made again to like kind of market the game. Like again, you, you got some of like the the best tracks for. Uh, you have the best like theme song for Sonic from this game mm -hmm. in the U.S. Whereas in the Japanese version, it kind of follows the lore of like the Game Gear games and everything. So.
Yeah, I never understood, like, Sonic CD. I remember when I heard about it in school or something, I thought people were just talking about, like... Uh, I don't know, like... Like, it's just like a port, you know? Like, I didn't think it was no. just like its own thing, you know? It was, it was its own game, yeah. This boss music is still so like it's so unfitting though. This this boss. Do you always play the Japanese version of the game? I do. Yeah, I do. I always play the Japanese version. I like the soundtrack from that game better. Oh, checkmate! Can't move easily because of the water. Yeah, I I I like the Japanese version just way better. It fits oh, way the better. direction of it fits the direction of the game, honestly, like the atmosphere that they were aiming for. Granted, you know, the US tracks for the zones aren't terrible. Like, I think this one kind of fits for the bad future. It's not bad, but... It definitely, like... The Japanese versions of the tracks are heard in the past versions of stages. So, like, in the past time point of the game, like, so, like if you go to the past version of Title Tempest, you'll hear the original Japanese version of the theme, but for the past only. So, like... All the other timelines for the for the stage have different tracks, and they don't really fit with the main melody of the stage. So, yeah, that too, Epsi Pepsi. I mean, you you had a you had the horror games coming out too. That's true. You had Night mean, Trap, bro. But I mean, Eggman, you're not scary, bro. <laughs> I'm scared right now. I mean, the I have no oxygen. You have no, you have little rings, and you're trying to breathe to survive. That's scary, bro. Yeah, but you're fast. I'm not fast, fast in the water. You're fast, bro. Oh, I thread the needle there. Yes. This thing is coming up, by the way is my favorite stage in the game. Okay, One of okay. my favorite stages. One of my favorite stages. Dun, dun, dun. I like the Japanese track for the stage better though. Not the English version. This one's not bad though. The, the English version isn't bad. Though. This is why I like the stage. It's just, it's so fast. The speed stage? The speed stage. I mean, considering, again, the pacing issue, you had two stages where you were, like, doing pinball stuff, and you were, like, underwater. Now you're just, like, you got conveyor belts everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's sick. Yeah, you can only miss the Emerald three more times, by the way. Yeah, I'm not confident that we're going to collect them. I'm going to focus just playing the game, but... All right, that's I'll fine. see what I can do. But yeah, you, you can only miss the Emerald three more times because you need five more. Mm -hmm. And you, I think the last area of the game, you can't collect any of the time stones. What's this? Conveyor belt. It changes the direction. Oh, okay, okay. You could go. You could. You could have gone up there. Oh, I was trying to. Yeah, when it when it's yellow, it, it was gonna go up there. Because remember, it's switching it the direction of the conveyor belt. Mm -hmm. oh, I missed that jump. So what was the difference between uh, Sonic CD, or not Sonic CD, just the Sega CD and the 32X? Was it just another add-on? It was, they were both two add-ons. 
Um, obviously the 32X was like, it was not like the CD where the CD was able to like store more data, and obviously you didn't get the same quality of a game. But 32X had some, you know, decent games. I mean, for Sonic games, you didn't really have anything other than Knuckles Chaotic, which wasn't very great. Um, so I mean. I, I personally didn't like any of the add-ons for the Sega Genesis. Uh, the 32X, again, it was more or less another add-on for the console mm -hmm. that didn't have, like, the same power, I guess, as the CD in terms of, like, the storage. So, yeah, they were all add-ons. That's why, again, like, it looked like the console was on life support when you had all of it on it. <laughs> you, had the, you had the Sega CD on it, and then you also had uh, the 32X. The 32X, like, uh, it it just had stored games on it, or did you can you get buy games for it? You had to buy games for it too. Oh, okay. And it and it used its own power supply, just like the Sega CD. Oh, really? And so, so like you had the Genesis that used its own power supply, then you had the 32X that used its own power supply, and then you had the CD that also used. Its own power <laughs> <laughs> and really? The, and, the, and, and the 32X plugged into the cartridge slot of the Genesis, uh -huh. and then it, and then the CD was attached to the side of the Genesis. Jesus. So it was, and, and all of the power power strips or the power outlets for them, they were these big brick uh, plugs. <laughs> they were they were big brick plugs. So you're trying to plug them into a power strip, you can't even do it. <laughs> that sounds amazing. It was it was so bad. <laughs> What's this call? You said if you go AFK too long, this is game over. I think it's them in the chat said that. I mean, what you can do if you really want to, you can wait three minutes and see what happens. You can fast forward, but that comes with a high risk. That's not going fast, though, Paul. It's definitely not going fast, bro. Yeah, def definitely AFK. Oh no. Okay. You don't want to get squashed. Just keep, just keep moving fast, bro. Oh. Yeah, you can't hit him. You have to just keep moving fast and avoid that. Oh! 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 Yo, that's cheap! Hey man, Eggman doesn't play fair. Oh! No! No! Oh my god. Egg Eggman Keep getting that fucking gold. ring, dude. It's saving me. It is saving you. Eggman definitely has those golden spikes. <laughs> He's like, this is my future now. What is this cheap shit? Oh! Okay, good. Yeah, I keep going fast. No! <laughs> oh! Oh. Get over here! My man only had one ring. That one ring saved me, bro. Now this is my least favorite stage in the game. I hate this stage. This whole zone, I hate it. And you're gonna see why. <laughs> Whack ass workbench. Thank you. Whack ass workbench. So, this stage has like bouncing platforms that propel you mad high in the air. Mm -hmm. It also has those, again, the Sonic Whoa. 1 Game Gear stuff. Yeah. The Sonic 1 Game Gear stuff, I hated, I hated the, the last level of Sonic 1 just for that one reason. Uh, there's obstacles that are in the background that flash lightning. <laughs> and they hit you. You're gonna see what they are. Yo, I wish they had more of that, uh, you know in the first level when we went through that pipe in the background? And then we're, yeah. it was like all 3D and shit? They should have more of that in these levels. That shit was wild. Yeah, I mean, they, they kind of lack some of that stuff later on in the, in the in the game, which sucks. Mm -hmm. There's also like like Palm Tree Panic is probably the 
the most like it's probably the coolest stage only for like the amount of set pieces it has. The one where you're running up the the the, the one where you're running up the loop in 3D, the mm -hmm. one where uh you actually get to run through a waterfall and pump you panic. Mm -hmm. And that's the obstacle I hate by the way. I hate this one. Uh but you, you run through the waterfall in Palm Tree Panic as well. So there's a lot of set pieces in uh, Palm Tree Panic that really shows off, like, the game completely. Mm -hmm. And then you get stages like these. It's just like... Well, it's man, like... It's just... You know how we talk about, like, it's like, oh, these stages are really funny, like, the pace and the pacing changes? I think maybe Sega focused too hard on trying to make every level too distinct. Yes. And that's naturally going to make... You know what I mean? Some stages slower than others, you know? Mm hmm And and all the like fun stages where you're going super fast, since it's a fast game inherently, it's you're it's uh you don't have too much time to enjoy it, you know? Which is funny when they wanna aim for exploration too, right? Because Yeah. You wanna go fast, but then this game also is like I think it's hey. always been the problem with Sonic though. Like since like till this to this day is the fact that he has to, they have to make him fast. But, like, that's the problem with the game in the first place, right? Is that he has to be fast, you know? I think that's the problem. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it it, it, it limits on what you can do with the game. And I, I think, mean... I think, like, it, I don't think it necessarily has to be fast. We just have to know that Sonic is fast. I don't think the game has to be fast, you know what I'm saying? Like... Like, well, I do, with I Mario, do like, like Mario's doing all this weird shit, you know? Like, either he's, like, fucking... Uh, I don't know, he's got like a hose in one game with that Mario Sunshine game. I never played that game before, so I don't know what the fuck he actually has. Oh, it's a, it's a great game. It's, it's, it's Flood. It's a hose. You know, he's, it's a, he's platforming, right? Mario's doing so much weird shit, and it's nothing to do at all with what he's good at, Plumbing. which is Mario's good at jumping, right? That's his thing. Oh, you're talking about mechanics? Yeah, jumping, jumping. That's jumping. his power. Like, if you're gonna say if Mario has a power, it's power? jumping. Power? Yeah, jumping. It's jumping, jumping. right? But like they don't like it's not the focus. Like the focus of Mario is just like it's just whatever they're they're focused on the game. They're not following any rules. Like if you if you look oh, at any story, Mario game, there's so many weird elements and ideas being thrown around. Like it's like there's a boardroom of guys of 30 people, and they all have their own ideas for different levels and what what should be in the game. And instead of saying okay, let's go with this guy's idea, instead they just take everyone's idea and then combine it but together. You know, are you talking about stories and mechanics, or...? I'm talking about, I'm talking about the actual game. I mean, I'm just saying so, that, like, by Sega so trying really to was. completely follow this rule, okay, this game has to be fast, I think that's what hurts Sonic. From from well, getting on that level, you know, like... I, I can see what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? Um, like, I can see what you're saying, for sure. That they focus a lot on speed, but I, I would actually argue that this game is a perfect example of the, the problem of... You want them to go fast, but you also have things that force you to have to explore the game, you know? Right, but then it could be it could be jarring, right? Because, like, you want to go fast, jarring. but you can't because you have to explore the game, you know what I mean? So it's like... Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. It is jarring. It's jarring, I... right? And then when you have those Sonic Adventure games, remember, I only played one of them, the one with the skateboard or the so snowboard Sonic or whatever. Adventure 2. Sonic and Adventure when I play that, it's like... You're trying to like see what's going on in the game, but you're going so fucking fast. You don't. You know what I mean? Like it's. Like I said, I well, think it hurts hurts the game more than helps it. And like, there's there's parts where Sonic can go fast, but like it doesn't have to be like the whole game. You know? Like we just know that Sonic is fast. That's what I'm trying to say. Like they don't have to keep reminding us. I see what you're saying. Yeah, it's kind of hard but... to explain. Like what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is like, with Mario, there's nothing, no rules they need to follow. And well, because of that, they have uh, yeah, full they, they creative have to, control right. over what kind of game it they, is. You're right, they don't have to make them fast. They don't have to make them fast in every single level or every single iteration or version of the game. Right. But, but I feel like that's also, again, what makes Sonic unique, right? In, in terms of playing the Sonic games. I feel like that's, that's what makes it unique to play these games, despite uh, that being a flaw, because it's 
it's a speed that you want to play for, right? You want to go fast and everything. It's just, everything is just. So yeah, I mean, it def they definitely like you. Definitely want some speed elements, and they do that. Like when they have Sonic Pinball, that's original to Sonic, right? Any of those pinball yes. things, or if they have uh, when we're running through a half pipe, it's like a racing game almost because of the speed and me collecting. And, like, and those set pieces are important. That that could. But they can maintain that while still having it as like a platformer as well too, though. Because like. Combining the platforming and speed at the same time doesn't seem to work very well because you're just, uh, like you said, it's jarring. You're trying to go fast, but it's dangerous to go fast, you know? And... Holy well, shit, I keep warping the past it, and present. I wouldn't, I, well, I wouldn't say that it's dangerous to go fast in terms of... If it's your first time, then I can see why it would be dangerous going fast. Mm -hmm. But, again, remember that at the core of... Sonic games as a whole, the way they were designed, it was because the guy wanted to speed run Mario, and he felt like it was it was a lot to speed run that game, mm -hmm. you know. And he just was like, "Yo, I want to go as fast as possible," and so he designed a game that was built off of him wanting to speed run, of mm -hmm. doing the same stages over and over again, in order to. But has it? Has, when was the last time there was a successful Sonic game, though? Huh? When was the last time there's been a successful Sonic game? Uh. If I were to go back, Sonic Generations and Sonic Colors. Sonic, if we're talking about very recent, and then Mania. Yeah, Mania is probably the last one, which returned to form and is a classic title. So it's just like this game. It's a classic but title. But did it only do well because it was the classic Sonic? If we're talking about classic versus modern, yeah, everybody mm. likes those, the classic version of Sonic. Everyone did like the classic version of Sonic, and that's why they went back and played Mania. Mm -hmm. so. But some people can make the argument that they also like the boosting side of, of Sonic in the modern era. But the modern era has like very much gotten to the point where it's just it's, it's losing its identity of what it is. Like when you look at Sonic Forces in terms of like everything else, it's just Sonic Forces and Sonic Boom specifically are like the two games that are just so jarring for the series now. Uh, in terms of modern Sonic. Classic right. Sonic, it's always been the same. It's always been that. It's always been a little bit of platforming, a little bit of speed, you know, set pieces, things like that. So... Yeah, I think it's just really hard to design with following that rule of speed all the time. It's really hard for them to design that shit. Yeah, I don't want to well, work. I do not want to work. I do think... I do think that, again, with, with Whoa, these kinds, there. with the classic games, they they tried what they could with, with uh... No, I don't want to work! Games. Well, it worked out for you, now you can work. But, I mean... Again, you're not really aiming for a good future at this point, if you're not getting the 50 rings at the very Yeah, end. I'm just trying to pass the level, bro. I'm trying to get to the exit, wherever it is. At this oh. point, you don't have to worry about going to the future or not, so... Yo, um, that but doesn't it go to the future restart the level, though? No. It doesn't, no. It doesn't restart the level. When you when you go through time to a different part, different timeline of the level, yeah. it just changes the layout of the level and resets the, the items. So the items in the rings, they come back or they go in different locations and other locations in the stage open up. Oh, okay. That, that's what going through time does. So if you were trying to get 50 rings, then you could go to the future. Oh, okay. You, you, you're supposed to not go to the future if you're trying to destroy the the machines, the Eggman replicating machines or the robot replicating machines. You know, so. Shit. Uh, have I? Uh, what do I think with the new Battletoads game? I haven't been paying attention to any of that shit. Is that game out already? Um, I haven't heard no, any- I haven't, I been haven't going, like, yeah. been paying attention to any of that stuff, guys. The Battletoads game. But we do have Battletoads games to play this year. We got Co-op, Battletoads, and Double Dragon. I'll probably be playing that with Co-op, and, uh... I don't know. There's the Battletoads arcade game for 94 as well. And there's a Super Nintendo game we have to play for 93, uh, Battle Maniacs or something it's called. We have two Battletoads games to play. By the but way, I haven't heard the new shit. That, Vesper, that was the last, uh, the stage you just finished was the last chance you could have gotten all the time. Oh, okay. 
Got it. So I just gotta focus on beating the level now. Now you just beat the game, yeah. Right. So you get the bad ending, basically. She. Well, it's okay. Like I said, since we're playing this twice, you can show me how it's done. And you can fit the chat, I can have an excuse to listen to the Japanese track, because I want to hear it too. Word. If you don't mind. I don't mind. Alright, sick. Are you able to do it consistently, get the good ending on those two things? I mean, getting the time stones is easier than trying to find all the machines. I could okay. try to do both, but that'll take longer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No pressure. Like, I would, uh, I'm honestly, I'm just gonna aim for the 50 rings. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, dude, man. Yeah, I'd like to see you play it too. Imagine like, I see you streaming songs sometimes, but I, like, intentionally avoid it because I don't want to, like, get spoiled, you know? I feel you. So I'm like, oh shit, he's playing Sonic, but I don't want to spoil it. Okay, this is wild, bro. What's going on here? Am I gonna get zapped? You might get zapped. This, okay, yeah, I'm getting okay. frozen, I'm getting zapped, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Okay, do, I got do, my do ring. You, do you see why I don't like this, this level? This stage is fucking crazy, dude. I... I don't like this level at all. At least the second, like, machine for the zone was literally at the beginning of the, of the level. Like, in this act, the machine was at the very beginning of the level. So, it, it's not as hard to find the first act. Oh, am I supposed to go somewhere else? Just keep holding forward. Keep holding forward. Oh. Yeah. I thought I was, but I guess not. Nope, my Kurt. He, he missed his last chance to get the time stones, and he hasn't been destroying the machine. So we all get the bad ending. Yeah, Battle Stones and Dojo, I didn't know there's an NES version of that game, guys. So that's actually the, the one that came out first. I didn't know that. That's pretty sick. Maybe we could play both. I mean, Sonic, if you want to... I know what you think about beat-em-up games, bro. If you want to go through the struggle. Oh, know. no. I, I put you through a lot, bro. I, I put poor Austin through Double Dragon 2. And Double Dragon I mean, 3 arcade, and I put you through the struggle of the NES though. Remember when you hooked up the joystick? I had to. You're like, no more games. <laughs> no more games. That was game, sick, bro. dude. That was so funny. I mean, I don't mind playing any beat or something. We're gonna, uh, like I said, I'll save uh, Golden Axe 3, because you and me have playing the whole Golden Axe series. Yeah. But, uh. Yeah, maybe we could play Battletoads and Double Dragon twice. No one okay. mind. Like I said, guys, just drive yourselves in because 93, we've been playing for two months here, but we have non stop good games. Non fucking stop. So it'll be a good two months here. And if we make it to 94, guys, ooh, 94 might be the absolute craziest year. Oh man, 94 is, 94 like, is like the most wild. Wild fucking year for retro. There are so many good games in '94. I think Super Metroid comes out. Chrono Trigger. Fucking Final Fantasy. It's, it's so too many much. Good games. It's out of control. I think Donkey gotcha. Kong might be out in '94 as well. Like it's it's stupid. It's a stupid year. A stupid year. He died to the fire. But yeah, it is a stupid. Yo, Donkey Kong coming out. Yeah, bro. out of control. KOF 94? Yeah, KOF, the first KOF is in 94. Yeah, there's so much, so much comes out of that. Yeah, and even 93 is wild, like this year is wild too. Bro, Sonic CD! Yeah, Sonic <laughs> CD, is, this, this game is out of control. Just that intro screen blew me away. If I didn't have my mic muted, I was blown away, guys. I was like, whoa! Just seeing Sonic turn and look at the screen, I was like, what the fuck is going on? I forget the person that actually designed that Sonic. I, I know Toei Animation worked on it, but I forget his name. I found him on Twitter too, uh, but I, I don't remember his name. Where am I going here? Like, I don't remember where I'm going. You want to keep holding right. In the rule of Sonic games, you just keep going right. Now you want to keep going up in this boss fight. Okay. But yeah, the, the style that Sonic was drawn in this game, they kept it for Mania. Like, they had... Sonic Mania, they really kept a lot of the art style from Sonic CD for, uh, for that game. So, 
I, I, was, I was trying to remember the artist for this version of the game, or, or this version of Sonic. You wanna hit him? You wanna hit him? Did I hit uh, him? He was about to, yeah, he was about to escape, that's why. Oh, okay. uh, did I hit him? Yeah, you did hit him. Oh, okay. You just jumped on the platform. I just didn't see him flash. Uh-oh. 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 Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh! Oh! Matrix? Oh! Matrix. Oh! 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 No, it would have been okay. bullet hell if that was. Jesus, yeah, it literally was bullet hell, man. How excited was I when Sonic Mania came out? I was, I was happy for it, but I wasn't as excited. I, I wasn't really, I'm not really a classic head like that. I, I, play, I like the classic games a lot. I think they're amazing. They made part of my childhood. But it, I wasn't really excited, excited for Mania. But I did like the game. I definitely like the game. It's a good game. I just think that they need to work on modern Sonic more. Like they really needed to, because he's falling for it right now. Like he's he's falling for a lot right now. Oh, shit. That hurts. You. That hurts. You. Yeah. And that's a little. So that and the spikes, right? And the spikes. That the spikes, the, the electricity. Got it. And the fire in the center when he's blasting off all hurts you. Spikes, the electricity, and, and his rocket. Everything. It's literally just platforming. No, no, no! Oh, where's the ring? Oh my god. Oh, fucking perfect. rip. Fucking rip, dude. You'll be alright. Okay. This won't be so bad now, now that I know about the spikes. What's the story about Sonic Mania? I mean, all Mania is, is Eggman gets this uh, stone that's also able to. Oh, I have to hit him, him now! Yeah, I didn't know. Fuck. Fuck! I didn't but know. But Mania, you, you get like, there's this stone that he gets, and he essentially like, Shit. he essentially also is able to manipulate time. So, you basically have to stop him, you go through all the old levels. The Phantom Ruby, there we go. That's just putting it a little bit, uh, lightly. Yeah, illusions and space time. Space time. Yo, I hated Forces. Forces was the worst. Like, not in terms of gameplay, but just the story. It was just so dry. It was a mediocre game for me. That's why, like, I said the last good game for Sonic was Mania. And before that, it was Generations and Colors. No, it's kind of cool when you join these platforms, it's the weight of Sonic that makes the platform you're on not go as high. Exactly. It's kind of cool. Yo, physics. Yeah, physics. Yeah, that's the thing I, I love about these games too, is the fact that like it's it's very realistic, right? Like cool boss design. The, the mechanics. Yeah, and I like the design of the boss too. The it's just the fact that like the the aesthetic about Sonic is that it you got this like hedgehog and then you're actually in uh you're actually in like these realistic looking environments. At least mm -hmm. until the later portions of the game. So it's it's just it's a nice aesthetic that I like. Dun, dun, dun. We're coming up to my second favorite stage. Of second game. favorite stage, oh shit. Yeah, this is a very iconic stage. Okay, I'll be right back one second. That he'll be right back. I hope it doesn't take him three minutes to come back. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, sadly though, the, the stage is not gonna. This is this is like one of the under underwhelming uh, U.S. stages, just for the music, because it's like y'all already know. Starter Speedway's track in, J in Japanese is actually OD. 
Yeah, I think Sonic Pinball is on the on the list. I actually don't like that game. It's not good. <laughs> Smash Bros. Sonic is the best. I just play lame. If I play Smash Bros. and I'm playing Sonic, I'm playing lame. And everybody just gets mad at me. Vesper is back. I am back. I was scared you would have been gone for three minutes. <laughs> I mean, as a kid, it was scary. You left for three minutes, you just saw Game Over, and then you hear the... Oh man, you haven't heard the Game Over theme yet, have you? You'll hear it soon. You'll hear it soon if, uh, if you'll wait. We'll probably do it when you finish the game, at least. Hopefully. You just sit there for three minutes. <laughs> oh, it, was, it was a so traumatic of a kid. Yeah, th this track for Starter Speedway, like I said before, it's it's very underwhelming as opposed to the Japanese version. So it's like... Oh yeah, oh yeah. Getting speed. Oh, yeah. Getting spikes. I mean, the stage is literally called Starter Speedway. <laughs> you, got, you have rocket propulsion. Like, you just push me forward. Stage is done. Holy shit, it is. <laughs> yeah, I love this. I love this stage for that reason. It's a fast stage. Ooh, I like the, the fire. Yeah, the flames. Flames. Yeah. You're going fast. Yeah, this song is a, like the tracks and the overall soundtrack for the US version of the game isn't as bad. But the Japanese version does a lot more justice to like the atmosphere of each of the zones. And it's why, like, uh, this stage is so iconic because of, part of it is because of the Japanese version of the song. It's like so, like, it's hype. Meanwhile, you're, you're, you're running at, like, top speed and you just, you're hearing this, like, very chill theme, you know? Hey, again, it's subjective. Yeah, yeah, I'm interested to hear the differences. We finally get to that. Yeah, I, 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 I always thought it was a matter of copyright. Some people thought it was because of copyright, why we couldn't get the Japanese soundtrack, but it was more for marketing, actually. It's for marketing. For, so. Yeah, the differences are mad drastic. Like some pipes, best for like some pipes. I think this is the end of the level too. Yep. Yeah. All right. This is, by the way, the most iconic boss. Why is there a spring there? I I think it's just to warn you that the level's gonna end, so it's like your last chance. Yeah, because remember, you have to search for all the the machines. There was yeah, one it's like a warning. Level. Mm hmm Remember, you can still explore. So. Anyway, oh, go back, go back, go back, go back. Uh, start from that loop, start from that loop, start from that loop. Peel out, peel out. Then jump right when you hit here, the ramp. There you go. Oh, cool. Physics. And then you got mad rings, speed up, everything. Holy shit. Yup. This is actually the most iconic boss fight, one of them in the classic series. So this is not like a traditional oh, shit. boss fight. You Let's have chill. to race him. You have to race him. Dude, he's doing his, his finger thing like I do. Oh, no, you... No. Okay, I was about to say, I, I was scared. That's an instant death beam, so if you, <laughs> if you get hit by that... Wait, am I racing him? You are racing him to the end of the level. Oh, shit. This is not a, a traditional boss fight. This is actually like, you gotta go fast. Oh, fuck. Fuck, I gotta go fast, Sonic! <laughs> this, yeah, this, this boss fight is 
actually, like, again, it's the best boss fight in the classic series. One of them. There's other boss fights that are really good, though. Rip off from Donkey Kong 2. Didn't this game come out before Donkey Kong? <laughs> yes, the Chaz is trolling. Yo. The Chaz is fucking trolling you. They are. <laughs> Oh, unused zones? I see FC. I'll check it out, uh, FC Country. Oh, that piece of shit hits you even when I'm in ball form? Yeah, he's invincible. Oh, that's cheap. Yeah, you can't hit him. You this have guy's to mad him. cheap, dude. Oh, shit, I don't think that spike. Oh, what was that? Magic. Just flash through spikes and everything. No! Pack it up, pack no! it up. No! You gotta try using your super peel out when you're on those flat surfaces. Okay, you every time I get an opportunity to do it, I gotta do that? Yes. You wanna be faster than them. Got it. Chat reading my mind. <laughs> And remember, after you go into a super peel out, you literally just press down and then you become a. You, you, you go into a ball. Got it. So. See that? Oh. And then make sure, remember that you always want to stay like at the higher portions of the stage. I don't know what to do when I hit uh, the ramp going upwards. I can get up it. Well, you you kind of have to just keep running. Sadly, like you have to not lose any momentum. There's gotta be something I could do though. Like it feels like I'm it, dead instantly if I touch it. You could spin dash. Cause remember, you don't have to mash for it. You just hold it down. But I, when I'm uh, when I'm on an incline, it won't let me do the spin dash though, cause I just slowly fall down the thing. I see. Like, it won't let me do the thing unless I'm stationary. I will say... Just go um, back and touch the... Do it spin dash immediately? Okay. You could do that, but... Remember, you just want to jump to avoid the obstacle. Like, don't jump so much that you just do... Like, this situation right here. Don't jump so much, you said? Yeah, don't jump so much, so that okay. way you don't lose your speed. Yeah, Only fine. jump to the obstacle. Oh, I was facing the wrong way. Yeah, I have time to turn around. I like what they did here because this life always comes back. Because they want you to really like optimize this run. Yeah. So they always, they always <laughs> don't jump so much like a fighting game. Like, yeah. <laughs> Word. I mean, you can think of it like a fighting game too. Trial and error. Bro, that was mad fast. Yeah. The problem is I have to like completely stop to do the thing. Oh, you, go. you got the higher path. Good. I think the speedrun for this would be hilarious too, because he's probably just like maul him. Yeah, you basically out outrun him. Oh, I got a little lucky there. Oh, you want to peel out? Well, this works too. Oh, oh, I'm dead here. Yeah. Rip. Yeah, you have to find certain spots where you can peel out. But I know it's also rough because the obstacles are there, right? Yeah, exactly. I have to kind of like see it coming a little bit. I am happy though with the re-releases of this game because they re-released it for PC and mobile and they made it widescreen. So...
but the ratio for this Sonic game in particular is actually a little wider than normal. Yo, I was playing uh, Street Fighter recently, and I was having troubles reacting to uh, reuse dash, like checking his dash, even oh, if the no. connection's good. And I did not. Have, I had. I, tr I had problems doing it like straight up in train mode, right? With a four framer, like I could do it with a three framer, like Cammy's crouching light punch, I could do it consistently. But a four framer was like tough. And I was trying to find out why, and the chat mentioned to turn off the motion blur, and I did that last time we played, and it seemed to work. Yeah, the motion blur can add lag. No, it's not the lag, it's it's just the visual. Visually, I'm having less time to see it. Like, Nash styles, oh. you know? Oh, yeah, 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 because the motion blur right. will also ma mask their movement, too. Right, right, right. right. I see what you're saying. Yeah, I, I make sure to have that off. I don't turn it on unless I'm trying to stress test something. Like, if I'm trying to stress test my computer and streaming, that's the only time I turn it on. Other than that, I just keep it off. Mm -hmm. Come on, Bester, you gotta be a speedrunner here. <laughs> I guess he's destroying the spikes for me. So the funny thing is, right, uh... The funny thing is, is actually, after this game, I think they made the OVA for... Sonic CD. For, well, not Sonic CD, but just for Sonic in general. In Japan, I think they made a, a OVA. Which Woo! used... Which used Metal Sonic as well. You see how you get close to him? If he charges up, he'll do the shield, and if you're far away, he'll boost off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the pattern. Oh, this is it. This is it. Stay maintain speed. There you go. Nice. Done. Stay free. There's only one of me. There can only be one. <laughs> I say this up. <laughs> Wait, what did they change her name to again? And what's her actual name? Uh, her name is Amy Rose still. Okay. Yeah, her name is still Amy Rose. Uh, initially it was gonna be, uh, in, in the US, the, in the manuals, they literally called her the same character as the squirrel, Sally. Yeah, from uh, Sally Acorn from Sat AM, just to get people to be like, okay, no, nah, I don't have to worry about doing anything or knowing anybody new or whatever. Like it was just for familiarity purposes. Mm -hmm. But like they literally changed her name to Sally just to try and like tie it back to the cartoon. But that obviously isn't the real. Got it. But her her name is Amy, and. Again, the, the, the reason for her design was similar to what they wanted to do with uh, the human character, Madonna, mm -hmm. back in, uh, back in you know, concept works for the character. Yeah, I didn't know Sally. But we never saw the human character? Mm, you didn't see the human character at all. Yeah. Because um, it was just it was just a concept. Right. It wasn't meant to It was to completely scrapped? Yes. They literally, I mean, come on, the, the human character was literally called Madonna. Wait, what? No, I'm serious, the human character was called Madonna. Oh, that's messed up. Like, hey, what's going on here? What is this? Platforming. Platform, what's going on? You remember Scrap Brain Zone from Sonic 1? Kind of. Okay, well, these are some of the platforms from that. There we go, there we go. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of this stuff is going to be similar to Scrap Brain. But you can see why they would you can see why they would scrap the idea for the human girlfriend type thing because look at Sonic 06. <laughs> look at Sonic 06. <laughs> they never did it again after that. Vesper is innocent to Sonic 06 soon. One day. One day. Sonic 06, fuck dude. We'll never make it to 06. 
Right now we're desperately <laughs> trying to get to the 64 era. I know, right? If we even made it to that era, we would be like on the same year for like fucking half a year playing all those games. Oh yeah, this is the stage with mini songs. But to be fair, we we would have played so many good games by then that it wouldn't be that bad anyways. Yeah. We've already played so many good games now. So many games I missed out on that I finally had a chance to play. That'd be sick. That'd be sick. No, I got greedy. Nah. I think go from above, definitely below. Only on the bottom. Yeah, like Kid Chameleon. <laughs> definitely not Kid Chameleon, dude. Donk, I'm telling you that game is bad, bro. <laughs> it's bad. That game is pure. You really don't like that game, huh? Oh, dude, it's bad. Good speedrunning game though, but fuck, oh, not a fun game. That's for sure. I guess that makes sense. It's a buzzsaw! <laughs> yeah, it's a buzzsaw. Oh no, I'm taking my ring for good. Oh! Oh! Squish! Yeah, I think the, the machine, like the replicating machines, I think get easier. They get easier to find, like, near the end of the game. Yeah? So, yeah, like, the first one was at the beginning of the level again. And then the second one is, I think, in the middle. So, it, it's, it was like that with Wacky Workbench, where in the second act, it was in the beginning of the stage. Same with uh, Starter Speedway. So... Like at, at the end of the at the end of the game, they kind of get forgiven with where they are. It's only really like near wacky workbench act one where it's mad hard to find. That's where you ever attempt to speed run again. Uh, it needs to be the perfect storm of game. I mean, we'll probably speed run the Resident Evil 8 demo for for laughs. But uh, I don't know. Resident Evil 3 just had like the perfect mechanics for me to speed run. It was just the bomb, <laughs> the bomb, bro. Home Alone, that was just pure talent. Unintentional. And, uh... Flex. <laughs> yeah. And, well, I want to do an encore of Night Trap. So I was thinking of doing a 100% run for Night Trap. That will technically be a speed run. So. Yeah, I'll, I'll watch that. I don't mind. Dude. Yeah. If you guys want to watch that, we can do that. I need to really see what you guys are talking about. Oh, you actually. just need to know the lore, bro. The story. Once you get you're immersed in the story, then you understand. I see. You're gonna need this platform, you're gonna walk on it. Oh, okay. Like, you need to know the story about Tony, right? Tony's lore is really important today. Tony's to that lore. Yeah, Tony. That game was a point and clicker, isn't it? I mean, that's put in very vaguely. It's more than that. You just watch on monitors, don't you? I mean, it's, a, it's, a it's more than movie? that, Sonic. I don't know, bro. It's more than that. Okay. Mini Sonic. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, what the hell? Mini Sonic. Dude, I, I actually like the game like this because now I can see so much more of the screen. A hitbox ain't mini though. Nah. But yeah, as you could tell, this is by the way the last part of the game. So, like, 
you wouldn't be able to get like the time stones here. Got it. Do you slasher movie? Do you like slasher movies, Sonic? Not really. I don't. I mean, I'm I'm kind of indifferent to it. I'm I not fucking really, love like... slasher movies. And then I grew up watching them. I guess the least. that's probably why. Like I wasn't, I didn't really watch too many of them. I wasn't really interested. Mm -hmm. Not that, not that they really scared me or anything. Mm -hmm. No! I turned the big Sonic after. <laughs> At least I got a checkpoint there. Oh yeah, we're jumbo, we're jumbo Sonic again, chat. if you want to go down or up here. Well, the goal is to always go right and yeah, right. try and, ma and maintain uh, okay. height. So, like, if you're able to... Again, the rule of most Sonic games, mm -hmm. if, you're, if you're at the top of the level and you're going right, you're going to go fast. You're going to get out of the level fast. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you go low, then you're going to have to do stuff like this. So, right. Is there a way we can get past this guy? He's invincible, you have to run through him. Oh shit. Like he's those he's the bomb enemies from uh, Sonic 1. If we didn't go this way, how would we see Mini Sonic? You're right. Oh we see this. Like an Easter egg. Oh, that was weird. There's hidden artwork that, that, that shows off like Chibi Sonic in this game, by the way. There's a lot of hidden artwork in Oh this really? Game. Mm-hmm, but you have to do oh. the sound test for it. You have to unlock mm -hmm. sound test. I think you could get- you could just do a code for sound test, though. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go up now. Like, there's a lot of concept oh, art and stuff in- in the game's files that you can access through sound test. Okay, I was gonna die here last time, I don't remember. I got squished by something. Oh. Here. I think I got squished right here, yeah. You were too slow. Too slow. There we go. Okay. Uh, that's where I came from. I feel like I'm still going back. Oh, no. oh. Trap point. Progress. Platforming. Oh, whoops, I tried to jump up the middle. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah, platforming. Okay. Yeah, we might do- we, we, if you want, like, I could show you the sound test, Vesper. For what? All the, for this game, like, after, like, after you finish it, the sound tests actually have codes where if you enter them, you get to see certain artwork and other things. Yeah, sure. So, yeah, sure, if you want. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Final boss. This is the final final level? Yep. Final boss of the game. Yeah, I, I had so much fun playing this game. This game is really fucking good. And you know, you played it like this, which is how normally people would play it, where you just ran through the level, it gives you replayability, so you just mm -hmm. go back and try again. Yeah, there's a lot to do. Definitely a lot to do. You could die here. Ah, oh, I tried to roll under it! Yeah, you didn't want to fall down there. I didn't want to fall down? Yeah, you would die there. Oh, You're on shit. your last I was like dead either way. Here. The final boss- oh, there we go, you got a life right there! Yeah. Um, the final boss is actually pretty easy, though, so you should be fine. He's not like Sonic 2? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sonic 2 is boys to men, bro. It is boys to men. Trust me. It, it, I think that boss is, is still hard for a lot of people. Myself included. What? Told you not to fall down there. 
I I I I I trusted the rings to guide me to the platform. But... Nah, no, nah. no. Nah, nah. I would say oh, this level shit. is this level is much harder than the boss you have to fight. Through. Like the level itself is hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can, it's cool you can continue in this game too. Yeah. You know, like because they have the storage and all that. I mean, the CD has a lot of space to work with. It does. Which Sony was trying to explain to Nintendo. <laughs> Tentel's like, nah, dog. Don't need that shit. And then they created a monster. And then, like, the top five selling consoles of all time are like... Three of them are PlayStation consoles. <laughs> it's, like, ridiculous, dude. The number one selling console of all time is 2. PlayStation 2. And then... Then I think PlayStation 4 is up there. Mm. Yeah, PlayStation 4... Is, I think PlayStation 4 is the second highest selling console of all time. Fucking ridiculous, dude. That is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Sonic, what do I do? I'm trusting the rings. Oh Bro. my god. Bro. <laughs> Bro. 1993, baby. Dude, the stage is harder than the boss, probably. I told you. Where do I go, is. man? You you know that part where you got squashed? You need mm -hmm. to go past that. You gotta be faster, bro. What do you mean gotta be fast? I'm trying to survive. That's how you survive. Fuck. You gotta go right. No, 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 no. In every Sonic game, the solution is to go right. Ah. Uh, yeah, you need to get this life, though. Word. Get it. Yeah. Got it. Mission complete. By the way, guys, you said that Sonic says like yes, and I'm out of here in the Japanese version, but he's saying he's saying it in the in the English in the English version of the game. Uh, I wonder th if he says it in the Japanese version at all, because if my suspicion is correct, why do I feel like this is like Jaleel White? Actually, voice. Joey Wheeler? No, not Joey Wheeler. Oh, Joey Wheeler. Okay, I thought you were talking Joey Wheeler again. No, Jaleel White. Okay. The voice actor for Sonic and uh, Steve Urkel from Family Matters. Okay. Oh, I got shield. Now what? What's happening, Sonic? What was that? You're in the background. I gotta go to the foreground. How do I go in the foreground? What's going on, Sonic? That, it, it's in the middle. Shit. That little rotating thing, just wait for the spikes to go bad. There you go. Okay, okay, this game is too advanced for me, man. There's too much going on. How's a kid supposed to figure that out? Mini boss. Shit. Okay, this guy's mad cheap. Fuck. <laughs> Zap! <laughs> Got him! Final boss. Oh no, I need the rings. I need every fucking ring. Oh shit! There's also, in oh. the Japanese version, there's a different theme for the final boss. What was this about? Just hit him four times, bro. Copy. No! 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 Bruh. Oh! Two left. That was actually really risky. No! No! He's gonna oh, fuck. You. He's gonna send him at you. Oh, I didn't know what was going on. I, I told you he was gonna send him at you, Jesus Christ! Fuck. Oh no. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no. Yeah. Sick. 
I mean, yeah, Doc, all I do to beat that boss is I just get hit once and just use the, the, the iframes to hit him like three more times. <laughs> that's that's what I do. You have to get hit because he, he has all four of those platforms like all surrounding him. So. You have to use the iframes because otherwise it's like... Oh my god. He's gonna go hand. Oh no! Oh fuck! Oh shit! Oh fuck! Oh shit! Oh fuck! Platforms. Yeah, oh, shit. Fl oh, platforms flip. Bro. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh my Collision. god! Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ! No! No, I have to get those rings. Let's... Alright. Alright. Step two. I'm back with vengeance. I educated myself. Now it's time. Right, just keep hitting them, bro. Just jump into him, just keep hitting him, bro. Uh, he went up too high. It's okay. At least you got. You had the shield now, so. Yeah. What? Yo, the fake out. Two more. No! Oh, fuck. He's just laughing at you the whole time. What? What is that combination? <laughs> ah! He's gonna pogo at you. Bro. Ah! Gonna... Oh, oh shit! He's gonna pogo at you, bro. He ain't gonna pogo shit. You sure? Why isn't he coming down? Fight me, you coward. Okay. <laughs> oh shit. Oh fuck! No! Sonic, why did you tell me he was gonna pogo? <laughs> of course. Jesus Christ, man. I definitely, I definitely didn't tell you he was gonna pogo, bro. I, I don't remember that. You're absolutely right. I don't think you did. I don't- I didn't tell you at all that he was gonna follow up. Fuck, dude. Yeah. He definitely gave you the Yoshi Mitsu, bro. Yeah. He gave me the Rolento, bro. The Rolento. You the fucking Rolento. Bro, I clean. will say though, for most of the boss fights in this game, they're very, like, forgiving. They're very forgiving. Mm -hmm. Oh. He's figuring out the strat. <laughs> the collision. No, strat. my armor. Really you can use the invincibility to run forward. That's the thing. Whoop! What? You'll be all right. You got three rings. You'll be all right. Five. Now you got, got seven. It. Got it. Oh. What, am I, what am I supposed to do in this part? You, you actually have to get hit. Really? Like, no, no. You actually have to get hit, yes. Really? Because you can't hit him because he has the yeah, four. Yeah, exactly. The four That's why I'm so confused. Oh, it's so hard to make that jump. Please! Okay. Nah, oh, made that fuck. jump. <laughs> no! Oh, oh. <laughs> no! No! Bruh. No! Oh,
Oh! You gotta use Fuck. them iframes, dude. You gotta use them iframes. Oh, I'm telling you, when this you This motherfucker hit, has iframes, man. You you have iframes! Yeah. When you get hit, he's flashing, bro. You got iframes. When he comes down, that's when you can hit him. And if you already got hit once, you can hit him again. Oh, this is optimal. You have the shield, you have 29 rings. <laughs> this is optimal. This is the run. <laughs> you ready to have the blowjob face? I'm oh! I'm ready. I had the blowjob face at the game start screen, so we'll see. <laughs> The running joke, it still lives. <laughs> Here we go. Here we fucking go. three. You, li you literally wait for him to come down, mm -hmm. and you go to hit him. Literally. Yes, and then you just keep hitting him. Just keep trying to hit him. Okay, I'm gonna make this fucking jump this time. I'm not gonna fuck up this jump. Rotate, long jump. What the fuck? Super peel out, bro. You want that momentum for the height? Okay. Yeah, need momentum. Got it. Momentum. Dude, could have been in the middle and hit him. Yeah, but you ran away. Right. This boss is tough, huh? Fuck. <laughs> hit him. No. Got him. There you go. One, one left. No, they're pogoing shit. He's gonna send the thing at you and he's gonna pogo at you. Okay. Okay. Here we go, here we go. Okay. Okay. Three. What? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Oh my god, dude. Fuck. Bro, Eggman, Eggman is mixing you up. <laughs> Yes, he is. He's got, he's got, he's got real estate, huh? <laughs> real estate. Fuck, dude. You got this, bro. No! Oh my god, I almost fucking got crushed. Oh, nah, there's not that much weight like it was in Sonic 2. In Sonic 2, you, you had to make sure you had continues. You had no rings, double yeah. boss fight, that, that right, boss right. was hard. This is like... At least here, it, it's easy, bro. Bro, I, I actually want some screen. I really have been dying for IHOP for the past month, but my sleep schedule's been all messed up. Oh no, this is the run, Epsi Pepsi. This is the run. Don't go to sleep. This is the run. Yeah, this is it. Just check me, bro. Oh! It's too close. It's too close. Yeah, you could have hit him though using your eye frames. There you go. The battle of the eye frames. Oh. You see, it's just 
stand in the middle. He's gonna come back down again. Just stand in the middle. Yeah, I'm trying to hit him in, in, in between the rotation. But... Well, now you should be okay. Nah, no it's matter what. Time. But I got a ring this time on Pogo. Yeah, so you're good. God. There we go. God. Done. <laughs> He conditioned me. Oh shit! Oh, yo, anime? This is amazing! <laughs> what the fuck? Then he bounces? He just bounces, yeah! Is Amy fast too? Uh, yeah. Yeah? A little bit. Like, speed of sound fast? I don't know about that. Goes <laughs> robotic. No, no. And he has the time stone. Did he just throw a rock at him? Yes, he spin dash. I didn't know to... fucking he Sonic has aim skill. Yeah, he spin That's dashed crazy. a rock and volleyed it, yeah. That's crazy. So this is the bad ending? You'll see. Oh, okay. But but that should all have already hinted that it was the bad ending because he kept the time stone. Got it. So guys, was it Kino? This is the best Sonic game I've played so far. I liked it more than Sonic 2. What do you think about no. that, Sonic? The only game I think that you could probably contest the opinions of the of the first of the latter two games with is Sonic Three and Knuckles. Yeah. So I actually want to know what what you rank in terms of the top three. Yeah, I'll let you know from them. from my normie opinion. But so far, this one's fucking insane. This game is so good. Yeah, I, I actually, in terms of, I mean, I hold it fondly in my heart more than I do Sonic Two. Like, I actually do like this game way more than Sonic 2, um, but honestly, like, I know that Sonic 2 had a lot more in terms of, like, what you could do with the emeralds and another playable character, but in this game, you had so many mechanics, too, so it, it's very debatable for me. I, I personally like CD more, Dude, though. Look at this Ooh. fucking cutscene, man. It's insane. Yeah, the cutscenes are ridiculous. Again, Toei animation, bro. <laughs> Toei control, animation. Dude. FMV Toei animation on Sega CD. Yeah, so what we'll do next time, Chad, is we'll, we'll play this again. Sonic will play it again. Show us the good ending, and we'll play the Japanese version so you guys can hear both. That's what you know, we'll do. This game is definitely worth playing again. For sure. And then we gotta squeeze in Sonic Spinball sometimes too. For sure. Now. You'll see at the very end what it'll tell you. So you'll, you'll, it, it will notify you what happened if you didn't catch on. Already. Okay. Yeah. Well, I guess we could do a sound test after this. Spin balls are really bad. Yeah, like yeah. I said, it's a, it was a last second game because we can get Song Three done in time for Christmas Try again. holiday. So this is the bad ending. Yeah, remember he chained the little planet up. Mm, so he was able he was able to reverse time. So everything you did didn't matter. Damn, it literally just says try again. Yep. Still everything not that bad did. of an ending. You still got the whole credits, the cutscene, and everything. So, yeah, wasn't too bad. Okay, what what's this uh, sound test thing you want to show me?
Okay, so at the title screen, Ooh. it's so good. Dude, when, you, when I saw this for the first time, I was like blown away, bro. I was like, it was too much. I wasn't ready for it. Okay, what do I do? It, I'm trying to remember. I think at the title screen, it should be down, 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 left, right, A. And press start? Yes. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> The fastest DJ. Dude, look at his he's fucking fine. necklace, dude. He's balling out of control. That's a golden <laughs> ring. Balling. You see, you see, you see Metal Sonic with the crossed arms. Like, yo, I'm about to spit the meanest bar. <laughs> yo, yo, it's ridiculous. I saw this scene in that NMM movie, the Eight Mile movie. <laughs> yo, B, yo, B Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But that's 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 one of the first ones. All dude, right. I like robotics. Uh. Oh hat. yeah, robot The reggae hat? Yeah, the reggae hat. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this shit's offensive, bro. Jesus. Yo, come in bad boys. Yeah. Alright. Next one. So the next one, you have to input the code again. Okay. Whoa! Yo, Holy Batman. shit. Yo, Robert Pattinson, fucking Sonic. <laughs> Yo, Batman. Yo, crazy Easter eggs. It's sick. The music suits this for sure. Oh, for sure. I this am one sure. <laughs> this one sure. This one's kind of lit. I like this one a lot. That's pretty sick. So the next one now. See you next game. <laughs> Iota. Because re remember, uh, I think development for the game, it was along the same time as Sonic 2. So mm -hmm. like Sonic 2, came, Sonic 2 was coming out obviously in 1992. They were also developing Sonic CD and then Sonic 3, right? So they're literally like, again, they were trying to promote other things. I think this one actually though, if I'm correct, this might not be for Sonic 2. It might actually be for Sonic Drift. Oh, okay. It might actually be for Sonic Drift. So. Interesting. The, the Game Gear card game. Okay. But yeah, that's that one. That's that uh, Easter egg. Anything else? Uh, there's a, there's two more. Okay. Two more. Well, three more, technically. Three more. One is actually a playable stage. Oh, the fuck? So this is, this is, this is the, the anime Sonic, Chibi Sonic. And, and literally the hiragana is saying uh, in English, you are cool. So it's like, you are kuru. You are kuru. What? <laughs> it's literally saying you're cool. Why does Sonic have one eye? <laughs> Did he always have one eye? <laughs> you guys notice that? Why does he have one eyeball? Oh, no. The fuck? You guys notice that? He's always been like that? Is he like that in the movie? <laughs> I think he's like that in the movie, guys. It's a mono eye. <laughs> <laughs> a mono eye. <laughs> Jesus Christ, guys. Okay. <laughs> What's going on? Monka S. What's going on, Sonic? Explain. Infinite fun. Infinite fun? That's literally what it says. That's weird. infinite fun. Now, this is where the Japanese and English versions of the game are like. The Japanese version of the game has like funky music, right? So mm -hmm. it, it, it fits the, the message, but it's just so creepy. Yeah. So it's like. It, it imagine seeing that as a child it, it's oh yeah for basically. sure yeah for sure so the last one right and by the way the message fully says uh it basically says infinite fun sega enterprises and okay. then the it's it literally says mazin picture on the front so that's what it says people were trying to translate it and, it, and it, they actually thought it was majin which is like demon so oh, it, it's 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 like <laughs> Error in translation and things like that it just made it creepy. 
But this is the last one. Okay. Uh, this is the secret special stage. Good luck. Good luck. Ooh. So much content. Yeah. This is the eighth special stage. You don't get anything for it. You just do it because it's like it's hidden. Oh, you can't hit anything. It's probably the hardest one too, I think. It's probably the hardest special stage. So much weight, so many ways to mess up. Oh, these balloons are fast too. Good. You can see yeah, how hard I can't hit is. one, bro. It's really hard because the UFOs are moving in very like erratic patterns, and then mm -hmm. it's like the whole stage is water, basically. Right. So this is like the first stage layout too, right? Uh, like... sort of. Sort of. You can, I could kind of see it. No! I couldn't even hit anything that level, man. That was ridiculous. Imagine you AFKing off the stream. You get up. You know, you go use the bathroom or something. Or as a kid, you get up and you go use the bathroom. You're just trying to chill. And then you come back. I'm out of here. <laughs> Dude, that's Sonic after watching me play Sonic. And listen to the track. Dude, that is literally Sonic after watching me play Sonic. <laughs> I'm out of here. I'm out of here. And he jumps out of the game. He literally jumps out of the fucking game. Yeah, he jumps off the planet. He <laughs> jumps off the planet. He literally jumps off the planet. He's like, I'm done. I'm bored. And then you get the creepy music in the background for the game over. <laughs> so when you so when you come back, you don't even hear I'm out of here. You see game over and he just you just hear laughing. Evil maniacal laughing. <laughs> he's, he's like, what? <laughs> Dude, that's godlike.